guys in the chat. What is up? Hope you had a good day. Me? I didn't have a good day. Lost some games. <laughs> Sat around my house like a grumpy butt. Uh, so, it's about to get worse. No, it's not, actually, because we're casting StarCraft 2 tonight. Uh, we have No Regret here, who will be joining me for that StarCraft 2 casting. You want to join now? You're going to watch me play some Brood War? All right. Oh, yeah, so which headset did you grab? Uh, number three. So, go ahead and talk. Hello, hello. And your volume is here. So just uh, number three is you, right? Cool. So there you go. <coughs> just do what you like with that. Yep. <coughs> Let's, here, let me fix this Ingram camera then. Ooh. Commentate RP's games. That's a good idea. Are you excited for us beating Bread and Fred? Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we'll beat Bread and Fred. I am excited for that. <clears throat> Definitely this week. It, yeah. We got to pick a day where it's okay to be hung over the next day. <laughs> I'm not going to make any mistakes, so I'm not even worried. Yes. He's not going to make any mistakes, chat. Does anybody believe him? Anybody? Even one of you? Keep talking. Hello, hello. Does anybody believe him? Check, 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 check. Oh, okay. Actually, switch to the other headset, please. What? Sorry. The underscore jambulance donated three dollars. So I was like, why is that so low? That's one, one I have set up for ESL. Three. I mean, uh, for ASL. One comma two comma three is one uh, comma two comma talk? three. Oh, this. Go one ahead. comma two comma three. <clears throat> idiot. Sorry. Uh, one comma two comma three. Yeah, that's much here. better. One comma two comma <laughs> three tonight. <laughs> I thought we all agreed he would only be allowed on the stream. Is Jambulance the same one that doesn't like me? Like the time yeah, Jambulance doesn't like being you. A GSL gamer. He hates Get this dumb bitch out of here. everything. Lie? Man. I didn't lie about being... Listen, at least I didn't lie about that. <clears throat> That's one thing I didn't lie about. Yeah, so he spent the whole morning complaining about carriers, and I just had to go along with it. <laughs> I had to try and make him feel better. Yeah, carriers are imba. They move so fast. Oh, my God. What? How many Goliaths Don't kill a carrier? Infinite. $3 Don't kill a single carrier. Cents. Hey, no regret. Happy to see you. Can Thank you. Can you ask Carty as he still thinks Maru has a chance of being the goat after getting crushed by Cyril, or has he <clears> finally <throat> grown enough neurons to realize the truth? Maru's greatest take argument is being compared to Cyril. Ooh. The underscore Jambulance okay. donated $3.33. Jake looks like the personification of a little piggy trotter if it was sticky like Megan Fox and had been dipped in two week old guacamole and left out in the sun to ferment but then Swatty drank it and puked it up into dead infested's murderous foreskin. Damn. You, I don't even think ChatGPT could be that creative if you asked it to. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Crazy. For sure. Yeah, we were talking about it earlier, uh, Cyril being the goat or not. Yeah, we'll talk about it more as well. But I don't ever say Maru's the goat. That's true. He says I literally Rogue never say that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Which is even yeah, worse. Yeah, I call the guy that's the goat the uh -huh. goat. Isn't Which that is so even weird? worse. Maru is undoubtedly better than Rogue. No question. His skill level's higher. Just everything. Just literally everything. Well, Maru has the overall highest skill level. Maru's just better. In every the way. underscore Jambulance donated $3.33. Smarter. Stronger. I'd rather watch Husky delete his entire YouTube backlog on repeat than listen to this fake gamer Jape talk over your quality <laughs> casting. Arty, talk over quality is casting. When Yarl is allowed on the stream. He looks like he licks used Charo. stamps for fun. <laughs> used stamps? <laughs> How do you lick a used stamp? It's already, it's on, it's already on the paper. Yeah, it's gross. Jambulance. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what I did to you. Maybe we played a ladder game or something. Oh, you think he plays StarCraft? You kidding me? He's a guy in the chat. He doesn't play any fucking StarCraft. Yeah, but most of the guys in the chat like me, I think. Right, chat? <coughs> What's up, Hex? No, I'm, I don't think I'm getting it. I don't think I'm getting a no. Ooh, oh, please. Yes. This is my type of StarCraft game. <clears throat> All right, Artosis. Yo. 
How are we going to win? Because this guy's already trash talking. We're just going to make sure we don't die to a fucking four pool. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm going to build a very tight building placement. Mm -hmm. Scout for a four pool. What? Yeah. What'd you do to this guy? I mean, he just doesn't want any Oh, he latency. doesn't like the lag. Gotcha. But honestly, that lag was really not bad at all. 16 is good. 16 is very comfortable. So he's just lying. <coughs> Dude, he's he's like fucking low hey, A chat. rank and he's complaining. Sorry, about I will it. be a bit weird for the next few hours. I just inhaled a lethal dose of carbon monoxide to better understand <coughs> what's on inside the heads of my brain dead fucking opponents. BBC <laughs> <laughs> is the hardest matchup. What? Oh my god, it's this guy again. Three points. Yeah, I guess so. Will he four pull this time? Wait, what map is this? Hey, guy. <laughs> is this Troy? What is going on? The underscore Jambulance donated $3.33. Shut up, yet I will body you in Nexus Wars, you bitch. What? Here, let me. Spiergling just subscribed. Nexus Wars. It's over here, so it's easy for you to I've, see. I've never played Nexus Wars, and I can promise you, I would still win. I can just tell. I can smell. <laughs> I can smell your defeat already. <clears throat> Jambulance. Jam if you want to get Nexus Wars, I will host it this week between you and him. Okay. And other guys that in the sounds chat great. if we want. We'll have in... Uh, if you beat him, I'll never let him come over my house again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that seems like a good deal for you. What do I get if I win? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, good. <laughs> so I have the chance of never being able to come back. Gotcha. I get the house. I'll take that deal. It's a nice house. Minus people and animals, but it's a nice house. It is a nice house. <laughs> the nice animals house. are nice too. They are. The animals are nice. What about the kids? You <laughs> just <said> the people <laughs> too. <laughs> the kids can be a bit much from time to time. Rusty. Rusty's my favorite animal. And human. Although I liked I liked the Korean Rusty a bit more. But this Rusty is also fine. Terrible. This poor guy. He's just brain dead. He's like, turn rate 16. My A rank commuters can't be micro in that. Donated $3.33. Insert Nexus Wars training montage. If Bake wins, I will personally mail him an apology letter using only relict stamps and there will Artie, be no pubes inside. I sent inside. literally one Tangia <laughs> yesterday on a Smasher's <laughs> Twitch channel, one of the absolute most innocent ones, about eating toenails, clippings in 80. Of the chat was literally shocked, typed comments like, this guy needs to be perma-banned, and how did this get through? Modi, <laughs> and can we ban this guy? And people need therapy. I was thinking if they saw your stream, they may straight up die of heart attack. <laughs> what a bunch of weaklings are outside of this mighty channel. Holy fucking shit. It's actually true. It's actually true. The world is full of weaklings. We're raising strong, strong, or young 38-year-old and older men here. <laughs> hear, hear me out. I'll, I'll, I'll go after this. Since <laughs> One the second. foreign scene is so overshadowed by Korea, mm -hmm. I thought I'd highlight it. Here's a list of top two WCG American players, G5, Nyokan, Idra, Lauda, Noni, G5 again, I'm Control, Nyokan again, Last Gasu, Day9, Day9 again, Yosh, Froze, Day9 again. These are the true heroes of the foreign scene. No one usually remembers third place so skip those losers. Can't win shit those third places. Yeah. True. I got third place in WCG a lot of times. <laughs> <clears throat> Nothing wrong with third place. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, you were going to say something? Yeah, I was going to say, is it possible that we've desensitized ourselves here? 
and that that's actually the normal reaction. No. No. It's, it, your reaction should the be that nothing phases you. Ever. Yeah. Stoic. Notice which name isn't on that list. That's right, Plague. Get better. <laughs> uh, I think a third place in WCG. Is that what we're saying? Yes. That's true. I'm pretty sure I was. I mean, when when did WCG take place? When was the most recent one? For Brood War, it was 2009, I think. 2009. Yeah. Would have been 12. Or 13. Yeah, I would have fucking wrecked you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, other people's channels are are bad, though. So this is this is the way to be, truly. Don't let things affect you. We're we getting Brett and Fred. We are. <clears throat> Should we start from the beginning? We can if you want. Yeah, we can start over. We'll see. It'll be a nice warm up, I guess. I got pretty good at it because I played it some with my brother while he was here. Thank God, man. You were so bad when oh, we played. Oh, dude. Okay, oh, you my know God. what? I'm so you glad you what? practiced. Maybe we won't have to start from the very beginning again and again and again because you said plant flags at the bottom. Did he plant a flag on his brother? Dude, I showed him a clip of that. You thought it was so funny. <laughs> Lucky him. I, w I was his warm up. Is that no regret? It is no regret. It is. <clears throat> That's true. So guys, our carriers Imba, because I'm I'm being told they're just broken. Like you can't took a you can't kill them. Dump in Artosis's mouth. The pungent brown brew smell wafted up to his nose, causing his nose to wrinkle and his brows to furrow. Why would you do this to me, Bowser? Artosis asked through chunks of brown brew. But Bowser was ready with another steaming pile, this time landing in his lap. Artosis was Bowser's personal toilet. Nice. He didn't have to explain anything to him in his mind. Soon Artosis was reduced to a pile of shit with a trucker hat sticking out from the top. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Art. Truly. Yes, Brad and Fred is happening. Possibly tomorrow. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see what we're feeling like. <clears throat> Maybe we need to change the rules. We might oh. not drink enough if we're just gods. Well, I'm not worried about you. <laughs> I guess we, we drink quite a bit when we plant flags, though, so... Oh, that's true. That was a good roll. That, that was, was a good, good roll. roll. <laughs> we had to plant more flags as we got drunker. <laughs> oh, dude. While my brother was here, he wanted to do the one ship challenge. And I was like, no, that shit's dangerous. And like, he was like, he was, he was talking some shit and he tried it and he actually fucking like got sick. <laughs> the one, one, what? The one chip, you know, the chip that's like super, super spicy. Yeah. I think okay. they don't even sell it in Canada anymore because it's actually considered dangerous. I'd do it. Do you have another chip? Dude, I'm not going <laughs> to let you do it. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you fucking dummies that I bring on the stream. Tell your brother he's on. No one eats a chip better than me. <laughs> no one eats a chip better than you. It's true. Artosis wouldn't eat the chip. He only made his brother. Yeah, good. no, I, I like licked some of the shit and it was so hot. So is it like a but no, it actually chips? fucked him up. Like it actually fucked him up. Huh. And he like loves spicy shit. He's tried all sorts of fucking weird spicy shit. Me too. I think I should allow to be allowed to also get sick. <laughs> <clears throat> So cool. Dude, this guy's so good. Did you guys see how he sniped that SCV and then left? I wish I had units that fast. That looks like a top gamer move right there. Also, Artosis is SC or Marines being out of position. That's embarrassing. This is a super wide natural, man. Tell me where they should stand. 
<coughs> Excuse me. I think they should stand where they are right right now. I think that's perfect. It doesn't reach over here. No way. Really? Yeah. Dude, this isn't StarCraft 2, bro. Produced These rings fucking suck. Subscribed for 22 months. Yeah. The Marines suck, chat. Do they have the highest DPS in the game? Is that true? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's so funny because people were saying that and then uh, someone actually went through and made the actual list of the DPS of everything and Terran Latest units by far have the most DPS in the game. Just ban these people, WTF? Why would he keep this? What the fuck? Unfortunately, those people are the ones giving him hundreds, if not, not thousands, thousands and thousands of dollars, dollars a day. <laughs> are you joking? How does this work? Yes, he makes a living by selling emotional abuse against himself on the street. True. It's sad. <laughs> Very sad and keeps getting sadder. I lost all my respect for Artosis. This guy is right. I started to watch Tasteless instead, even though he's fucking Protoss. Sad. <laughs> They love quoting Reddit comics, comments. I told you, right, that fucking brutal Reddit is just a fucking Artosis hate fest at this point. I did. It yeah. literally is. It's like actually just such garbage. It's crazy. Why does Reddit hate Artosis? It's a good question. Besides, we need more villains in StarCraft in general. So. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm literally just going to lose. What he's going to do is just sit his mute there and kill me. Because my second turret didn't build there. I mean, this, this guy's pretty good. He is, but it doesn't matter because anyone can do this. Look at this. It's just... These fucking maps, they make these positions where you can't actually defend. Now, from what I understand, Bowser was pounding Peach on the bed. But what were you doing, Mario? While Peach was getting her insides painted white by Bowser, what were you doing? Sitting in the corner, pleasing yourself? When are you going to make a change in your life, Mario? Are you going to let Bowser use Peach like a back alley prostitute? You have to make a change, Mario. You can't let this keep happening. Nice. Dr. Phil. Now we also have <coughs> Mario's brother here, Luigi, as well as his friend Birdo and Princess Daisy. Now while Mario was pleasing himself, Luigi was also pleasing himself watching Mario through a crack in the bedroom door. And Birdo You gotta was be on a list Luigi somewhere. You really do. <laughs> from down the like somewhere. Luigi NRA. Birdo, this is or not, not the NRA. NRA. <laughs> NSA. <laughs> some, you're on some list. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. And what was he <clears throat> doing? We'll find out after this. I'm sure Nintendo's break. gotten a clip. No, they haven't. They're so fucking out of it, man. KGB, maybe. Some list. Air Canada, no fly list. That would suck. You have to be able to fly Air Canada, man. Especially when you're in it's Canada. It's the only thing here. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally like there's so few airlines here. How many turrets is enough turrets? None? If they just keep making mutas and keep going, like you have to make them until you have splash damage. And it looks like that's what's happening. Donated <laughs> the limit does not exist. <laughs> we already know he's on various IRS lists because he never pays his taxes. It's been well documented. You guys are so dumb. Was that in the room with Tosis? You don't know who I am? <coughs> I am a StarCraft 2 player. Former StarCraft 2 player. Now unemployed. Does no regret unemployed?
There you guys go. Dude, you see that? Bro, uh, dude, what is wrong with our Tosis? Did he just trap two SCVs like that? It, I don't decide where they dude, end You better up. build a dropship and get those boys out. Oh, they're going to come out. I right, just put them on the gas. Oh, okay. That's how it works in this game. They don't just pop out where they went in? No. Huh. They do that in StarCraft 2. Those would have been trapped forever in StarCraft 2. This might be the first time Our you have an advantage by playing this game. This moment. Sonic slowly removed his red shoes, revealing his thick, overgrown toenails. Nice. Slowly, Sonic began clipping, collecting the discarded nails into a pile. Artosis' heart was pounding. He reached over and grabbed one. The smell was intoxicating. Dude, my he fucking science tongue, facility didn't salty, slightly gritty, crisp, marinated to perfection. He had to have more. He began shoving more toenails into his mouth. The mm -hmm. sensation was overwhelming. He could not stop. He was an animal. Thank you for sharing. Dude. What's the point of Tangia bot sending, <laughs> sending the dono afterwards? Huh? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out what the advantage of that is. <laughs> Scop underscore CSGO donated $3. Hey, no regret. Hey. It's me, Scop. Just hey. checking in <sighs> with you Scope. again. Did Darty provide you with a suitably comfortable chair? Yep. Has he offered you refreshments he has. like Capri Sun or Canada Dry Ginger Ale? I got an apple juice from Forks his kids. are <laughs> in the drawer. Don't let Artie force chopsticks on you. I love chopsticks. Chopsticks are the superior utensil. <clears throat> if you think about it. <coughs> what are we thinking about here? No, it's just an unbelievably high ranked player that was on a low account with zero losses. I could tell by that SUV snipe. No, you just. I could smell the MMR. The, uh, you might science facility didn't make, so I just didn't have anything there. Um, but yeah, every Zerg does this now, where they go super hard with mutas, okay, and then they just run their cruise off. It's and they just nice burrow. And it's like, podcast, ah, but you're it's trapped. Time to call it uh, as it is. You are delusional. If you think <laughs> Bellsprout could outsuck Birdo, you're fucking insane. Not Ooh, only does Birdo have a more powerful suction be fun. on her hot, juicy lips, her thick and curvy body is so lewd. God, it makes me hard. She gets <laughs> dolled up for you with that red bow, and her eyes have a seductive gaze that would finish you off. Jamie, pull the clip. Yes, type spankbang.com and type Birdo Jamie. Nice. <clears throat> I hope that was an actual oh, <laughs> directions to do something. Loop my ass and enter. Okay. Loop me up and just get in. I no. need it. Oh, Guys. <clears throat> Can we be a little bit more creative? Okay. <laughs> this guy's not happy with the latency. It's a good thing he's a Protoss. Protoss should enjoy bad latency. Because all they do is attack move. <clears throat> I would like to help the TTS tier list judging. Yeah, that would yeah. be cool. <coughs> yeah, creative, that creativity is big for me. Okay. I'm fine with the erotica, but it gets boring. Find it's always the same. Call or do just subscribed. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Anton's a cool name. I'm not sure what map this is. I think it's Vermeer? Hey, that, that's my uh, Twitch. Hmm? I didn't know there's a command for me. Yeah. I don't know who this guy is, but he's wrong. Did I say, any Did I say anything? Place, uh, I what could I be wrong about? I anomaly that chilled me to the core. There, amidst the shadows that clawed at the edges of my sanity, I discovered Artosis, 
ensnared in a relentless loop of playing brood war, his eyes feverishly darting across the screen in a room that seemed untouched by the malevolence that surrounded us. The sight was as bewildering and terrifying. Artosis stood up and bitched about Protos. I was terrified. I wanted to run, but Artosis had the clicker. That was me this morning after you lost the carriers. <laughs> Did we do a poll? Is there a poll for this win or loss? It's a uh, batting. Gamba. That's what I mean. Meant. Yeah, there normally is. Okay. There's not this scream about it. I don't see any doubters, that's all. They all think I'm gonna win? No, I just don't think the poll happened, so. I'll probably win. Mods? Where are the mods? Jeez. Very creative. Oh my god, when does it end? Pretty soon. If you would like to see someone start with a great attitude at the beginning of the day, then slip off into the pits of hell throughout the stream, follow my channel. Sometimes you start the stream without a good attitude, too. <laughs> so no, just... I normally have a pretty good attitude, I would say. Not always, though. Dan, Mama Gabo. Dan, escucha, Dan. Quiero chupar tu gran pepino de tortuga. Y quiero que sueltes todo el semen caliente por mi garganta. Dame todo el semen caliente por mi garganta. Ay, papi Arti. Luego golpéame en la cara y escúpeme en la boca. Hola, Daniel. No puedo esperar a sentir tu viejo pepito venoso en mi garganta. Tu pepito. I wonder what pepito means. como el pepito de una tortuga. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure that was very inappropriate. R40, just subscribe. I don't want to know what a pepito is. Dear Artosis, I hope this message finds you well. My I don't want to know. My name is Jeremiah. I'm part please. of the Blizzard support team for Brood War. First, we want to express our appreciation for your dedication and enthusiasm for Brood War. It's players like you who have helped to keep the spirit of this classic game alive for so many years. However, I'm reaching out today regarding a matter that has come to our attention. It appears that there has been a significant number of new accounts created from your end. We understand that creating multiple accounts can be part of a player's strategy to win against noobs, but frequency and volume of these new accounts have begun to put a strain on our antiquated infrastructure. Our monitoring systems have indicated that this surge in account creation is contributing to server instability. We kindly request that you limit the number of new accounts being created from your end. Thank you for your prompt attention to this issue and happy gaming. Well written. Very nice shot. <clears throat> Set on your 
This might be what hell is like. Oh my god, when does it end? <laughs> you don't like this? <laughs> Chat, I'm gonna have to ask you to behave. Stay a while and listen. That's quite the posture you have in that horrendric <coughs> anus. Six fermented toenail clippings and one pool of aged acidic diarrhea transmute inside Lewis's rectal pus cavity into Mario's Oh my birth. gosh. <laughs> Are you sure we haven't been desensitized? <laughs> no, this is normal. Diablo is heading east for some foul purpose towards Bowser's big castle. Before you I never knew you were such a little bitch, Jake. Fuck. With you. Fogger69 is eating and is very unhappy fight, that but he's But there eating. isn't a better comrade. Oh, Give him my this mushroom, and he will grow into a large douche capable of scrubbing out even the stickiest <coughs> globules of blood and cum from me. Nice. Stay a while and listen. I spoke at length with Wari as we crossed the desert from Condores. He spoke about the dangers of the rectal disease. Luigi had been training his anal prolapse for weeks. He could extend the flesh burrito out and... <laughs> Stay a while and listen. Have I told you about the Horadrim? What's they were an China? ancient confederation of mage I have clans this who sought to bind the three the brown the brews for eternity. That may be with Wario's aged acidic diarrhea, to this god -awful Mario's in despair. And all those beautiful in the vast dreams we have our of our dead body, there lies a beauty, in our animal this minds. natural wonder, oh, 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 a mere oh, 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 dimple upon Artie's ass is a pure marvel. Nestled in a forgotten corner of his body, his asshole is a testament to his adventures. It tells a story of sonic penetrations and scorching dildos that have sucked away all moisture, leaving behind a basin of desolation. Here in this unassuming hollow, this crater's edges, crisply defined, yet ever susceptible to the whims of wife Tosis, speak of a fragile impermanence. Stretched out yeah, with surprising yeah, It's an asshole that challenges Chat's the not happy. to find <clears throat> beauty in right. barrenness. Because I took my headset off. <laughs> to appreciate the stark <laughs> simplicity of a whole stripped They're to its calling me weak. essence. In Sounds the stillness right. of this microcosm, <laughs> where time and hygiene seems to stand still, Artosis dry asshole holds its ground. A solitary sentinel in a vast, trimmed and groomed body. Embodying the raw and unadorned spirit of the wild. This asshole challenges the observer to find the subtle rhythms of nature in what appears to be a static, lifeless whole. A person is playing a game at the computer. Another person is sitting next to him with a comic thought bubble above his head. He is wondering if he should call a mental institution or perhaps even the police. True. <clears throat> Very true. These TTSs are really well written, guy in the chat says. Okay, David, I got artosis. I'm holding him down. Uh, let's go, Goku. Great job now, Artois is our bitch. Leave me alone, you psychos. 
I have a family. David, hold him down. The bitch is trying to free himself. <laughs> I got him, Goku. Let's do this. Okay, I got his mouth open. You know what to do, David. Yes, sir. Oh, God, no. Not this again. Come on, David. Do not stop now. <laughs> yes, Goku, baby. Shut up and take it, bitch. Oh my god, my scan. I hit it and it didn't fucking go off. I don't know how he has that much. That's insane. Scan didn't make... <laughs> Guys, do you ever think Artosis might not have even scanned there? And he just says that he did? Is that possible? No. It's not possible? <laughs> oh! Dude, uh, that's not cool. I've noticed you like to play computer games in your bedroom with other men. Be sure to change the sheets afterwards before the wife gets home. Don't want her getting suspicious. Holy shit, what the shit? Oh my fucking shit, I'm gonna shit. Holy shit, what the shit? Oh my fucking shit, I'm gonna shit. Oh my god, chat. <clears throat> what happened? I swear Holy it wasn't this shit, bad last shit. time. <laughs> I think you just became a fucking bitch. Man. Maybe, maybe. I remember Meow Wow. That was what I was used to. Okay, I don't know when we go in, when we went to this. Back in my day. The underscore eternal just subscribed. Thank you for the sub. You do what Mario tells you, he screamed. After about 40 wang slaps, his wiener started to become sore, so he stopped. By now, the shit log had gone down Yoshi's throat. Come on! Late, he ordered. Yoshi strained and produced an egg. Inside, this egg contained what was previously his shit log. Mario walked over to his shelf and placed it with the others. He had hundreds, possibly thousands of these shit eggs. He planned to use these against Bowser the next time he kidnapped Peach. Waxing give us moon, full moon, waning give us moon, last quarter moon, waning crescent moon. You do what Mario tells you! Waxing crescent moon, After about 40 wang slaps, his wiener started to become sore, so he stopped. By now the shit log had gone down Yoshi's throat. Eggulate, he ordered. Yoshi strained and produced an egg. Inside this egg contained what was previously his shit log. Mario walked over to his shelf and placed it with the others. He had hundreds, possibly thousands of these shit eggs. He planned to use these against Bowser the next time he kidnapped Peter. Waning crescent moon, new moon, wax on it crescent sees moon, just three some moon, scribe wax on my give us moon. Thank you for the sub. Moon, waning give us moon, last quarter moon, waning crescent stream just subscribe. Thank you for the sub. Crescent moon, quarter moon, waxing give us moon, full moon, waning give us moon. You do last what Mario moon. tells you, he screamed. Moon. New moon. After about waxing 40 wang slaps, moon. his wiener started quarter to become moon. sore, waxing so he stopped. By now, the shit log had gone down Yoshi's throat. Oh. Hero underscore Yoshikana cheered. S300 Hiatosis. Do you know if no regret has heard of the Brood War player testing? I have heard of testing. He traced the arches of the Confederation. My favorite. I got a surprise. He said, motioning for one eight. Oh, you have such a big load for me. Delightful. 
site of the Confederation Bridge. Oh, fuck! The underscore eternal just resubscribed for six months. Thank you for your six recently launched my YouTube channel. It's gonna talk about various arty subjects and esports. Drawing inspiration from your old dojo's videos, it's gonna be in the sales spirit, and of course the Bylon show. Lots of really amazing stuff to talk about relating to RTs which connects to many <coughs> aspects of life. Just wanted to tell you that and tell you you've been a source of joy, reason and fun all these years. Love you, RT. That was Thank nice. you. That's cool. What? Best of luck, Neutral my question donated $3.33. Said, what is your opinion on the Israel and Palestine situation and what solutions you propose? Bring on the bacon, baby. Bro. <laughs> Are they showing off? Is this normal? Uh, we get we get a, a stream that starts like this maybe once a week. Is everybody enjoying their experience? I certainly am. Jesus Christ. That was very fun. You know, if I hadn't... Uh... Stay a while and listen, you pathetic Are you about to talk? pile of uselessness. <laughs> Headphones yeah. off. You cannot handle Dirty Deckard. How pitiful. Artosis loves his community. He loves Dirty Deckard. Perhaps you are not welcome here. <laughs> Dirty Deckard has more sage wisdom in one strain of hair than your body of fat folds. True. Dirty Deckard for chat. Dirty Deckard for artosis. Dirty Deckard for artosis. Dirty Deckard is the way. You need my help. Nice. I will suck you dry, yelled Birdo to Luigi with a smirk on her face while quivering her thick, hot, juicy lips. Luigi did not know how to react. It had been almost a year since someone had sucked him off. So that harass was real good. Like, I, I, it wasn't like a perfect opening, but it was a good opening. And I blocked this really well. I did really good harass this game in general, but it was such a weird opening. It's like not a game that you can get to again. But look at this, see? So this is my position before that attack in the middle. Mm-hmm. Where at my my scan didn't go? Yeah, I remember. This I is a this is a totally dry, good position. Yelled to Luigi Nothing wrong with, with this. smirk on her face while quivering her thick, hot, juicy lips. Luigi did not know how to react. It had been Look almost a year since someone had sucked him off. Yeah, I thought you now, were very far ahead. No, well, you're like never the, actually ahead it against Protoss. Felt like you had someone had momentum, but so if I. Like the thing now is, that Wario it's... had been called to active duty and was in a war zone fighting Koopa paratroopers. Luigi don't, don't had not stream. received good head in a long. <laughs> Man, I really don't want no regret to notice how ass I am at brute war. Hmm. How can I draw his attention away from my atrocious gameplay? Perhaps if I just let the TTS play, he will be more concerned about my sanity. That works. <laughs> this uh, he watched me play Planet Brood War today, guys. Anyways, uh, so it's rare I get to play someone that's actually this strong, even though he's a fucking asshole, clearly. Like, he's really high ranked. Like, he's 24, almost 2,500 right now with a good record. So he's probably 26, 27, because right now everyone's really low on the ladder. It's like a new season, and the, it just hasn't Hello. topped out. You know what I mean? No regret. Mm -hmm. Welcome but back. Lost it's hard to read the position here. and not I attack here. I thought that I actually was a little bit further ahead than, I, than the position I actually was. Work, but if you look at this, I right, I'm taking my third. Some more. If I just set up here, mm -hmm. I'm in such a good spot. Like, such a good spot. Because he's going Arbiter. He's just getting his fourth. Our worker count is super close. Like, I'm almost... I only need seven more workers, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like full, right? And I've got like, I've got good shit going on. I have a good tank count. I have a plenty of vultures. 
And look, look. Oh, man, this is so painful. So I didn't scan there, and it just fucking, he got too many kills. But, like, if you look to just before there... Yeah, like, right before I move out. This is, like, a such a good position. It's not, like, just win because you never just win against Protoss, but, uh... Like, I could have easily taken a fourth base really, really soon in, like, one minute. <laughs> and, like, just been in, a, in great shape. But it's so hard to read this. Th this is the thing that's... This is why... A big part of why TVP is so hard. Because, like, you saw me kill a ton of probes, right? And you thought I was... You thought I was in a good spot. Well, turns out I can't attack here. Yeah. Or I learned. maybe if I scanned well or something. I don't so know. did you scan or did you not? Yeah, well, I, I hit like zero S click, but something <clears throat> went wrong and it didn't go off. And then I went to do something else with my keys and then there was no scan and I just lost like an extra 10 units. <sighs> Anyways. Jake yeah. was on the prowl. He could smell Light Fury's dragacy from across the Home Depot parking lot and homed in on the intoxicated. I don't even know who Light Fury is. He followed her you all the way Light to Fury the plumbing was? aisle before making his move. He pretended to bend down next to her to grab a hard, long pipe and took a big sniffer, immediately becoming erect. He began his complex Light mating Fury? ritual, which involved a lot of foot stamping and shit log swallowing. She was not impressed. Her dragacy had never been more dry. Okay. Light. Can someone show him who Light Fury is? Light Fury. I can't fucking believe this. What an absolute joke. My opponent made units. Then they used their units to kill my units without any provocation. <coughs> there is no honor in this sort of aggression. I'm supposed to be allowed to dictate the pace of every game, and my pace is two base. The next guy who attacks my base without my permission is going to get stabbed. Nice. Tommy already said he'd do it for free. Bitch. Thank you, Tunger. That's Light Fury. Gotcha. Some kind of lizard dragon thing hey chat hi everyone gotcha. sorry uh -huh. some kind of i am new here i just had a few questions dragon first unicorn of all is thing. this recorded is this the recording from, from the how, to, how to train to tame your dragon is or whatever is this the vod from yesterday does anyone know <coughs> is this the vod of the recording of the youtube vod also does anyone know how come Artosis can afford to just play old games all day and not work? <laughs> Does Artois is unemployed? Do Artosis's collect unemployment checks? LOL fucking unbelievable and invites more unemployed people to his house. <laughs> <laughs> He's true. fucking unemployed people, man. Very true. Artosis, I will. Dude. No, you won't. Creative. Is that Dark Fury? No, no. Oh. That's Toothless. Why? <laughs> Why is he called Toothless? He doesn't have any teeth. How does he survive as a dragon without teeth? Uh, I don't know. He flames shit. Damn. All right. Brackets up, guys. <clears throat> Move, Light Fury. We need to see the bracket. <laughs> Is a uh, special checked in? Oh, it doesn't matter. We don't even try on him anymore. Okay. All right. So we got dark universe. Mm, oh, that's got epic here. Disrespect. Gerald. Three point. Hmm. Three point versus Gerald round two is not bad. We got trigger. Ooh, J Money Magic. All right. Who? We got Max Packs. He's just like an NA guy. He's okay. like a masters, masters level Zerg. We. We've casted everyone in this tournament at some point, so we just kind of know everybody. Uh, <coughs> we got Zesty in there. Oh, wow. Okay, Mixu. Oh, wow. Mixu signed up for the cup. He's taking a break from Stormgate. Uh, Nicaract. Mm -mm -mm. Astrea. 
Nothing good for Estrella for a while. Max packs up here. Damn, that's not the bracket I like to see him in. Estrella versus Koreans is amazing. Yeah. We got Gumi. We got... Who Sue is playing? Damn. Uh, uh, hero, the creator. Our boy, don't fence. Do you not knowing the difference between a lizard and a dragon? Good fucking god, can this guy get? <laughs> can you explain to me the difference between a lizard and a dragon? Did you not even watch? One's got wings, movie. one doesn't. Do you not even watch the fucking movie? On oh, we got Kira. All right, Kira hasn't played in weeks future there as well okay so for early rounds there's nothing that looks really really good in the first round obviously i'm I down with mapu's mapu's thoughts yeah uh, nothing sticks out to me anyways yeah like three point gerald is probably best suit into turksel into hero yeah okay so that's a good one Three points. Yeah, you could get three points. Gerald, Gerald is okay. Would be quicker. Sue Turksel hero is okay. Those are the only ones that look any good. Like second round, first round is so oftentimes shit that we barely even cast it. So, anyways, we'll see what what materializes. What? Honorable Macro Terran donated three dollars and thirty-three <coughs> cents. Artosis, I have a big job interview coming up tomorrow. Nice. I'm probably not qualified for the job and there's not much time to prepare, but I'm an optimist. I've been playing some Protoss games on the ladder and now I believe I can really do anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Just keep that uh, undeserved success that Protoss gives you into your interview and I'm sure that you'll be fine. <laughs> yep, going to the interview knowing that you're going to get the job. Yeah, that's the confidence. Just you assume need. that you can do anything you want in the interview <clears> and get the job. Well, yeah. Oh. But don't act on it. All right. I guess we're going to jump into Turksel first, maybe. Uh, where was he? He was up near Sue, right? So this is some high masters guy against Turksel and then against Sue. Sue hero would be what we're kind of aiming for there. Yeah, it'd be nice to see how Sue's doing, too in a while yeah haven't seen haven't seen many of his games have we some of these guys that came back from from the military it doesn't feel like they're training very hard like stats what the fuck is stats doing is he even playing like he is in the tournament <laughs> back and he just dies immediately i haven't even seen his games it's like are you not are you not training hard like guy yeah. won so much money you want protoss champion you need stats to care <laughs> that's the fucking problem Oh my god hmm. silence it's kind of nice it is a little bit nice isn't it yeah you really appreciate the little things when you're stuck in an artosis uh tts <laughs> you can't tell me that you don't think these tts's have been great i can't just tell you that <laughs> mm -hmm. you're so confident they've been great is this not <clears throat> a good experience uh it's a it's an experience. Look how fucking awesome White Fury is. Very nice. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be getting to the first game in a little bit here. How come you don't put the lights on in front of you anymore? Uh, well, the lights it like a big um, shadow on your. Yeah, but that's okay. Like, uh, the lights are more for the green screen. Gotcha. Like, I could put them in, but it'd just be shining on our faces. Like, yeah, I guess it would light us better, but it doesn't really change what the scene looks like that much, right? Makes sense. <clears throat> this will... I'm not sure how good this game will be, but... Uh, let's go. Turksel versus Harimon. I don't even know who these people are. Who's Turexel? Turksel is, like, a German... Uh, Bowser shoved the shoe into good. no regrets like mouth. GM guy. 
Eat the shoe, bitch, Bowser said. <laughs> I've been waiting for eight years for you to eat a shoe now. Has it really been eight it. years? Yeah. No That's regret crazy. succumbed to Bowser's scaly dragon turtle fury as his mouth accepted the timberlands that Bowser had brought for him. Drool poured down Jake's chin as his jaw buckled under the weight of Bowser's big shoe. His tongue teased the toe of the boot. Eat it, bitch, Bowser yelled. I paid for you to eat the shoe, now fucking eat it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. For the record, You're never going to get away from that, no are you? No one has paid me for any shoe related <coughs> It was a very, you know what? It was a very simple statement. Rogue was going to get out of a, a, a home story cup group where like five people the got goat, out of The goat, you mean? Yeah. He was going to get out of it. And you know what? He, he couldn't get out of it because he, he sucks. <laughs> Rogue sucks, that's why I have to eat a shoe. Only truly great players fall out so <coughs> early in tournaments. Because yeah. they're so far beyond the bad players that they're not Only used to playing. Only true great players can't get out of a home store group, cup group where five people get out of it. Yeah. And there's like seven people playing. Mm -hmm. By the way, this guy's one of the best players in the game, period. Great Artosis. Rogue. Rogue. Yeah, he's like literally the best. All right. Well... <clears throat> Well, got a barracks, got a reaper. <laughs> Command center coming up soon. Yeah, let's see how good these guys actually are. You give me your opinion. Have you played against this Harimon guy yet? Nope. No regret. Uh, You've been players? playing ladder, right? Yeah. How's that going? Uh, very well for the yeah? most part. <clears throat> what's your What's your rank right now in NA? Uh, I don't know, twenty five maybe, something like that. Twenty fifth. Yeah. Not bad. I, I haven't played that many games. Dude, it's I really funny winner. watching you play. So we set up another PC in here for no regret. So he's got like a PC basically next to my PC. I'm sitting there watching him play, man. And he literally just makes some lings after his hatchery and kills people. It's like, <laughs> it doesn't a, even, it doesn't even make checks. sense. There's yeah. a couple skill checks. Yeah. I, can kill, I can kill people with the first six lings. If yeah. Protoss player, if they're in their adept out. <clears throat> That's crazy, though. It's like, how are, how are people losing to that? I've been away for too long. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Oh, they aren't used to it. They aren't used to it. <laughs> they aren't used to the skill checks you give. Yeah, there's only a couple. You're not supposed to die to six lings. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they do. So funny. Yeah, looks okay so far. Yeah. Well, I mean, Turk's what we know is pretty good. He plays just about every week. One of the, the tricks for this cup is it's such a bad time for EU. Any EU flags you see are reasonably good. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. It's like, why else would they sign up if they weren't, like, kind of ambitious, like, practicing a lot type of thing? Whereas a lot of the, like, USA flags and stuff, it's, like, just people Shots playing for fun because, yeah, well, you know, it's, like, look at what time it is here. It's, like, 7 p.m. on the East Coast. It's, like, yeah, I guess I'll play this cup because I like this game, but, you know, like, diamond guys and stuff. But we'll get into some good games pretty Looking quickly, I think. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Gotta I mean, there's not much to talk about. It's a very standard game so far. No, yeah, yeah. The, the, normally, the first round, I just kind of chill and talk to the chat, to be honest. Yeah. Because you never get anything that good in the first round because everything's spaced out. We were talking about how we should just skip the beginning of the game. I can see why. Mm. We should just skip to this part of the game right now. Yeah, just start everyone first with like three hatches leads. and shit. You yeah. may as well. You start with fucking 12 workers. Just start with 20. Yeah. It's not much of a difference, honestly. We just start it with two maxed armies. See what happens. Dude. Wow. Or maybe if you gave the power of a maxed army into one unit that has spells. So you're talking about Storm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I was talking more about let's just make it into a MOBA. Let's just get this over with and oh. make a fucking MOBA one-on-one -on -one MOBA game. I thought we were talking about Templar. <coughs> no, I'm talking about the Defiler. True. They just put the Defiler in StarCraft 2. What do you think, by the way? Because you watch some of uh, Katowice. Yeah. What do you think about the uh, balance of the game right now? Um, it's a good question. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't have any strong opinions on balance, honestly. No? I think, um, I feel like the the skill level we've seen from some of the Terrans, like Clem, mm -hmm. it's so high that mm -hmm. I, I truly can't tell where balance stands because when he's on fire and he looks really solid, it doesn't actually look like Serral can do much, you know, to punish him or to stop Clem from getting into a really pos happy position where he enjoys being. Hmm. It just depends what kind of Clem shows up. Sometimes he's just insane, actually insane, like literally, yeah, like no damage is ever done. You know, everything goes as planned, and other times it's not. 
not the same Clem, but yeah. I don't so, know. It's the skill level is so high. I just yeah. The, I feel like balance isn't the deciding factor right now. I think actually you're you're wrong on that. Okay. Um, I think like right now. Okay, so look at like okay. Let's call Maru and uh, Clem similar levels. Okay. Uh, I think it's fair. Okay. I don't or, know about do you that, think that's not fair? You're like, no, Clem's Clem, way better. Look better at me. Maru. I'm a European commentator. Troy the Clem is way better than Maru. Sick, no regret. Sick. I am a North American. I don't even like the Europeans, the okay? <laughs> but Clem is so good. I don't know what to say. So, I, when I when I watch Clem play, sometimes I look at that and I say, I've never seen Terran play so, so crisp and so. Like, yeah, you, well, well, he played. plays a different style than Maru that's a little bit more active. But he's he's fantastic. Clem is really great. I have no no qualms about that. In fact, but I would Maru's put him. Better. I would put him as like slightly stronger than Maru, maybe oh, right okay, this second. But like it is, I think it's very close. and It's very stylistic. Their 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 differences, right? Well, I agree. With Maru that plays a very different game than Clem. But I would absolutely now here. Let me let me see if you agree with this. Okay. If uh, between Clem and and Maru, mm -hmm. do you think that there is anyone? mechanically better at the game than those two uh, can anyone actually do more than those two for Terran specifically no, or just period at all at <clears> all <throat> well I reject that those two are equal but like I think people can mechanically be better than Maru but I feel like Clem is actually mechanically the best player period okay that's how I feel but I, I don't think that same statement is true for Maru Maru's really good. Okay, is there the someone in between Clem and Maru, would you say? Uh, for, for everyone, yeah. For everyone, yeah. Who? Uh, I would consider a Rainer somewhere in between. Yeah, Rainer's Rainer's up there. He's the only person I would put anywhere near them. I would, yeah, and even Rainer, I would consider. I would consider Rainer better than Maru, but that's crazy talk. That's literally fucking insane. <laughs> okay. Like I might actually like call the police and have you brought in to be checked. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because that's just fucking crazy uh, to think that, that Rainer might be better than Maru right now. Well, um, I didn't say right now. I just say in general, right? We're talking about general mechanics. Yeah, we're talking general about general thing. mechanics. Okay, so here's the thing, right? So anyways, I the, th the thing that you're making hard about this is you're mm. trying to argue that Maru is much worse than he is. But <laughs> Maru, like, Maru consistently under shows up. Like, he, he con consistently loses to people that are worse than him. He consistently has plays that are just cons questionable at best really yeah like, can you can you point out some of those plays for me some of those plays yeah some of those plays that he consistently is having that are really questionable uh <laughs> i don't i don't nothing comes on the top of my okay, head but so I do, you made that up okay so i this isn't even a question this is just like a statement i've seen games that are very like so so listen i love maru i want maru to show up and actually make finals all the time mm -hmm. but the amount of times he loses to someone that's really underwhelming it's just not fun to watch him lose like we, the amount of times i want him to, to play against sarah in the finals and just dies to some <coughs> stupid shit by somebody else like i don't know well okay so here's here's the thing right here's what i'm trying to get at yes please right? get so your point. so clem <laughs> so like clem and maru right uh-huh uh i think without any doubt if you compare them now i think Cyril's fantastic one of the best ever no matter what you say okay <laughs> okay but don't disagree I, if you okay I, this is actually really hard to put into words i and hold on let's just i'm, let I'm this waiting to get kinda, there <laughs> Because you've been talking a lot of shit about my opinions here, but yeah. I haven't gotten anything of substance in the point of where we're trying to in go this here. Game, yeah. We have a close and pulse-pounding so, match between right, well-known players Harimang and Turkcell, <laughs> truly the pinnacle of their respective races. <laughs> Let's poll the chat to see how they're feeling about this exciting match. <laughs> so hey, stupid. The, by the way, these, no one's playing a bad game right now. Yeah, no, actually, this is this is solid play. They look, they both look really good. Nice. Yep. Oh my god. Get it out of there. Get it out How there. many? How many? I'm still waiting for our toast to disappoint. Anybody else chat? You don't deserve it anymore. Are you still thinking how to how you want to quantify your point? No, no. I already know how I want to quantify it. Okay, I'm ready. I gotta wait for these farts to finish. Okay. <coughs> oh, these mines, these mines. Oh, these mines. That is... Those are some nice mines. Damn, Harimon, man. Let's yeah. see He's playing really think. good. Yeah. Just solid play. 
<laughs> so stupid. Could have been even better. Like the mines were <coughs> really good there, but I had enough farts. Okay. Enough farts. Enough farts. Let's hear your point. Okay, please. hold on. Where was I? Okay, so we were talking about uh, Rainer's okay, trash. Okay, okay. From what so, I hear, no, no, not that at all. Okay. Okay. Uh, so basically, Serral has a much higher win rate than, like, for instance, Flash at Flash's peak. Okay. Okay. Uh, this, I do not think, is something that is indicative of a balanced game. Okay. His absolute win rate, the fact that he can play against the very best players in the world in best of seven and literally not even come close to dropping a game. Uh, <clears throat> I feel like we're... Uh, but anyways, but sorry. Hold on. If... If you have a win rate that is so much higher than flashes, right? And the players that are literally mechanically probably stronger than you can't even come close to taking games off of you in seven game series when they're playing their peak game. How that is that is not indicative of a balanced game. I feel like there's a lot of counter arguments here. Yeah. What yeah. are they? So first and foremost, I think we're conflating a large period of time, right? Like you, I would never argue that StarCraft Two has always been balanced. Mm -hmm. uh, like how you, your question was, how do you feel about balance? Like mm -hmm. I assume we're talking in the last month, two months. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel strongly enough about the games to say that the game is balanced and balanced. Like I don't see anything and say, wow, this is just Imba. I'm seeing really high level play. I'm seeing you know lots of mistakes from everybody, but everyone's playing so well mm -hmm. that I just don't feel that balance is the deciding factor of why Serral's winning right this second. Doesn't well, mean that it's doesn't mean that, not that the was the only thing. He's a great player. No, but I mean it just doesn't mean that that was always the case. It's, it does nothing to yeah, say. I didn't say for, it was always. Well, you just case said that anything. because of Serral's dominance across yeah, no. his entire career, it's been way more dominant well, than obviously Flash. Obviously, not his entire career, but yeah, I'm talking about <sighs> if you look at it overall, like his win percentage is so much higher. Yes, but we're talking about than overall anyone again. Has ever had. Overall is not we didn't you didn't ask me if the game is balanced overall because no, 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 no. that would have a very no, no, different no. Answer This to is that this is one point and this is not the crux of the argument. This is I think a very good argument that if your win rate is that high then it's like okay, well, this isn't actually how RTS is supposed to be because there's supposed to be some variance in who's beating who. This is not a game of full information. The thing is, for Serral, it basically is a game of full information. He's Zerg. He can scout everything all the time. Everyone Pretty can scout much. everything all the time. Pretty much, okay? So, <laughs> okay. So, anyways, he his win rate is actually too high. And when you have Maru, who is mechanically a better player than Serral, okay? What? You said it yourself. I I'm just using I your words. I did not say Maru was mechanically better. I said Clem was mechanically better, which I think who, is probably who defeated, a true statement. Who defeated Clem in that tournament in Katowice? Uh, I don't know. Did Maru? Maru did not defeat Clem, did he? No. Was it TVT? No, Serral beat him. Okay. So, anyways, uh, <laughs> when you have let's let's call Maru the second or best, third best mechanical player in the world, and he is unable to take a game from Serral unable to do so that whoa, whoa, is again whoa, 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 whoa. unable to do so period dude he got four owed i know but you can have got you can have bad tournaments oh so him wrecking everyone else and getting second place is a bad tournament uh no i'm not saying that i'm just saying your performance okay in a so tournament what are, can, what are you saying if you win every every series in a tournament you doesn't mean that you're playing necessarily the best starcraft of your life like you you can have a bad uh finals you know, you can get to the finals very dominantly and play a Serral and go 04. <laughs> Did he go 04, by the way? You know, I want to hold a StarCraft II tournament and all the commentators, I'm going to make them... Also... I'm going to make all the commentators <clears throat> get checked for I love Serral tattoos on their bodies before they're allowed to commentate. I don't even love Serral. <laughs> well, I really you're, don't. You're bending over backwards trying to, uh, <laughs> trying to act like what I'm saying isn't true. I don't even know what you're trying to say still. You're just trying to say Zerg is Imba because Serral won... I am. No, I think I think that Zerg is too strong. I've thought this for years. For years and years. Years, and years. is a different question, Artosis. Yeah. You didn't ask me if in the last four years has there been a dominant race in terms of balance. That would have been a very different answer. You asked me wait, wait. how do I feel about so you balance? Think, you think well, what do you think about right now? Right now, yeah. I don't feel like there's been enough tournaments on the current What? Yeah. That's what? that's how I feel. I don't feel like any games were dictated by balance in IEM. 
That's just how I feel. Dude. Dude. <clears throat> Maru literally That's can't win a single game. What was Clem's strong. score against Cyril? Uh, I don't remember. I can check. It wasn't a four. It wasn't a three zero, right? No, I don't think it was. I think it was a pretty I, good. Like personally, I think Clem is a better let TVZ me, player check than than Maru. Right now, I think he is a little bit. So the fact that Maru got to the finals and then lost 0-4 doesn't mean much to me. Let's check. Oh no, I'm sorry. Cyril three zero Clem. Yeah. So Cyril was on fire this tournament. I don't know. So what hold say. on. So also Cyril... Maru got to the finals by only playing Terrans. So. Hmm. So, but hold on. If if Cyril 3 0 Clem, who's the best, and he 4 0 Maru, who's the second best, therefore well, that Sarah seems Gimba. right. That, that makes seems sense. right. Hey, Cyril 3 0 Clem, 4 0 Maru, Zaragimba. Does that sound right to you? What? Because Cyril went 3 0 versus Clem and 4 0 mm -hmm. versus Maru, that Zerg is imbalanced versus Terran. That's not the only the only uh, point of reference, but yes. What else? That is, is, what other points? Dude, of reference there should do we have? be more variance than that in there a well balanced be. game. There should be more there variance be. than that. You should not be able to do that. No one should be able to do that. It, like the stats we're looking at would show him as much better than Flash. Yet here's the thing. Here's mm -hmm. the thing about Flash compared to everyone else in Brood War, right? Okay. If you look at Flash's stats and you look at all the other Terran stats, it's a fucking joke how much better he is. If you look at Serral's stats and then you look at Dark Rogue Rainer, mm -hmm. and now even Solar, they're very successful, right? They're very successful. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. What yeah. was your What was your point here on this one? I'm, it's I'm not confused. like Serral is a quadrillion times better than the other Zergs. Flash is a quadrillion times better than the other Terrans. I I don't know if that's even I don't know I don't know if that's true either. <clears throat> I think I think that's true that there's definitely Flash is more dominant than the other players. I don't think Serral is as dominant as I've been inexplicably drawn to the town of Bright right. Falls. Judging balance of city off of Amaru is terrible. Clem smashes Zerg. That's like me saying Protoss is broken. BC has to be in a ladder game. No, it's not anything like that. Uh, but also, Clem got 3 0 by yeah, Cyril. But there, so it doesn't what, matter. What Clem point, could have a bad tournament, is my point. Clem had a bad tournament? He could. He could. He, he beat could. everyone up to Cyril. Like, what? It, I don't even know what we're talking about. He only about. played Solar, <laughs> and then he lost to Cyril, and Cyril won the tournament. Maru got to the finals by only playing Terran, so we don't really. It doesn't mean much that his TVZ is worse than Cyril's TVZ. Dude. Dude, Clem, like, wh what do you want yeah, Clem, Clem to do? Clem came third out of his group. That's not even a good performance. So maybe his, his tournament group had no great. Zergs, man, except for fucking yep. Ragnarok. Ragnarok who, by came the way, first in his dude, tournament. Ragnarok, okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. Taking a look. Where's Clem versus Ragnarok? So Ragnarok lost to Bunny so first Ragnarok round. So Ragnarok 2 owed Clem. Ragnarok. Yeah, so maybe Clem had a bad. No, tournament. dude, hold on. Ragnarok, I think this is a point. <laughs> Ragnarok 2 owed Clem. Yes, and Bunny 2 0 barely Bunny 2 0 Ragnarok, therefore Bunny better than Clem. No, that's not what we're talking about. You're the <laughs> one who's saying Clem is the best TVC. Yes. And so why is Ragnarok 2 0 him and Serral's 3 0 him? Ragnarok is not even a fucking top four or five Zerg. He's not even. I don't know that. why we're. We're, He's not even I don't that. know why we're defining everybody off of a single tournament. It's so bizarre to me. Dude, this was the big tournament. I I know, but this it doesn't mean tournament. you'd erase everything else, man. What are we erasing? Nothing. It's this, <laughs> tournament, this tournament is the only performance of uh, Clem versus anybody. Dude, look at the last seven years of Zerg victories. Come on. I'm sorry. You're going to have to phrase your questions a lot better. If you're asking me if Zerg is dominant in the last seven years, I don't disagree. If you're going to ask me if the game is balanced based on a single tournament, that's a different question, too. Hashtag wash it flash. Hashtag flash sucks. Honorable Macro Terran donated three dollars and thirty-three cents. By the way, this Terran, Terran is winning now somehow. Would say I swear he was dead. Of the cyclone patch. So let's keep track of this. Terran was supposed to have been made him by this patch, and neither Maru nor Clem could take mm -hmm. a map off of Cyril because Zerg gets to just react and win. That is correct. Did you just point out a Twitch chatter to be right? What? Yeah. Guy chat home. donated four dollars and twenty cents. Zerg has been dominating SC2 for years, with multiple Zerg <coughs> players performing extremely well and dominating the scene. 
Taryn is only in the conversation because Marl skews mm -hmm. the results. Jeez, you've really brain... Not even Hold on. Going you've... To mention Hold on. You brainwashed your chat. What? No, I didn't. You have. Donated $3.33. Tom Brady cannot be the GOAT. He's too dominant. He won so hard against anyone it's not balanced. Michael Phelps cannot be the best. He won too much. Clearly not balanced. Why tall people need an nerf? Messi cannot be the GOAT. He won too much. What? Anonymous that is such a poor argument, you know it. <laughs> I didn't make that just argument, boring. at least. Even if he is 100% the best, it makes watching tournaments unexciting. I disagree. Well, I think a big problem with the tournaments is just they, they, there's not racial balance. It's like, I still watch, I still enjoy, but Zerg is the strongest. It is the strongest. Okay. If you were going to decide, like, let's say that you made a new RTS. Mm -hmm. What do you think is fairer design, Terran or Zerg, in this game? What? what would you would you remake Creep? Would, would you I remake, remake Vipers? Yeah, would you give a fucking speed boost that sees everything on the entire map? Anonymous uh, like, that's crazy. Uh, 20 cents. The fact that Marl gets mentioned in the I'm, I'm not quite sure where you're... Rogue is a total meme. Question was... Creep, yeah. creep is in bus, what are you saying? Oh, absolutely. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> and pause Tungi and replay my Dono bitch scammed and pause Tungi and replay my yes, yes, Dono bitch scammed and pause Tungi and replay my Dono mm -hmm. bitch scammed and pause Tungi and replay my Dono bitch scammed and pause Tungi and replay my Dono bitch scammed and pause Tungi. <laughs> so, here, let me, let me. I, I have. Yeah, go ahead. My issues are with the way you framed your original question. Okay. I feel like the sample size of games that I've seen is not large enough to say that Zerg is Imba. But if you're saying, if you're asking me for years of sample size, it's mm -hmm. a very different question, right? Your question wasn't. But how is, is it? Zerg, how is it really different? Because you asked me if Zerg is balanced based on like the most recent uh, games we've seen, not necessarily. But like, this the last was supposed to be the years. patch that made Terran really good. I've, I'm telling you that this patch, I haven't seen enough games to necessarily say Zerg is Imba. <laughs> I feel like that's a cop out. Watching Serral 4 Omaru is not enough information to say Zerg is but, in my opinion. What about 3 0 and Clem as well? So, what what changed in this patch that made Zerg stronger? Dude, Zerg is just forever strong. So, you're saying the nerfs that Zerg had aren't strong enough and that Zerg is imbalanced? Zerg based, has been imbalanced based, for like seven based years. Based on this tournament's results. No, on every tournament's results. Okay, well, you, why are you, you're so annoying to argue against. <laughs> why are you bringing any other tournaments into... We're asking about a recent patch, not the last five years of StarCraft II. <laughs> Ask me what I think about balance the last five years of StarCraft II. What Go do you ahead. think about balance the last five I think Zerg is pretty fucking strong. That's what I think. Okay, so Okay, now ask me suddenly? about the most recent patch where Zerg got nerfed. They got nerfed in the most recent patch? They definitely did in one of the most recent patches. They buffed the Viper. I know they buffed the Viper. Did they buff the Viper? They buffed the Ultra. What was the Viper buff? They buffed the Ultra. How many how many wins has Ultras had? Did Maru lose to Ultras in the finals? Probably. Did 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 Maru lose to Ultras in the finals, guys? Yes. So so Blizzard buffed Ultras, and that's what happened. The Ultras were to Imba. I'm not saying that ultras were too imba. Oh, but that's what I'm it sounded just saying like it to wasn't. Me. It wasn't much of a nerf. This patch, there were buffs. You are both wrong. At the highest level, it's not about mechanics because <coughs> they are all gods. It is about studying and recall. And Cyril has tremendous recall. If you have a really good idea of what your opponent is doing because you've seen it on replays and are intelligent enough to recall this, you have a huge Bro, advantage. what are you even Mind talking about? Why would you donate Absolutely. with that garbage? <laughs> you don't think we were you don't think pro gamers can remember the handful of things that their players that they're playing do? Like, some, some... It's not like we have infinite people to remember. Like I don't even know what you're saying. But how could how dare you come in here and call us both wrong with that garbage? That's all I have to say. Okay. Oh <laughs> damn, you took offense to that. He's just like my Twitch chat. They're like, oh, you lost because of this thing. It's like, no, I didn't. But thank you for your thoughts. Keep them to yourself. <laughs> Correct. All right, so. Dude, this game is actually a crazy game. I can't believe it. He went from losing to winning to losing to winning again. Yeah. better than because God loves him more. Zerg is in the VC at one last tournament 
Ignore the fact Terran won the one before. Uh, yeah. yeah Terran also, won, like, hey, one tournament, that yeah. last one, Clem played out of his mind. He yeah. literally made the race look so strong. Yeah. He just played yeah. so good. So you basically have to play the best games anyone has ever seen with a different race for Zerg not to win. <laughs> so what are you saying right now? Dude, I'm saying that Clem play didn't play games very well. With Zerg and win a tournament, and then in this tournament, I'm saying Clem didn't show up. And when he does show up, he just wins a tournament. <laughs> oh man! At the highest level, it's about who has the best Mario erotica. Well, shit! I should be the champion then. Yeah, we actually have a proof that that isn't true. <laughs> Dude, this is a truly crazy game. Yeah. It sucks we didn't cast it. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a good point. Hexrack points out. What's his point? Zergo P or not Erna. Oh. Listen. <clears throat> Crazy fucking game. Um, look at that. Zerg won again. What does that mean? Well, this Masters uh, Zerg just beat a GM Terran, so I don't know. You tell me what that means. That would mean Zerg and <coughs> Make him. <laughs> Same shit every time donated $3.33. He lost to stupid early aggression <coughs> because Zerg can shit out early aggression while macroing and Terran can't. Mario what? Has to know the stupid roach shit what did he just say? Can we skip this? Can put no. out a ton of My brain's hurting. While macroing. Rogue said same stuff. What? ST4 I'm sorry, you're just wrong. Hanglo cheered. X300, you guys up, ever Sankey? do that thing where your ex-wife? Oh, sorry, serious conversation. Very serious. Here, hold on, I gotta unpause Tangia. Sluba just gifted one sub. Thank you, Sluba. You are the man. Most excellent. My name is Alan Wake, and I've been inexplicably drawn to the town of Bright Falls. Darkness follows on my heels, haunts my dreams. I don't even know who Alan Wake is. place to place. No idea. I'm here in search of the point that Artosis is trying to make and trying <laughs> to figure out what the fuck he is talking about. I'm here in the distant hope that the citizens of Bright Falls can lead me in the direction of Artosis's point. Maybe there's some clue left abandoned that will help me decipher what he's trying to say. Yeah, I don't know what he's trying to say either. I really don't. Dude, I'm just, I'm just pointing out. <coughs> what, was just... The, what was the last tournament that Clem won? He won the uh, DreamHack. You want to pull up that uh, bracket? Yep. Let me see. How do I find that? And that's oh, post patch, right? Because I don't know about this new Ultralist buff patch. I mean, I never said it was because Ultralist. It's just you call it a big <laughs> you Zerg said nerf it patch, was. and it, it really wasn't a nerf patch. You can't say it wasn't really, a nerf really patch and say, "Hey, Ultras were buffed," and then not we don't see Ultras at all and be like, "Well, look, Zerg got buffed because Ultras got buffed." I don't understand what your point is. Ultras are like an auto lose unit if you use them. So. Unless they're not anymore. I don't know. I don't know what the Ultralist buff was. So, so uh, Clem took down Solar, then Serral, then Dark. Oh, completely dominated every single Zerg? 3 2 versus Solar, 3 1 versus Serral, 4 3 1, one versus Serral, 4 1 versus Dark. And do you know Dark. how we can tell that that is balanced, guys? How can we Notice tell how balanced? Clem lost maps. Oh my god, Clem lost a map? Yep. He only went 3 1 versus Serral? Mm -hmm. So maybe the game's balanced. Drop at Maru's natural, then you'd know exactly what I meant. Maru has to play a little greedy if Cyril plays normal, so Cyril can just hit him with roach shit like Rogue used to do. I have no idea what you meant. You're saying that there was some kind of queen drop? Yeah, just that there was pressure put on him while Cyril with macro queen up. Queen drop. Yeah, queen and uh, queen and roach apparently. That sounds horrible. It is, but it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want with her. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so because Clem dropped one game against Sarah, one game against Dark. And two games against Solar. That makes Terran balance. Look, I'm just saying, man, that the win rates should not be. Did as you high watch this Sarah. tournament? Uh the dream this dream hack? Yeah. I watched the finals Dark Clem versus. And what do you think of Clem? Yeah, you played out of his mind. Did it was you watch probably Clem the best TVC I've ever seen. What about Clem versus Sarah? Oh, I think I maybe saw like a game out of it. 
But I, I, I think, think if you watch that thing. series, you don't say Zerg is imbalanced. That's what I think. If you want to base it off of very yeah, but, but, but weird metrics. It's like the best TVZ anyone's ever played. I don't understand. It's what that has to so do. So everyone is a range, right? Everyone's a range of play, like a range of quality, yeah. right? Yeah, I agree. So, like maybe Clem isn't having a good tournament at IEM. But no, continue. no, I'm saying his absolute peak play he's ever played in his whole entire life was at the Winter Tournament. Okay. It is literally the best anyone has ever played Terran. And therefore, do you Zerg disagree? Is imbalanced? No, I'm saying I don't disagree. But that was my point. If my you're point. Playing was X 300 you are both incorrect oh god you're discussing win rates and data but this is pointless because the data is fundamentally tainted because everyone who plays starcraft is a loser. has an iq below 90 and anybody <laughs> worth a shit is playing brood war like a man you're arguing over who is up in the special olympics damn interesting damn Anyways, so <laughs> my my uh, my argument wins. <laughs> there you go. So, what do you think in terms of uh, StarCraft II dominance lately? You think in Europeans or Koreans? Is that a joke? No, that's a serious question. Dude, well, Europe has two two top players. Two. And the rest are Korean. Not three top players. Well, I mean, Rainer is very up and down right now. Oh, okay. Rainer hasn't had a really great tournament in a bit, has he? Uh, not to my knowledge. Yeah. So. It's like when was the last Korean win though? Uh, when's the last time a foreigner won GSL? So are Europeans <laughs> Imba? No, because they always win. Well, Serral wins. Oh, okay. Serral the Zerg but player. Korean Zergs also play Zerg. Yep, and, and Solar's actually win. been winning shit after being I don't a know round last... of sixteen player for ten years. He suddenly wins shit. Was he winning? He won a GSL. Oh, GSL where all the Koreans play. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, <clears throat> today I learned. Personally, I don't think there's any question that Europe is dominating StarCraft 2 right now. Europe? Yeah. Europe? Yeah. And I think Europe is actually imbalanced because so, they always win tournaments. So hold on, hold on. You live in a suburb outside of Toronto. Now, when yeah. the Blue Jays win a game, do you go, wow, we are really good at baseball? Uh, do if the Blue Jays and win are, every, you if the Blue your, Jays, I'm just asking if, you if they win every single tournament, then I would probably say, yeah, Blue Jays are pretty strong. Oh, so you'd say the Blue Jays are pretty strong. You wouldn't say we, as in you and your neighbor, also. No, but I was, okay, because a lot of people do do that, and that's the same thing as saying Europeans are dominant in StarCraft too. All right, chat, you're gonna have to help me with this one. I have absolutely no fucking idea. <laughs> what his point was there somebody in chat please help me you don't just understand one person what i was saying somebody help me i have no fucking clue what his point was there somebody are you serious nobody in chat so far no one in you chat you really don't get it chat has no idea what you're talking about i haven't seen a single person explain it dude so basically when you say europe europe is dominating yes. it's like no dude it's two players or okay. two and a half players and all the other top players are korean so if you take top 10 players three are european and seven are korean I'm sorry, what does this have to do with me living in a suburb of Toronto and the Blue Jays? And well, you can't the call neighbors? it Europe when it's three people. But what about the neighbors and all this other stuff that you're talking about? When three of the top... T because that's like the same thing <laughs> What are we saying? saying? That's like is someone who says, wow, we are really good. Like Toronto is I very good at baseball. I didn't say we are, though. I didn't, yeah, I'm not even you European. Europe. You said Europe. I'm not saying that you said we. I'm saying that you said Europe. So you're basically including... Like a bunch of players that are way weaker than the Koreans. In the okay. Clown, right? I, okay, I see that. Because it's literally okay, that. two and a half players oh, okay. are doing well for Europe. And I got you. The rest Thank are all you. Koreans. Thank you for getting there. I, I get it. Yeah. Okay. So Europe is not dominating. Sorry. Not the case. Got gotcha. the case. So oh, oh, Max Packs. Yeah, guys, we're talking about land tournaments. <laughs> Rainer is half a player. Well, I mean, he's up and down right now. I'm, I, I bet you he'll come back and everything. Like, I have faith in him. I think he's really, really fantastic. I don't know, man. I'm thinking the Koreans are really washed up in general. <laughs> like well, they, actually... they are, but they're still better than the Europeans. <laughs> no. Yeah, dude. No. Yeah, man. Like the, maybe the average okay, so Korean the winter, versus the, the average winter bracket European? top eight: Korean, 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 Korean. No, Koreans had Europe, a really Europe, good tournament this one. China. Okay, this, now let's this see. This tournament, the Koreans had a good show. Dude, every tournament, literally every tournament. Uh, I don't know about every tournament, but 
And then we look at this one and uh, at Katowice. Katowice, it is top eight. Europe, Europe, Korean, 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 Europe, Korean. Wow. Your brain actually Koreans. had a very good, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Too bad the European won. Yeah, man, he always does. Plays the Zerg race. So, if Zerg is Imba, how mm -hmm. come other Zergs aren't as dominant as the Zerg? Are you kidding me? No. Are you actually joking? I, I would like to know what... Who is, who is the other goat with Cyril? Who's the other goat with yep. Cyril? Yep. I don't know. It's Rogue. It's not Rogue. Another Zerg. Yes. Don't it, even insult. Dude, literally. Don't even insult, Cyril. Literally, it is. That Rogue is, is not even in the same Dude, you're just class. saying that because you're you're saying that to troll me. I'm okay? not, dude. You're I don't know what's your obsession with Rogue. Me. He doesn't do anything. Dude, he loses he to people to way worse than him. Dude, we made you're a meme build. We shoot. made a meme build where we went like you're, pool, dude. 12 pool, took a hatch and built lings and killed him. Yeah. Then we went do you drone know that pool worked? and killed him. because it was so He just dies to everything. Dude, when you're as smart as Rogue, you lose to bad shit. Rogue just dies to everything. Everything. He just dies to everything. He loses to idiots because he's fucking 20 levels above yeah, the top you, players. You can't do that to Serral, you know? Dude, you're crazy. You don't get away with, like, memes against Serral, but you get away with memes against Rogue. He just dies. No. It's because... Rogue... No. Anyways. Anyways, listen. What about the game? The top Chat. players... Here are the top players. Not Zerg players, Maru and Clem. $3 Maru and Clem. Serral and Raynor. Uh, <laughs> no, Protossos. Dark. Dark. Uh, dark, maybe. Into. I, Rogue made would I count Dark? Like a dumb dark, baby maybe. BTW. There's no Protossos. We should talk about how Protoss is underpowered. Protoss is underpowered. I made a video I would about agree. it. I would agree with that. Yeah, I gotta show you that video I made. Because it literally sums up everything. I think you just watch and be like, yes. Yeah, I mean, I don't disagree. At least not. I feel like Protoss is both underpowered, but also the Protoss players we have aren't very skilled. But I, I, I well, yeah, so, I feel like that that has to be true to some so, some extent. So real quick, I let let's bring this back to uh, Star, uh, Starcraft, like one Starcraft two, Sarah Flash, this type of comparison, because I think this is a this is a good thing to mention, right? So basically most tournaments right now we do have other players entering in sometimes like maru like clem for victories right but most tournaments in the past like seven years have been won by Cyril, rainer dark rogue and then some by maru and just recently clem okay that's like basically all the tournament wins okay now if you look at that that is literally four zergs trading off tournament wins for the most part okay if you look at what actual bone Dwa status like actual goat status looks like in brood war from flash it's not like flash light and fucking sharp are switching off no it's like flash won a bunch other terrans underperformed and yeah there are some other wins in there from other races so you don't think Serral is the goat of starcraft 2 you don't think he's a bone Dwa oh he, he, no 2. he's fantastic he's fantastic but I'm just saying the game is not well balanced. <laughs> well, I think there's a lot of things to unpack there, and I think you're being very silly by I'm not just being compiling silly. it all I'm not together. a silly guy. <laughs> you are definitely a silly guy. <laughs> not a silly guy. You are 100% a silly guy. <laughs> so tell me then, where, where am I wrong? <clears throat> no, I think you are right. Oh, okay. But not not entirely. Well, no one's entirely right. The reason why I say you're not entirely right just resubscribed for 12 months. Thanks, is because I don't think we've... Silly guy. <laughs> Thanks. I don't think we've seen enough games on the current patch to say that Zerg is Imba. That being said, I do think we've seen enough games in the last three, four, or five years to say Zerg is Imba. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. I'm holding, withholding judgment <laughs> the because I watched two tournaments. I watched two tournaments since the patch. One won by Terran, who looked absolutely <coughs> insane. Mm -hmm. And watching those games, certainly I would not say Zerg is imbalanced. And then this tournament, which Sarah won against Maru in the finals and Clem mm -hmm. in the quarterfinals, I don't think that's enough games to say at least not from my perspective, that Zerg is imbalanced. Mm. That's all. Uh, there's another thing just to uh, what? to mention. Oh, the wow, Shit, we're going into another game. RT. What's up? Using the blue Please cast the game. Okay, we'll cast this never one. a good hmm? point. Since last season was the first season, they had a better record than the, both the Yankees and Red Sox. And that was a good 20 plus years after they went back to back World Series champions since the early 1990s. 
there were a lot of better teams in any sport to use as an analogy than the Toronto Blue Jays. Well, I agree. That's why I said it would be like if the Blue Jays won everything, and then we said that. In which case, I well, I was just using Blue that because that's dominant. where that's where he lives. So I, was I know, just like thought of a Toronto team. I wasn't going to say the Raptors. That's for <clears> sure. <throat> so, anyways, yeah, T sports are overrated, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, who cares about those? Team games are dumb, anyways. True. Uh, yeah. We yeah. observe someone known as No Regret embroiled in a fascinating state of denial. Despite the overwhelming evidence presented by the hierarchy where the Zerg race exhibits a remarkable dominance, akin to the apex predators of the African savanna, No Regret remains unconvinced of their superior strength. That was the question. Denial, emblematic of the human propensity to favor personal conviction over facts. No regret is more convinced of his wrong opinion than a flat earther standing at the edge of space. <laughs> it's weird because I even said Zerg was imbalanced. His question was very misstated. Mine? Yeah, because his question Never. was originally, how did you feel about Zerg balance? Like in reference to the most recent tournaments, the recent patch. And then he brought yeah, up, the and then he brought in seven years of StarCraft II yeah. as his as his evidence for the most recent patch. Okay. Mm. What the fuck does the last seven years have to do with anything? And then he talked about his neighbors, which I have no idea where we're going with this whole <laughs> I thing. I explained that to you. I still don't understand what it had to do with I'm my sorry neighbors. I'm you can't make the same cognitive chat has no as idea a either. player. There are like thousands of people in this chat. Yeah. Not a single one of them knew. They all knew. The chat. Well, actually, the fact that you're comparing yourself to chat, and you're like, no, no I was just new, Herpter. It's just the point is there's the numbers there. <laughs> one person had to click. You know, Dude, one person would have been like, oh, I'm on our I don't expect. Wavelength. I don't expect the chat to understand just anything one. I'm saying. I would expect one to just happen to know. Like, luck. Maybe they have the same <laughs> genome that you have or some chromosomes that are all the same, and they just knew what you meant. Not a single wow. person here knew. Well, CSGO donated wow. $3 since you've already breached the terms of your contract with ESL by Potato not casting a single oh God, the last three, three games we've watched. for one month. Let's just go back to <laughs> your and not just TTS spam about funny dumb sounds. I think, I think yeah. we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. Yeah. I'm enjoying this more than the TTS, fam. Yeah. All right. I can't believe we're actually in game three now. This I is know. like the longest series ever for this cup. For the first round, too? Yeah, this yeah. is first round. Like, this was this <clears throat> is certainly the best match. We got a little bit That first game there. was so back and forth, too. Yeah, it was like, crazy. It was crazy. Me. What was that? I don't know what that was. Do you self-identify as an idiot? I would love to see the poll results on that one. <laughs> there are guys in the chat. It'll probably end up being yes. Yeah, 90%. 94% yes. <laughs> Artosis voted no, of course not, just for the record. Yeah. Hexeract one cheered. X300, as the king of the guys in the chat, first, I want to say I understand <coughs> where Artie was going with his neighbors. Thing. See? Right. Okay. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> let's see. Well, <laughs> all right. I want to poll. Can we poll if Europeans or Koreans have been dominated dominant in StarCraft Two for the last three to four years? I would like to see what chat thinks. Yeah. Put it up. Let's say three years. Put it up. Put it up. Here, can you take over for one second? I'll be right back. Sure. You want anything while I'm up there? Uh. Water or something? Drinks? Some kind of drink? Yeah, what do you want? Liquid. Whatever you okay, bring me, I'll drink. Like, so if I bring you a bottle of vodka, you'll drink that? Yeah, but we're, we're doing it together. Oh, well, no, no, no. <laughs> it's true. No, we're gas and start. I'm just curious what you guys think. Honestly, I don't think I don't think it's as... Okay. Um, uh, I don't think it's 100%, you know? I think the opinions here are fine either way. I think the argument that Koreans can be considered dominant since there's more of them that are good... Uh, that could be one way of interpreting dominant. I wouldn't interpret it that way. And then the other way would be like actual tournament wins, which Europeans definitely dominate. I'd love to help settle uh, the debate if you weren't talking about the make believe. I don't know if we don't game. include Cyril in Europeans. I don't know why we wouldn't do that. <clears throat> also, I'm North American, by the way, so I have no allegiance to Europe whatsoever. Five out of eight Koreans. Yeah, but so my point, I think that's 
a good point. Five out of eight Koreans in premier tournaments in top eight, but the three that are Europeans <laughs> dominate the Koreans. You know? That's the point. At least as of late. I mean, I would never make this argument m longer term than just the last couple of years. You didn't specify SC2? Okay, well, this is very much SC2. I have no idea in terms of... Uh, I have no, in terms, no idea in terms of StarCraft 2 or 1. I would assume it's all Korean dominated. Wouldn't even be close. <clears throat> you should ask if Serral is dominant, not if EU is dominant. <coughs> no. Thank you. He brought me vodka with ice. <laughs> all right. Vitamins.com is now in Canada. And with custom search tools, your perfect what is place this? is just a search. No tool. idea. Oh, it's a fucking Liquipedia. Liquipedia like auto plays ads for you now. It's fucking disgusting. Wait, what? Yeah, Liquipedia will just start playing the fucking background? ads. Yeah, in the background. Why? Yeah, because they want to make money, man. Yeah, but they shouldn't be paid for that ad. No, I know. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's kind of weird. Korea, 52%. Also, there were a couple of people that seemed to be confused if they were talking StarCraft 2 or Brood War. But I'm just going to say it's half and half. We'll yeah. round it even. Which I think is fair. I I, I don't yeah. think that would be a wrong opinion. I think that's fine. That's fine. The thing is, there's no one new in Korea. <laughs> it's like actually Yeah, it's so kind of sad. It's kind of sad. Yeah. I have so no doubt if we had like a... Uh, just subscribed. Uh, if we had like a Serral or a Clem newcomer from Korea, that would be so cool. We just don't have them. Like, the Korean, young Koreans are just not interested in StarCraft 2. Yeah. And I don't blame them. It's... Hey, no regret. What's up, my dude? My What's name up? is Tommy. I am Wife Tosis' boyfriend. I was with hey, Wife Tommy. Tosis in the bedroom. <laughs> when that happens, I usually leave outside of the door for Lil Bro Arty some mac and cheese and Capri oh, Sun. Oh, really? There's plenty of Capri Sun for you, too, my dude. Don't be shy. Awesome. Drink away. Everyone in my house is my guest. <laughs> now, sorry, I need to go. <laughs> Wife Tosis' feet will not get the best massage ever if I am not around. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe we'll get a Korea Sun and some mac and cheese. It's excellent. Tommy's the best. Hellbat Bush. Look at that. Tommy, would you would you by chance want to have a beer with us later? <laughs> no pressure, you know. Cat is interested in my ice. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Careful, they'll drink right out of that. Have you shown the new family members? Yep. I like our commentary for this this series. <laughs> There's no sense to start now. Tommy doesn't hang out with nerds, I hear. So he'll only have a beer with you, not me. <laughs> I think I'm just as nerdy. Maybe a little less nerdy. Mm. You're like too mature is the problem. Mature, yeah. You missed Damn. the reveal. Well, Cat mm. is currently fighting StarCraft II <laughs> Marines and also stepping on the remote controller for the heater in the house. Did he fuck it up? No, nope, looks okay. Now he's doing stuff behind the monitor. <clears throat> if we ever go silent, it was the cat's fault. <laughs> that is a lot of queens. Mm. <clears throat> My concern is there's not much substance with these queens. Also, no creep. Also, no ability for a surround. It's yeah. quite scary. Well, I think they're fine to suck up some tank fire, but honestly, they're in the way. Oh, I like this. Like, you don't actually want later game too many queens in the front row. They just block too much shit. Yeah, and his creep spread for this many queens where he's being attacked. Quite unfortunate. I saw some kind of flank, but I think it just died. Yeah. It didn't come in at the right time, I think. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to hurt. Why? There's a Banshee still. Damn. 
That's a lot of queens, though. I'd have, you can't attack up a ramp into Queen Hydra. It's uh, a bit of a mistake. Did get 10 drones, though, so... He's sitting pretty. Dude, are those medevacs all that low? Not all. But, but no, the ones... Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, half of those look like they're, like, a shot from death. <laughs> this is distracting. Dude, the cat is actually trying to hit shit on the screen. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Are those true numbers? Protoss won 21 GSLs? There's no way. Really? No. Zerg, 23 no. GSLs. No. Terran, 25 GSLs? No. That can't be true. Maru and Innovation together almost won 25 GSLs. I can't even name Protoss champions in GSL, like, thinking about it. No They'd have to be counting mind. the side tournaments, like Super Tournament. Or if, also if you're counting, like, the first couple of years, maybe, as well. I'll find it. I think Protoss had a pretty good streak in the beginning. No. No? No. They, in fact, they have no three-time winners. MC parting, none of those. Just those weren't good streaks. It doesn't have good stats here. Yeah. No idea. Am I in the English commentator section? Mm-hmm. Mole trap is. Oh, there it is. 25 Terran, 24 Zerg, 21 Protoss. So Terran is the most dominant race in StarCraft 2. No, because <laughs> it, it includes Super Tournament. Super uh, Tournament is not equivalent to Code S. Okay. Gotcha. Almost all the pro wins are super tournament. <clears throat> all right, GG. GG. We'll cast the next one. Mm. Best non Korean of all time, Jinro? No. <laughs> <laughs> Best non-Korean for sure has to be Cero of all time. I think that makes sense Cero? at this point. Best non-Korean of all time? Yeah. I think yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? People are saying he's the GOAT. Obviously, he's the best non-Korean of all time. That's like not even up for debate, no matter how Imbo Zerg is. True. <coughs> True. All right. So, anyways, th this is uh, dude, look at this, Maru with eight golds. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is including other tournaments though. Rogue with six. He doesn't actually have six super tournaments in there. MVP with four. Zest actually only has two Kodas. I wonder what Zest has been up to. Zest? Yeah. Probably just modeling underwear somewhere. He should be. Yeah. <coughs> Did our Tosas clean his window yet? I would say no. It's clean. Is oh, it? No. <coughs> Look at that cute cat there. Oh my god. He adds a lot to the stream. He does. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna cast Sue next, so that'll be fun. I imagine that Turks will lose to Sue, right? I don't know what type of fucking condition Sue is in, though. I don't know. Is Turexel European? Turexel, yeah. Oh, he's probably going to win. Oh, shit. That's <laughs> 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 so stupid. No, I imagine Sue would win. Sue is... Sue's gone in and out, and he's always been good, you know? You know what's crazy? Like, if Sue had won <clears throat> even two of his six code S's, he'd be remembered as one of the goats. The real apotheosis 92 donated $20. Swing by Vegas after relay. I will be in town. Apparently lots of people going. 
Don't be a pussy. Thank you, Real Apotheosis. I do appreciate uh, the offer. Unfortunately, I already have my tickets to come back home. Uh, Jape Surge so. just resubscribed. Unfortunately, for I will not be able to do that this time, but I will let you know next time I'm over in uh, Vegas or Vegas. something. I was actually talking to my wife. I'm like, do you want to go to Vegas? Like, should we do a vacation there sometime? She was non committal. I'm down for Vegas vacation. Who cares? It's just your family. We can Dude, I really want to go, actually. You know what I would love to do is go there during the F1. That's so cool that, that they do the cool. race on the strip. That is so sick. Are they, they going to do more? Yeah. Yeah. I heard hotels were insane, price-wise. It was a shit show, really, was it? <laughs> no, I'm sure it must have been so much money. Because imagine having, like, a sick hotel, hotel room yeah. where you're watching the watching it. Like, that would be... That would be awesome. Sue, I don't think Sue was ever a goat. Sue was good for sure. Had his peaks where he might have been, but not. He didn't hold them. <laughs> huh? Like I don't think Sue. Well, first off, Sue never won a GSL, but which is shocking. He played in so many, mm. but Sue had periods of time where he's really good. But it, it felt like he always felt to me like he would either choke or not play. Like yeah. he would, he would have a crazy tournament, and then he gets to the finals, which just would not look <coughs> the same. It was a mental, it was a mental issue. It, like uh, I think he lost his confidence. If you remember his final against Zest, he had him. It was over, and Zest came back. Like Sue threw. I, I think remember I remember it was on Frost, and Sue brought in all <laughs> his mutas, and like he was trying months. to kill Zess, and he just barely did it, and then everything the fell apart. Hope you are well physically at least. Wait, wait, what? I don't know. <laughs> was that a oh, sub? I hope I'm okay physically at least. The sub don't things aren't coming up. I don't know why. They were last time I streamed strange get out of my water cat lemons enjoy just but thank subscribe. you guy in the chat hold on i got messages about that uh. g5 media has rated with 14 viewers we apologize for Yo. what you're about to experience <laughs> thank you g5 buddy hope you had a good stream All right, let's do it. Sue versus Turtle. Yeah, so Sue, I really think it just became completely mental with him. Yeah. It just, there's no other way because, yeah, he would play the best tournament of everyone that just suck ass in the finals. Like, honestly, like, I love Gumiho. Gumiho is, like, one of my favorite players. He shouldn't be a GSL champ, <laughs> you know? There's, like, some people that are GSL champs where you're like, well, that should not have actually happened. Like, Sue should have won that. And Gumio just like beats him with mech and shit that no one else is doing. And <laughs> Jesus. Like Sniper. Should Sniper be a GSL champ? Should Seed be a GSL champ? There's like a lot of sad things, man. Yeah. I mean, this is we're talking different eras. Yeah. Like, I, I can't remember how dominant Seed's games looked back then. No, he looked good, but it wasn't super special. <laughs> Yeah, but it's such a long time ago. Yeah. just like there's something for seven months. There's something about being meow wow RT. There's something meow about wow. being good at the beginning of the game. Like it is a, it's special. It doesn't mean your gameplay is good necessarily, but yeah. you are the fastest at figuring things out. You know, like MVP was dominant for a long time. Mm -hmm. You go back and look at his games; they don't look particularly good, but something made him, you know, considerably better than everyone else at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like being clutch, having good decision making, that type of thing for sure. Like decisiveness and yeah. some, a mind for strategy. But know? being really good right at the very beginning, it, there, it it doesn't actually matter all that much. Like it's it doesn't necessarily mean that you're really super super good or something. No, I think it's just a different. It's a different um, word I'm looking for. It's like a different skill set or a different mm -hmm. strength, but yeah. it doesn't necessarily translate into <laughs> long term skill. Yeah. Longer the game is out, the more it goes towards just like silent hard workers. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's like uh, a lot of people are asking me why like there's not as many big personalities in nowadays as there used to be. 
And it's because the people, like the quieter people, have the personality that gets better over time. And then you look at someone like Stefano, it's like, well, you're not going to keep him forever. And he's not going to continue to put in the work, you know? Yeah. It's like he'll do it while he can do it. And then just, you know. Makes sense. Yeah. I hope Rainer bucks that trend a bit because he definitely has a really great personality. But even he yeah. looks like he might be falling into that same... Uh, hmm. I, I wouldn't say it's there yet, but he definitely doesn't seem to be working as hard as some of the other people I've seen. Yeah, I'm, un, I'm unsure exactly how much or what's going on with him. Well, he seems to go through periods where he works incredibly hard. No, yeah. no question he does. But yeah, there yeah. Are also He also goes through periods of like chill, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But I think he's a little bit more social, a little bit more... Oh, uh, for sure. ...outgoing. And no, I think these contribute to you not wanting to play as much. You know, like if you're more introverted and more comfortable being alone or even enjoy that, mm -hmm. then I think you're kind of... Uh, almost always going to be playing more than others that don't have that same uh, yeah. desire to be introverted. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think so, too. That's why, like, uh, you see a lot of players fall off when they get girlfriends. True. Because they girlfriends literally just the don't play as much. of pro gamers. Yeah. <coughs> if you're a pro gamer, don't even try. It's not worth it. What, try to get a girlfriend? Yeah. Just yeah. Get, a, get a boyfriend... <laughs> That plays StarCraft. That I don't can... think we have data on that yet. Like if if Cyril dated Clem, mm -hmm. that would be an interesting uh, thing. Maybe they bring each other up, you know, encourage each other to play. Hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Give you a slight advantage over everyone else. Anyways, what's going on with this game? Oh uh, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't paying too much attention. But I guess let's. Are you thinking about it? You're thinking if that gives you an advantage? Yeah, I was actually, yeah. Yeah. Thinking about getting a boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I'll do anything to get better brood war, man. <laughs> Ask Tommy. <laughs> Listen, bro. <laughs> I need help here. Um, yeah, maybe you can get Tommy into brood war. That might help. He's a Protoss player, man. He can already he beat me. I don't know. It looks, looks pretty standard here, right? This looks like a... Like a two ra uh, two medevac drop. Yeah. These like these don't really do well usually against player. Like this is almost like a skill check in its own right. Usually it doesn't do that much, but it can kill people off guard. But this Jungle this will never get them too off guard. Yeah, yeah. This is an easy months. queen wing defense. Crunch. Hmm. I didn't see a bailing nest, but you don't even need one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just the queens are gonna do all right. Remember the old counter to this was seven queens and pl fast plus one carapace. Remember that? I don't. Yeah, yeah. Well, this do was, in do 2016, remember. this build was used every game in TBZ. Do you remember Queen Ling? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, shit. He's one, he's one down. <laughs> that is a lot of things. I think he'll be all right. Scans doesn't even kill the... Uh... Oh, my God. Oh, Dude. My goodness. This is what happens when you want that one last Marine, man. And there's a quick carapace. See? The old counter is still the counter. And, oh, that would have been close. Nothing behind this, Where's though. his units? Why is he not rallying down there? <laughs> why why, why rally it in your main base? Yeah, that is a little weird. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, all of his follow-up pushes are just so much worse now. <clears throat> he, yeah. I think he, like, well, losing that meta back is, is... I think this is why this, this build in particular fell out of fashion, because... If you don't do any damage, it <coughs> feels like your your follow pushes are really committed. Yeah, if, and you, if you don't, if you if, lose a medevac, I feel like it's uh, it's just game like, over. Yeah, you basically have to play really passive, but you're playing passive yeah. with less income. Because you have to pressure with the first two, and then normally the second two come, and you have a tank with it. Exactly. And it's it's pretty strong at that point. But like you're you're building up to that push, so that push doesn't do anything, then you're even worse mm -hmm. off. That's why the care pace, I guess, is really nice. Yeah. Usually, you can buy enough time care pace finishes and then clear it up. Yeah, no. Like, <laughs> dude, he loses another meta back. Oh shit. <clears throat> yeah, this is pretty unfortunate. Mm. What's the idea with these? Yeah, I don't know what the two liberators are all about. He's already lost two meta backs. He saw so, so many queens. Like these links can actually just attack and kill him. Yeah, not looking too good for our boy Turksel. But you know, if Sue, uh, if Sue wins here, it'd be against Hero. Wings are gone. Well, yeah, I think Sue's about to finish him, maybe. Yeah, I don't think he holds this. Yeah. Let him in. 
Nice. Yeah, lower the wall, quick. I like how he continues to kill the depots. Mm. Doesn't matter though. GG. GG. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this build fell out of fashion with a lot of us. Yeah, it, just... it, it doesn't seem that good anymore, honestly. What do you like, TVZ? What do you think is the best build right now? Best opener? Um, I think it's the same as it's been for years. Reactor, yeah. Hellion, third CC. Yeah, I mean, that stuff feels really strong. And then you got like a really, really sick, like two base or three base bio yeah. push for clearing uh, creep and possibly doing damage. If you're Honestly, looking. it's still the go to for most players. No, I mean, it's good. Because like, just... the worst case, it sets you up for a great eco in yeah. late game. And best case, you can actually kill them with a sick three base push if, you, mm -hmm. if you're really. It gives you options for sure. You can take yeah. a four, you can play passively. Well, it feels like the one build where you can really just muscle down and like actually contest the fourth right everything just, else is kind of like tricky yeah and it feels nice because you can punish if you get lucky or if uh things start going south for for the zerg you can actually kill them mm -hmm. <clears throat> you can't make mistakes as protoss or terran <laughs> in starcraft 2 that's what this guy says can't make mistakes Anonymous donated $3. Real talk, you guys just spent the entire previous game talking about statistics like you'd rather talk about something which took the joy of life from me in college than talking about the game, yet some of the chat still insist SC2 is more fun than BW. <laughs> well, they're allowed to have whatever opinion they want. I think StarCraft 2 is more fun than Brood War. That's a StarCraft 2 player. Also, from what I hear our Tosas talk about yep. Brood War, StarCraft 2 is also more fun than Brood War. <laughs> Everything's more fun than Brood War, man. Brood War, it, well, the thing is, Brood War is a, it's a discipline, you know? Yeah. It's it's like, uh, it's like, you know, running for, to stay in shape or something like that. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, well, I do enjoy the game, but I also don't enjoy the game. But also, it's like, it's more about my own self-growth and challenging myself than anything else, honestly. Right. Honestly, like I play it to challenge myself. It's but. a dude. Don't even. <laughs> it's uh. But really, it's 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 like I challenge myself and I try to improve, and it's the hardest thing that I do, and it's just that that's important to me. Do you imagine if we went to the gym with the same effort? We'd dude, just, I would be we'd like just be bodybuilders. I would be like it, I would be so muscly I wouldn't fit through my door. Then you could absolutely beat up Tommy in that case. Dude, Tommy, well, yeah. No, it, it would be fucking crazy. I would bench press, like, fucking all the weights at the gym. The bar would bend and shit. <laughs> We'd have to attach the bar to the floor of the gym, and then I would just fly to the moon with the whole gym. Because I would lift it all up. Right. Because I'm in the air, right? Like, on gotcha. the bench. Yeah. Yeah. That would be cool. Damn, now you're making me we feel bad. The, we now I'm go like, to the gym. Yeah, we should go to the gym. <laughs> Fuck. Let's go to the gym tomorrow. <laughs> no, we're getting haircuts tomorrow. Then we'll go to the gym. Sounds good. And then we'll be Bread and Fred. Yes. And then we'll be hungover and not go to the gym the next day either. <laughs> all right. All right. Do you know how much Sue's playing right now? No idea. No? He was playing a lot of Brood War. That's actually something that's kind of sad about uh about the starcraft 2 koreans like yeah. we have a lot of them getting out of the military but a lot of them are just focusing on brood war because brood war is so big you make dude the top brood war guys yeah the top players are making 30k I, plus a month yeah i know some of them are insane. like it's wild like it, literally if you're like a top 10 or so brood war guy you're making 30k a month at least i remember i want to say this is a true fact but please correct me if i'm wrong I want to say Fantasy said he enjoyed StarCraft 2 more, but felt the pressure to play Brood War. Uh, yeah, he did. He did say he enjoyed StarCraft 2 uh, more. Um, I don't recall the because I actually talked to him last year in Saudi Arabia. I interviewed him and I talked to him about that as well because he was the only Brood War guy that said he liked StarCraft 2 more. But actually Flash went on the record saying that he really likes StarCraft 2, but he can't play it on stream because people harass him if he does. <laughs> but he really he I mean, says he sad really likes the think game. about it it sounds right but yeah no like a lot of players really like it like honestly like scan really likes starcraft 2 he plays it for fun and stuff yeah it's only 
I don't know what the deal is. There's a lot of Brood War insecurity. Brood War insecurity? Well, yeah. I think Brood War fans are pretty hardcore and pretty protective. And insecure. And pretty insecure. Yeah. And they have small wee wees. <clears throat> Definitely. <laughs> Cyclones, man. Have you seen some of these cyclone builds? Uh, I have. I actually, f I've felt like cyclones are. I originally wanted to say they were so strong, but they actually don't even look that good. <coughs> well, they're the certainly answer. they're better now, but like the cyclone is such poor unit design. Yeah, it does. Like you have design. to make it so that it's not good, almost by definition, because if it was actually good, it. it would be too strong. Yeah, Do you know what I mean. Yep. Like it, it has to be completely counterable. Because it's like there's nothing to it. It just fucking locks on and keeps firing and moves. It's like, so if it was a little bit faster, a little bit longer range, it's too strong. Yeah. So they just make it so it dies like that. See? It's a stupid fucking <laughs> unit. It's bad more. unit design. Uh, what is this guy's build, though? I don't understand. I don't know. It's going man. for a <laughs> double cyclone drop instead of, uh, like, Hellions would have been so much cooler in this position and it's completely standard. Yeah. It's like, go for a Hellion run by. I mean, they're actually pretty Even, sick. Even if you drop, drop the these in, what are these going to do? You're gonna lock onto a queen? Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I guess you're dodging the queens with this. Like you pop them into the main now, right? And or you lose your medevac and lose two cyclones. He is gonna lose the medevac. Oh, <laughs> oh my, my god, god, so close, so close. Like, wouldn't this, this just be better if it was four hellions? Like all these drones would be dead. Yeah, well, you would have run quicker if it was the hellions, right? You would have run immediately, and you'd probably spread your queens dead. differently as well. Oof. But I mean, I just. If those were four Hellions, mm -hmm. I think they would have not only killed more drones as a third, but he also would have been able to chase the drones down in the main, he, and he just would have been ahead. Yeah. No, I, I like, definitely Even if you have a successful weird. drop of two <laughs> Cyclones, what do they connect on? Two drones? And that's it? Yeah, I don't get the I don't get the medevac. Like, uh, I think if you make the four in Rome with them and yeah. then add Hellions yeah, yeah, into yeah, it, yeah. that's better. Because then you maybe, like, you pick Queens off with four Cyclones. Yeah, yeah, pretty quick, too. That makes sense to me. Yeah. I don't like the medevac. Anyways. No, I don't know what the medevac was supposed to do, but it didn't do it. Whatever it was supposed to do. European turns. But I thought Europe was better than Korea. What's going on here? I'm just reading chat. It was my mistake. Yeah, don't ever read chat. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think... It's uh, it's kind of sad to see the Korean um, <laughs> dilemma that they have because I think, I think if they didn't feel that pressure from their fans, they could mm. they could pick and choose a bit more. But then there's also the financial pressure too. I don't blame a single uh, StarCraft to enjoying Korean that switches to Brood War. I mean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It just makes sense. It's just like um, if you actually want to make money, like let's say you're in Europe and you actually want to make money uh, playing. Starcraft, you're probably gonna play Star Two, not not Brood War, yeah. right? There's just so few opportunities for Brood War, so like, why would you do that? You have to be a fucking dummy, like all the people who do play Brood War. <laughs> we have an you agreement. definitely can't play it for money. I donate money to Artie, and Artie sends me feet pics, feet pics from both him and wife Tosis. If they are all four feet in the same pic, I pay more. My donos are nothing but payments for these feet pics. I have a collection of hundreds, possibly thousands of feet pics of the Tosis family. I love them for different reasons. Love the wife Tosis gentle feet and feminine features, and love Artie's piggy trotters, which I imagine get scrubbed by Sonic in a hot bathtub. Jesus Christ. Piggy trotters. Piggy trotters, man. That's what you call toes. Is it? Yeah. You didn't know that? Did not. Yeah. Very popular thing to call toes in this chat. <clears throat> gotcha. Ling Bay and Hydra Man still used. Actually, for how this game has gone, mm -hmm. I'm very surprised Sue isn't way more dominant. Like the, the yeah. supply counts are relatively even, worker counts are relatively even, meals would actually put you ahead if you're a Terran. Yeah, um, no, I, I I see what you're saying, but like creep being cleared. I mean, I guess the creep's pretty strong. Four base versus three. I just expect Sue to really capitalize on like harass that doesn't do well. Well, I think months. I think um. I love Thanks, man. Me too. Uh, I think actually the creep, as you said, like that's actually his big advantage here. Yeah, it he's is. got so much creep, and he's on Ling Bane Hydra, which is the it best seems defensive. Like he could have droned way more. 
79. He owns well, on 74. He's on 79 now. Like, 79 to 60, whatever, 68. I, I yeah. Mean. Well, he hasn't done any, like, counter harassment. But, like, his creep spread is so far out, like, you just, you can't deal damage to him, I think, right? So he's, like, completely, completely yeah, safe. Yeah, but with this type of creep spread, you could basically have <laughs> more drones in the same thing, you know? Yeah. Like, he would basically have, like, I don't know. Uh, three quarters of the army he has right now, and that would have been totally fine. He, mm. Now he would even even bigger economy, probably more units. But well, fine. maybe I he's mean, playing a little safe matter. or something. Yeah. He might not be in the peak shape either. Bye bye, siege tanks. He was Sue was playing a he's, lot of brood I, war, but I don't know how much. I want to unsee those banelings hitting those siege tanks. But he doesn't care. That's such a yeah. I guess he's Sue care. man. It, this is what he does. I'm tanks. just waiting for the mass of unupgraded corruptors. That to me, that's really his his spirit unit. You know, like Corruptor. when I think of dark, I think of like roaches and ultralisks. When I think of Sue, I think of zero zero corruptors, forty of them. Dude, hydras are so good. Yeah, yeah, they're they're pretty strong right now. Dude, he should have used the medevacs to heal the SCVs. GG. <laughs> yeah, what a throw. <clears throat> Still could have had that. Could have. <clears throat> All right. <sighs> so that means we go into Sue versus uh, Hero, I do believe. Which is, that's going to be the, the first super good match. Although, like, on... Hero's like, pretty good, though. Hero? Yeah, no. Hero <laughs> should be favored here, I would say. But from what we were talking about, Zerg is OP, so maybe Sue will win anyways. We will see. Let's take a look at the bracket, actually. The bracket's looking pretty good now. Yeah, let's take a look. All right. Dark Epic. Not too bad. Gerald versus Three Point. Wow, they took a while to get up there. And then the winner versus Trigger. That's pretty solid. You know Trigger? Yeah. Yeah, he's great, man. Fucking love his play. Three Point versus Trigger will be interesting if that happens. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we should try to see that. Max Packs awaiting Ooh, Ma Mixu, oh, maybe. For a second, I thought they said Maru. Like, Max Packs versus Maru would be fun. <laughs> That would be sick. <clears throat> Astrea to over Nicarax, so he's awaiting Max Packs. That's too bad. I wish he was in a Korean bracket. I love his... Like, his PvPs are, like, okay, but Max Packs is just a bit better in that matchup, I think. Uh, Gumi, yeah, Lunacy. no big deal. Sue Hero, that's probably the best of this round. Creator Future, that's that's, that's pretty reasonable. One. I like Future. Tunga 100 and Kira waiting achieved. for someone. X300 <laughs> Pig. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Professional soccer players spread out across the field, strategically anticipating what parts of the field the ball might be in soon. Yeah. In Pee Wee soccer games, all the kids run towards wherever the ball <coughs> is and trip over each other until it happens to roll into the goal. Mm -hmm. This is exactly the difference between Brood War and StarCraft 2. SC2 is a big ball of units poking each other until one gets caught out and dies to O. This guy has no idea what he's talking about. No, that sounds accurate to me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, wait, one second. Mapu wants to know what we want to cast. So, Hero Sue, 100%. And then... What do we want after that? Actually, like Hero Gumi. That could be good. Yeah, one. I mean, the other side, it would look like we were getting a PvP. Australia Max Packs. Yeah, Australia okay. Max Packs is no good. Trigger 3 point would be okay. I would be down to watch that. Which then goes into maybe Trigger Dark or something like that. Yeah, that could be very good. Trigger Dark can actually be a really good series. Yeah. Trigger is like very good at liking. Like Dark is obviously favored, but that's that's a good match. <coughs> I mean, also three point could lose a Gerald. I'm not sure. Yeah, I let him know we don't want to do Gerald or <coughs> Trigger. That's Creator Future. Like Creator will beat Future, but Future's quite good. Uh I don't even I haven't seen Creator play in a long time now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, uh you haven't seen Creator play? Oh no. yeah. No, I guess he didn't really do too much like I mean I haven't I haven't been watching that he much. He didn't really apparently. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh Creator is the best PvZ player in the world right now. P so when he's going to play versus Creator is the best PvZ player in the world? Yes. I refuse. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm absolutely I serious. I object. That I'm cannot be a serious. true statement. One year ago, 100% he was. Hero, I, my opinion, he's still the best. I don't even think that's true. Yes, Why yes. do you think this? Oh, go watch his games from We Kata used to Vita make fun of Creator's No, I know, I know, I know. No, I know, 100%. But he actually became the best 
Like last year at Katowice, he was the best PVZ player in the world. He definitely was over the summer. Uh, right this second, I don't feel like any Protoss is super sticking out. In fact, I almost feel like Astraea is the best Protoss out there. I think Hero, Hero is definitely good. <laughs> yeah, Hero is good, but really Hero is a little PZ. bit up and down, too. He is a little bit up and down. Uh, like, he's he... he's a bit more volatile, honestly. Maybe. I can't speak with authority because I haven't seen but him no, play. But no, Hero is great. Hero is great. I don't have anything against Hero. He's, like, maybe a little bit too aggressive sometimes, but that can pay off as well. But yeah, anyways, we have Hero versus Sue. This should be good. I do think Hero is probably going to 2-0. Yeah. No, imagine. my expectation would be a huge Hero favorite because I think Hero's PvC is actually <coughs> probably the best. Dude, it was really good a couple years ago. Like two years ago. God damn, was his PvC good with that weird gateway style, you know? Yeah. But the Zergs have gotten better against that. He has like modified versions. I, don't know. I remember. Uh, I remember... A lot of the Protosses were looking to Hero to play the, the matchup. Yeah. There's a lot of uncertainty, and it seemed like he was the only one defining how to play it. Mm. Yeah. Like, he was the one doing a lot of Blink Stalker stuff and a lot of, uh, you know, aggressive. Yeah. I think he was the one doing the three Oracle Blink Stalker stuff for a while, and that was actually looking very dominant for yeah. a while. Yeah, that was really good. So. No, he, he was definitely number one Protoss so in Nexus the world for first, like two years. Nexus first after a successful pylon block. That's really annoying. But is it Nexus first? Never no, 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 no. The Sorry. only player that goes Nexus first is Astraea. He should have gone Nexus first. Nexus first is sick. Yeah. But really, only in Astraea does it. More people should do it. Astraea's yeah. PvZ is really sick, too. So, Dude, Astraea's so... I don't know how many of his games you've been watching. For the last four or five months, honestly, if you told me that you thought he was the best player in the world, I'd be like, you're probably right. No way. Really? Dude. Honestly, last three, four months, I love Australia. his play has been outrageously good. Outrageously good decision-making, completely different builds than everyone else. Phenomenal late game. Like, we've, I've casted series on here of him beating Clem, Max Pax, Dark, just fucking everybody. Oh, he's, just I fucking him up. Undeniably, like, he's, he's so good. good. He's so good. There's no question. Yeah. Like, it, legit, he's absolutely one of the best Protoss. I would probably still lean towards Hero over him, but, like, he's he's on the doorstep, man. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we get, like, a really sick result, you know? Maybe, maybe like, a Esports World Cup thing in Saudi Arabia this year. From Australia? Yeah. That'd be cool. Like, I don't think he's technically qualified yet, but NA is But it sucks because Zerg is so Imba, so I don't know how he does it. Well, I mean, he doesn't when it matters. That's the problem. But certainly, there. I mean... This is so annoying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, this is ridiculous. It's just a single adept. <laughs> Throw a pylon down. Adept comes up. That is so annoying. And he's supply blocked. I like the way that Dark deals with the offensive hatchery. I mean, the offensive pylon. Oh. Dark has, like, a rotation of, like, four things he does. Okay. Sometimes he takes the third base. Sometimes he runs away with the drone and then comes back. Yeah. Sometimes so he goes across the map and does a proxy hatch. Every time I do the runs away, <laughs> like, you know what? I'll go take my third then. And like, <laughs> please think I'm taking my third. Yeah. They never, they just sit there like, Err, yeah. with their probe there. They don't even react. I'm like, well, I guess I just have to take my third now because. Dude, the guy is there's just, a lot of moves that only work against really smart players. Yeah, that that is one where you get punished if you're playing a bad player. 100, yeah. 100% of the time. Because yeah, yeah, they yeah. just sit their probe there. They don't look, they don't think. Yeah. <laughs> they just sit. They don't think, well, maybe I should check that this was a fake drone and there's already a pool done, you know? like They just don't think at all, yeah. No, they don't think at all. It's so it's so funny and true. By the way, nice Glaives build. There's been some tricky Glaives games lately where, like, the Protoss just sits there and makes a bunch of adepts and then suddenly goes. He knows it's, he, well, he should know it's Glaives. He should. So. <laughs> yeah, he saw the warp in more adepts. <clears throat> If you Roach Warren, Roach Warren on the way. He's mm -hmm. going to use Lynx to defend this. It's going to be right. really annoying without the creep and your gnat. Like, yeah, that's true. You can bounce between these two bases really well. Really like the third base. I mean, this doesn't even have to do that much for him to be in a good spot. Mm -hmm. And it will do a lot. It should do a lot. I Whoa, guess. I don't think he should have that... finished that. He should, not have, he should not have let that finish. That was that was crazy. There was no reason. I don't know why he did let it finish because he had so much ability to yeah. pressure yeah. bouncing back and forth. If he cancels there, just waits a second and sends it out in a different direction. And walks towards the, the main fuck or do you do? Yeah, vice versa. It would already be done. The roaches are not even halfway. Like yeah. he would have been in such good shape. That was that was Still, sick wasteful. Yeah, that was. Still had, but Australia never would have done that. 
Also losing these three devs is... He actually wouldn't have. You're right. Yeah. Oh my God, is he just gonna keep losing at Fs? <laughs> like, maybe, maybe. Okay. That's okay. He's making a dark shrine. <laughs> you better cancel that, dude. Did he the cancel dark the shade? Shrine. He didn't cancel the shade. Mm. Didn't kill mm. any drones either, but I mean, these yeah, are, these are just gonna die. drones are That's very only low. Four devs. Yeah. This was uh, honestly, he could have done so oh, much. Oh, his more. queen was body blocking his roaches. If he just rotated that first group, man. How many workers did he lose there? Four? I mean, in total. Oh, he didn't really kill many at the, was that the, the first shade in. It was mostly just Lings he was fighting. Why didn't he finish that one? He's surrounded by Lings again. He likes that, right? <laughs> what is this? What am I looking at? Dude, cannons, man. This is. What? He needs to make those cannons, though, honestly. Well, if he just attacks into the gnat, you're in trouble. It's Sue, dude. It's like two. Uh, this is the grossest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Doesn't even cover the right side of his mineral line, which is I love it. Most of the mineral line. I love how the cannon is butted up Can against the shield battery just in case there's biles. Make sure that both of those will die. Yeah, and I like how the forge is just down there. Yep. <laughs> like, why? Why is the forge down there? Is that part of the wall? You want to show them you're getting plus one, so they're scared. <laughs> like what? Oh, it's two batteries and a cannon too. Dude, that's it's even so cool. worse. I thought it was two cannons and a battery. Jesus. He's slow warping in a DT. Is this hero? Yeah, this is hero, man. Legit hero. Yeah, Europeans are more dominant than Koreans. <laughs> so, I'm curious what happens with the Dark Shrine. It gets scouted. I don't... He just isn't going to do anything. I hear, uh... Yeah, I mean, this isn't going to do anything. Yeah, Overseers are almost done. Oh, actually... I mean, the overseers are almost done, but... Well, this is slightly annoying. Yeah, even if he gets a queen, I'd be kind of happy. He doesn't, but... Two drones. <clears throat> Two drones, definitely not worth two DTs. Only gets one DT so far. Yeah. He already has his fourth Nexus started, man. I love it. I love this style. Like, I just love the mass Nexus play. I agree. I think... I think it makes a lot of sense to play like this. Because, like, you have a sick defender's advantage. So, mm -hmm. ideally, you won't just die to something. And you have a shield battery to defend. Warp prisms are super strong. Zealot warpins, like, rumbys are really strong. You almost always have to respect them. If you don't, you just die. I don't know why he's so... <laughs> he keeps warping so many units off of the supercharge. Mm. The slow warpins. Yeah. It's I guess just, that, like, I misplaced. Guess, oh, Okay, yeah. There's that one pylon just not even yeah, close to it. I think he just when he was just moving quick, Dude. like he was busy getting his adepts surrounded by lings, and he just threw a pylon down as quickly as he could. Oh my god, is he gonna? <laughs> That's, That's funny. Up. That's like a funny little thing. Oh, this is annoying stuff. All right, there we go. This is a nice thing about doing like some kind of glaives push because you just have constant glaive harass if you're really good with it. Mm. Like he, two adepts are so scary. Like I really don't like. They these do cannons. surprising amounts. What is this? What is this cannon placement? Dude, yeah, it's it's like box art, man. Look at these adepts, man. Like ten drones died. That's kind of crazy. Just make three adepts and kill all your opponents. Fucking More workers. drones died to the like late game adept stuff than all of the early game. Yeah, hundred percent. All right, I'm. <laughs> I'm really curious what the plan is. This army of Sue's feels horrible. Yeah, it's bad. This isn't going to do anything. Look at that beautiful cannon. Dude. That cannon Blink is in, crucial. yes. Get him in. I can't believe this, that I'm watching this. Is he just giving up? Yeah, I'm like, not sure how Sue saw that those units and thought, you know what? I'll take, <laughs> I'll take this fight. I'm pretty sure this beats that. I'm like, dude, you went to military and the, the, the fucking battery was already out. <laughs> like, like you already were playing against a battery. Like, stalkers <laughs> definitely didn't change either. Yeah. Damn, man. I don't know what he's fucking doing with these attacks. Like. I guess he's like slightly reducing the count. Like if he had six bases mining, I'd be like, okay, maybe. There's but he doesn't. Depths. Like he's just he's on fucking four base versus four base. You can't be playing like that. No, I mean that was basically all in. Yeah. <clears throat> it was so wasteful. 
Like you're just it, that was never gonna oh. be good trades, <laughs> dude. What am I watching? Double Robo Disruptor Blink Stalker. I love it. Yeah. Look at this building placement. Can somebody help, Hero? <laughs> dude. What is going on at this fourth base? The fourth? Mm, I don't know. He, I mean, he used to always make like gateway walls and shit. Almost feels lazy. He's like, it's I don't absolutely know. Absolutely lazy. This there. I guess uh, maybe they just don't care. You know? <laughs> I think he's he realizes he is so look, far ahead right this, now. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. He's got like three cannons, two batteries, <laughs> and literally nothing covers the mineral. Yeah. Line. Loses all of his probes to five. Look links. at these two gateways. Like, where's the thoughts here? What are we thinking? He Sp wants to make sure it's all fast warp in space. So build <laughs> gateway. His main has plenty of room, by the way, and pylons on the edge. I can see them. Yeah. He's just lazy. I mean, it's just lazy. I guess he doesn't care that much. Would be my guess. I mean, like, there's no. Well, like, he's so far ahead right now. Yeah, like, there's no strategic reason to do it, so he just doesn't care. <laughs> like. Yeah, just throwing shit down, freestyling. You're, you're gonna build gateways, like you could build them in your main. You it, could build them as part of a wall. What What do you think about like? Um, it is kind of important not to overthink perfection. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, you can get away with doing a lot of things slightly suboptimally if sure. you're just doing things well. You know what I mean? Like I if you're getting your shit on time, like building I building agree. layout. But matters, the thing is, but like building layout is game, such an easy thing. You know, like it you, is. It is easy, but like, like nobody thinks two seconds about placing their buildings. They just think, they look at them and are like, okay, this builds a wall here, mm -hmm. right? Or this cannon is. Uh, but it's it's clear he's building these wall micro units, right? So I think he's literally just flicking back. Sure, and but you can build them. like three gateways in your main in a line, no problem, no question, same amount of effort. You know, yeah. Shift Q him. Like the, the I buildings. don't know what his hotkeys are, but he might have something like positional hockey where he wants to warp in and then he just builds gateways there or something. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I think that this would cause you cost you more games than it would be worth. Hmm. Like the time that you would save just by throwing them down would cost you more games than you would win just by <laughs> placing your building slightly. Yeah, more. yeah, yeah. Like no, I don't. I don't disagree. Oh like you're gosh. certainly right about that. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. But, but yeah, if like, you don't if you don't care that much and you're like playing and you have momentum, then well, why I think not? just just the idea of doing things quickly and well, as opposed to oh. like, well, technically I'll win more by doing this. Like that's what you're saying is more of a serial approach, right? Where it's like just kind of make every little thing work correctly. Whereas yeah, but just is, building placement is just such a, it's such a low hanging fruit, you know. In no, terms I agree. Of, I agree. But like, uh, perfection is the enemy of good enough. Interesting. Right. That's. I guess, it, I'm just. I'd rather I'm be, speaking I'd, as. I'd rather. Who, I'd rather be on the side of the perfection than the side of good enough. No, I. I agree, like a lot with what you're saying, but also like something I notice with my own play, like seeking perfection in every little thing just overall will slow you a little bit. You know what I mean? Agree. But I think building placement is completely relevant to that. Can you hand me that sandwich? I want to show you, you guys want a, real the quick. the couch sandwich? Guys, my four-year-old <clears throat> daughter was like, Daddy, I'm going to make you lunch. And I thought she was talking about play food. So I'm like, okay, sure. And Jake was like, oh, what about me? She's like, okay, I'll make you lunch too. And she brought us two sandwiches. She literally went upstairs, took bread, and put peanut butter on it. That's how much peanut butter she put on it. And brought us each one sandwich. One in each hand and handed it to us. It was the cutest shit ever. I just wanted you guys to know because I thought it was so adorable. If it was my kid, I would have eaten the sandwich. You won't eat the sandwich for my kid? They call you Uncle Jake. I don't know where they're. You better eat that motherfucking sandwich right now. I'll eat my sandwich, you eat your sandwich. Also, they're starting to get stale. <laughs> they are, yeah. The bread is getting hard. <laughs> There's, you couldn't pay me to eat that sandwich. It's not gonna really. Happen. You could definitely pay me to do it. How much? I've got to be careful on this stream. <laughs> <coughs> Dang. Do you know that they wash their hands? No, dude. She's four. She didn't wash she her hands. She definitely did those. not wash her hands. Hundred percent not. This is a bigger thing to me than the uh, amount of peanut butter to bread ratio or whatever. No, I fucking I ingest dirt all the time, man. My grubby oh, little I children are always around me. Eating nose candy all the time, you know. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Hundred percent. Little kids always do that. It's actually good for them. It, it builds. It builds immunity. Yeah. I. I think that is true. I heard, yeah, I heard eating that. Eating boogies. I still tell them not to though, because it's fucking gross. Anyways. <clears throat> yep. Hero played so much better than Sue there, and he, did. he actually fucked up with his depths terribly badly, and Sue still got rolled. Is Protoss too strong? Yes. Based on that last game, I would say Protoss is imbalanced. Yeah. 
See, that's that's basically uh, your argument with Clem winning that tournament. No, it's actually not. That's your argument with Sarah winning <laughs> no, the tournament. No, just subscribe. no. Actually, that's literally your argument. <laughs> you can't just I turn said, around I what I say a, and say I said, I don't have enough of a sample size. And you said, her, her is seven years not enough of sample size. And I Dude, said, well, you're not talking about the most Your argument patch? boils down to I'm rubber and you're glue. Whatever you say and then bounces you said, off of me and sticks her, to you. Her <laughs> Korean's so good. And I said, I don't know about that. And you said, but what about GSL? And I said, well. I don't remember any of that. And then you said, my neighbor thinks this about StarCraft. <laughs> and I said, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Fucking the guy was right about fucking room temperature IQ like in StarCraft 2. Damn. Look at him just trying to mine this one patch. <laughs> Dude. Somehow messing it up. It's it's funny harassment. Like, obviously, you should do it. But it's like, there's something silly about it. You know what I mean? For sure. It just costs this I mean, it just little tiny it doesn't, amount of money. It doesn't really do much. No, it's it doesn't. It's more of a... Uh, like an ego thing. Like when someone does this, I'm like, man, I'm just gonna. I just want to bailing bust you so bad. Dude. I just want to. <laughs> I just want to tear down your your house. You know, just go do something. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a stargate to build or an oracle or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you ever miss anything doing this, oh, you're you're behind. Even if your gateway was like a couple of seconds later, it'd be like, wow, good thing you harassed my five minerals. Dude, some people at lower levels like would harass so heavily with the worker. Like, there was this American Zerg, and he would harass you so hard with his drone that he would never make his hatchery till about 400 minerals. And it's just nice. like, dude, this is just not good enough to do. <laughs> Don't do Sometimes, this. I mean, this is a big fallacy for all, like, lower-level players. Like, yeah. you do a drop and kill a bunch of stuff, but if you don't macro behind it, cool, you're even. Yeah. Yeah. But and like, that's a lot hard of people, for people to understand. That's why the nice thing about, like, Liberators low-level or Liberators and things you just set up, mm -hmm. do damage, and force an opponent's reaction. Set them and forget them. Set them, forget them. Hey, I brought this up the other day in like a YouTube video, and some people were stupid enough to disagree with me. But I think one of the interesting, an interesting way to try to look at balance is the amount of actions to set something versus the amount of actions to stop something, mm -hmm. and checking out where that balance lies. Right, like you said with a liberator. We might have even talked about this before when you've been here. So Probably. stop me if I if if we've already discussed this in depth, but um, like right if you use like three clicks to shift click a liberator to where you want it to go, like how many clicks are you going to need to utilize as the opponent yeah, to lot. clear that right? So, like, uh, what do you think that ratio? When do you think that ratio gets to be unfair, like imbalanced? Like, let's say that it, obviously if you take three clicks to set something up, and it takes one thousand clicks to clear it, that's <laughs> wrong, right? So, like, at what level does that, do you look at that and say, that's doing too much for too little as far as actions go? I think if it takes twice as many actions to defend something, that's starting to get to a point where, like, I, I, I hesitate to say imbalance, but it's definitely annoying. Like, someone mm -hmm. can shift click something and you have to respect it so much. You have to move your drones, move your queen in a, a way that doesn't get attacked by the circle. If they unsiege, resiege, then you're doing it all again. And, like, you lose hmm. a drone here and there, and it's like, well, cool. And what is he doing behind this? He's just macroing. Mm -hmm. Like, he doesn't care. Not to say, yeah, liberators are too good by any means, but I do feel like the actions required to respect a liberator or to respect depths or whatever, mm -hmm. they, they definitely are annoying. Okay. Same with Bane Links. It's almost a different equation with a Bane Link run by, though. It's like hmm. less actions to defend a Bane Link run by, but if you're ever wrong, you lose everything. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there's even another aspect where it's like risk versus reward. Risk there versus, is crazy. Yeah, exactly. Should some should two units be able to kill an entire mineral line? Probably not. Probably you know? not. Yeah, especially at that price. <laughs> yeah, and that, that mobility. And it's like yeah, if and you that miss that one single time, the game's over. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah you, it doesn't take that many units to defend it, but also you have to immediately respect. Dude, there's it. a lot of silly shit like that in StarCraft, honestly. Yeah, I don't like those either. No. Same with Widow Mines, right? Like a, yeah. a single Widow Mine mistake, you just mm -hmm. could lose the game. Especially Absolutely. as Protoss, right? Dude, 13 drones. Yeah, this is game over. Holy shit. Poor Sue. 39 workers to 47. Uh, <coughs> that's that's pretty wild. It wasn't even particularly, uh, like, it wasn't even particularly special. You know, it was an Oracle and a couple of devs. Mm-hmm. This is pretty much a standard PvZ every single game. So I'm quite surprised he was underprepared for the Oracle. Yeah. He just might not be in that good of shape. Like, I know that when Sue came back from his military at first, he was playing, like, a lot of Brood War. 
So I'm not. I honestly don't know how much Star Two he's playing, but he doesn't look. He doesn't look. Hero, near by the way, level. Hero is in shape. You know. Yeah, he's like, in very good shape right now. Hero is one of the best front toss players right now. Period. Mm -hmm. So. No faults, I guess, to to be losing a hero, coming back. Yeah, but Sue's been back for a while, man. Yeah, who knows how much he's been playing? Yeah. I really have no idea. Yeah. Where is Parting? Is Parting's not playing, I guess, today. Maybe he's uh, all in on uh, Stormgate. There's not much going on after he won that tournament, but uh, he Parting, yeah, he's played the cup, but he doesn't play it like super often. It's very, it's kind of rare. When he is plays Twitch it. Korea shut down already? Is it done? Uh, it shuts down this month, but I'm not sure the date. Like he should be streaming every single day. <laughs> he has been streaming a lot, but uh, it may have shut down. I think he's switching to YouTube, but I'm not sure. He is. That's rough, though. That's a shitty situation for him. Yeah, it's like it's super bad for him in particular because his audience is all North mm -hmm. Americans, really. Like it's different for Koreans that lose korea twitch and they have an all korean audience because they can go to africa they can do whatever yeah but yeah. if your audience is majority westerners good luck having that audience in, in uh africa or another yeah. service that's korean uh, twitch youtube is, best is your best bet for sure so sucks for them dude sue just looks so dead here he's down seven workers he's got such a small army yeah, it's like 90% links. Yeah. It is a right army composition. Like, if this was just a little bit more army, mm. it'd be really scary. You know, if we're talking, like, double the Ravager count and maybe just a couple more links, that would be a really scary army. Mm. But but even so. Yeah, like, but it's, a, it's super uncommitted. Hero can just blink back and leave anytime, yeah, really. Exactly. And now he's getting, like, charge and everything. Colossi. Yeah, the Colossi is a great choice. Great choice here. But you know what? Maybe maybe he Five can get banning speed and get like a really good engage when this comes out. And yeah, it looks like maybe he'll go like banning speed here plus run into lurkers as quick as possible. Yeah, I mean if he can get to That's lurkers, it, it slows the game down completely. Yeah. So But if if the push comes and he doesn't have like a ton of lurkers ready, like I wouldn't want to try to defend this coming push with lurker. I think you have to try to blow it up one time with Banes. Right? Uh yeah. Probably. It's just I don't think you I don't depends, think you depends. get enough lurkers yeah, to stop I guess it. It depends how many lurkers you, you have. You have to but. you have to like stop it plus reduce it and then get into the lurkers and then maybe you can play like a protracted game. Uh, we're talking about South Korea for the record. Dark stain. Drain. <laughs> <clears throat> and also everyone Are you taking talks, a guy in the chat seriously. Everyone talks about it, by the way. <laughs> If we're talking about North Korea, everyone talks about it. Mm. <laughs> Average Twitch shatter. I mean, I don't see, I don't see Hero killing Cyril or uh, Cyril, Sue in this position. So we might have a longer game. You dream about him too. Or? Cyril. <laughs> I, I actually don't care that much cents. about Cyril. W? So I just think w he deserves the, you know, the respect. W oh, of course, he's fucking fantastic. W Best and Fester usage I've seen in the last w 10 years. W w w yeah, this push is just so scary. He got Baneling speed, but we don't see any Banelings. Yeah. Like, I, like a comp like this, I think you do need Banes. And that's not enough. That's nothing. He even had a decent, well, he had a decent amount of gas, so. And there's one Lurker. Yeah. I mean, he was just kind of... I don't know. I feel like he lost his identity over here. Yeah. Because I didn't see, I didn't see hero killing him, but I also didn't see this army composition. It felt strange. It feels disjointed. No mm -hmm. bane lings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One lurker. It should have been ling bane. Also, he had a hive, so he could have had, could have had vipers. He didn't. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, kind of one sided. I was hoping that would be a better one. But it's nice to see Sue playing. I yeah. I really hope this is. Now like that the I've beginning. seen him, though, I'm like, I need him to have a result before I look for his games again. You know? Damn. He's not worth your time. <laughs> but that's what you're saying. Let's see. What? Meniseko donated $3.33. Short story. Peach's cream nipple squirmed oh, no. as Bowser inserted no. his massive... No! No! 
<laughs> he had his legs crossed, chat. Jesus Christ. Yeah, sometimes I'm sitting like, um... He wasn't ready. <laughs> you know, like, you sit in, like, school on the gymnasium floor with, like, your legs crossed under your butt? Yep. Uh, like, yeah, we used to call that, when I was in school, it was called Indian style. I don't think you call it that anymore, but, like, oftentimes I sit like that in my chair while I'm playing, and then they start doing bad donors. I'm like, motherfucker, I'm comfortable like this, and I gotta get down to the foot pedal. <laughs> I got you. Crisscross applesauce. <sighs> Crisscross applesauce. That is absolutely after my time. <laughs> absolutely after my time. Yeah, I remember that. Crisscross applesauce. <clears throat> so we're looking for either three point versus trigger or Gumiho versus Lunacy. Uh, no, Gumiho versus Hero. Like, I don't care about him versus Lunacy. I don't even know who that is. It's a Protoss. Yeah, he's not good enough. Oh my god, it's that dragon thing. Light Fury, man. He's Light dancing Fury. right in front of your face. She's so cute. Nice one. Oh my god, another one. Alright, we're going into Gumiho versus Hero. That'll be a good match. I still yeah. think Hero favorite, but Gumiho is such a wild card, dude. Yeah, and Gumi's been Gumi's been really good in the last year or so, right? Yeah. Like, what was it? Dallas last year, you got second. Like, really good play. He's been he's been good. I was also, <laughs> he's on a brand new team, so. What team is he on? Practicing a lot. Cloud Nine. Really? Yeah. Oh, that has to do with the Gamers 8 stuff. It does. Yeah, all the players are going to get picked up like that. Hmm. But it's still, it's nice to see Cloud9 supporting a StarCraft player, period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it makes sense with the, um, with that huge prize budget that they have for teams doing well overall. For those of you who don't know, like basically, so Gamers 8 was the big tournament in Saudi Arabia, and it's turning into um, basically Esports World Cup now. Uh, so it's like kind of being rebranded a little bit. But anyways, they have this thing where like the team, you get points on your high finishes per game, and there's a ton of different games uh, and millions of dollars on the line for that. So for the team. So basically all the good StarCraft 2 players are going to get picked up by big esports teams that have like you know Counter Strike teams and whatever whatever other esports that they're doing there, uh, but basically those teams want to spread out and grab these players because they give like like a StarCraft two player is not expensive, no, not expensive compared to these other games, and you can just pick them up and gain a bunch of points if you get a good one. No, that's true. I don't think, well. Yeah, StarCraft, StarCraft 2 salaries are just like, <laughs> they're, they're rounding errors for a lot of these teams. 100%. I love you, said no regret to Artosis. I love you. Two, replied Artosis. No regret then made his subtle but concrete move forward towards Artosis. Nice. This is some good Artosis no regret Artosis erotica. Ready for a smooch. No regret then said, Artie, please come in my ass. Fuck Great. you. Fuck you. <clears throat> Got him. Got him. <coughs> so what were we talking about before? Uh, The teams. Right. Gumi joining Cloud9. That's good for him. Happy for him. Yeah. I just hoping that encourages him to practice, you know, good showing up for his I team. Think Gumi, I think Gumi practices a fair amount. I've he, seen him I don't think Gumi was ever a good StarCraft 1 player, was he? Uh, he <laughs> You asking me? No, I don't believe I don't. He was like super young at the beginning of StarCraft Two. Like he was probably like some sort of amateur, but I don't believe he was on a pro team in StarCraft One when StarCraft Two came out. Because most of the good StarCraft Two players were either uh, practice partners for teams or low ranking members for teams. Yeah, like almost every single one. Like literally, the best player that switched over at the beginning was MVP, and he just maintained his rank right. 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 Very much so. So, anyways, I don't think Gumi was really... I can't recall him ever being on any pro team. Neither can I.
No regret, do you know something? I do not. What does that mean? What does CISA mean? Can't say it out loud. It's bad. I'm going to think the first. I think I know what the first letter stands for. <laughs> Come it. Yeah. What's wrong with you, chat? They're fucked up. You guys are messed up. I didn't know what that letter standard for Sonic, though. <laughs> but it does not surprise me at all. I, I don't think it actually originally did, but that's fine. All right, guys, we'll be in this game in just a minute. Yeah, sir. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? Menisako donated $3.33. Artosis was aghast. Shocked and dismayed that no regret would even ask for such a thing. I'm a Mormon, said Artosis <laughs> to no regrets. <laughs> what you said? Well, oh, my, God. If my preacher parents would have heard you, they would say you can come in there. Got him. This guy said I wrecked you in a 2v2 the other day. That's probably because my teammate was shit. That would be my guess. You wreck, he wrecked you in a 2 versus 2? Just tell me you didn't play a 2 versus 2 the other I day. I did play, though. And you I lost? I usually play 2 versus 2 to warm up or something. Dude. <clears throat> when you and me play 2 versus 2, we never lose. It's, well, when I play 2 versus 2, I get a bronze player versus 2 masters. Because my <laughs> MMR is so high in 2v2. Damn. But are you as good as, uh, what's that guy's name? Protect or whatever? Protect? Yeah, Protect. Uh, yeah. Definitely. But I thought he's the best in the whole world. He might be, though. I don't know. His dedication to 2v2, you know? Maybe he brings some 2v2 strats that I'm not aware of. Dude, we have people that played 2v2 in Brood War. Brood War 2v2 is actually quite good. Yeah, I kind of wish StarCraft 2 2v2 made more sense. Yeah. They should I actually like the two games. Things. Yeah. They're fun. I, it, I think the uh, problem, like, uh, they shouldn't let you switch money. They shouldn't let you control each other's stuff. Because that's basically what Brood War is, right? It's just a basic game, but two people playing. They should just have had StarCraft 2 like that. Like, I don't understand why they would make it so fucking complicated. Where it's like, yeah, yeah. now you dump all your money. <clears throat> By the way, you're not going to have fun. Only your teammate is. Like, what? Dude, just fucking yeah, the problem, have two people playing normal. That is that is a problem, but also the, the game is just not balanced for it. Like, yeah. mech sky toss. If you have a Zerg on the other team, they, there's just nothing you could do. Like a Zerg, sky toss? A, a Zerg composition against Mech Sky Toss doesn't help, you know? Hmm. You can maybe you can do some Vipers and stuff. Yeah, that's it's just like the synergy of Mech Sky Toss. We're talking literally, we're talking feedback, Siege Tank Thor, you that's know, crazy. carriers. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. The corruptors like, can't even get near you. This guy said Vipers, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Vipers against Storm Carrier Thors? I don't think so. How often does it get to that like game? It up? does though. If it, it does. Like, another thing is Protoss Terran. They can double wall low grounds. They can they can do uh, tons of things to just not die in the early mm. game. That's why I said if a Zerg is on your armory composition, like because the only real response is also going Mech Sky Toss. Or sometimes you can go like just Sky Toss. Yeah, or double Sky Toss. Yeah. Or double double uh, Sky Terran. You know where you're going like double Battlecruiser Yamato or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. When you have the Zerg comp, it just it's like, okay, I guess we just have a worse comp. Because mm, if it's sense. Zerg, Terran, Terran can do, like, mech. Maybe Zerg goes <coughs> Corruptor, Viper, or some shit. Mm. But it's just like your army just doesn't have that same punch. Damn. <clears throat> Anyways, 2v2 is imbalanced. Also, it's been imbalanced for seven years. You can feed gas to your Protoss, and they can just make, like, infinite Phoenixes. So if it's P anything, if it's ZP versus, like, PT and the one of one of these protoss is being fed, the other protoss will just die. You will Damn. never you will never catch up to them in Phoenixes unless they're also feeding. That's crazy. So to make static D or something. Just go Archons against that duh. Yeah, Archons <laughs> they are can't cool. lift Archons, dude. You they forgot can. about that. You won't have any minerals, but you, they, <laughs> but you can make Archons, that is true. Yeah. They only cost gas when <clears> it's fine. All right, so we have Gumiho against Hero. So this should be a pretty good series. Like, yeah. uh, I would favor Hero slightly. But Gumi's, Gumi's good. I would favor Hero more than slightly. 
but dude, also, Gumi has good. He's yeah, good he's, TVP. He's a wild card. Um, this is a really fast double gas, though. Yeah. He won photon just subscribe. I wonder what he wants that for. You think it's just factory CC? I would imagine. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine you doing something like. But he's he starts three on there immediately. Let's see if he puts three on this one immediately too. I mean, at this point, he might skip the reaper and just get <laughs> like an immediate factory. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why else would you mine so much gas so quickly? Yeah. I feel like a reaper is a waste Dude, of gas. Dude, look at that. Yeah, 100%. I agree. He, that's what he should do. It should just be factory. Marine factory. We might see a reaper anyways, but yeah. The only reason why we might see the reaper is for scouting and stuff. Because I think... Mm. Also, you got to shoo away the probe if you build a factory right now. Now, if I'm hero here, I would really consider getting my second gas, <laughs> honestly. I would look at this and say, hmm... I don't want to play against some cheesy shit. Hero does not care. He's not scared. Nah, he doesn't give a fuck. What do you what do you do with your double your second guess, though? As as Protoss? Yeah. Like what's your plan here? We go Twilight or Stargate? But you, yeah, you, maybe you can do those off of one gas just slightly later. Yeah. It's just uh, some of these pushes that come out. Like, look at this. He's getting a reactor in a factory right now, and he actually kills the probe. The probe doesn't uh, see the there, reactor. No, no, I don't map, think he's right? going to do anything with the, real with the reactor though. Or actually, he might go reactor uh, Reaper. That's been more popular lately. No, he will not do that. That's wild. Let's see it. You are insane. Dude, he's got good gas. No, he's going... He's, well, actually, you are... He does have a lot of gas. Yeah, what else is he going to fucking buy? Starport. Dude, you can go five Reaper here with some Hellions. Did he build one Hellion? Yeah. Like, did he not swap them? No, no, no. The factory's way far away from the racks. He didn't swap them. Yeah, he would have built that shit closer together. Oh my God, he's building See, I told you. Get what? the fuck out of here. Jesus Christ. Why? This is why you don't have good opinions about the balance of the game right now, because you don't actually fucking see enough of the game. Why would he go? I'm, Dude, no, this, I is, see this. this is actually okay. I see this Let's is good. See. Watch. When he has five Reapers and, like, uh, two or three Hellions. I'm ready. Like, you blow up, uh, you know, if it's, like, oh, two Adepts, are we talking two like Stalkers, a wall, he'll blow it up. A wall bounce, like, Hellion run by? <laughs> yeah, you could wall bounce, but it's not a run by. You actually can kill stuff. You actually kill Stalkers. Adepts don't stand a chance. Like, the Oracle will do well. The Oracle's good. Uh, but watch this. Watch, right, watch, watch. Let's see. I'm ready. This army just looks bad to me, but let's see. And it, well, it's like a TVT army, right? For the early game? But it honestly does... It does okay here. Like, I look at these two adepts and I'm like, huh. That's a couple, watch this. couple dead Reapers. Ooh, He'll bust right through yeah, there. No that. time at all. See that? Where is his army? Well, he only has two other adepts anyways. Dude, this is serious fucking damage. <laughs> Six workers. Seven, Seven eight. eight. Yeah, eight. <clears throat> that is nice. And the Oracle also has no counter. Yeah. No, Builds that, a Viking. I that like looks it. great. That's great. Did Look he get, at this. Oh, he should have been able to get that. I don't know if he didn't send an SCV <clears throat> immediately, but he should have been able to get that SCV or that CC up. Well, either way, uh, like he's got Cyclone and, and Viking coming out. This is this is great for Gumi. Right? I think uh, so. Yeah. I think this is really good for Gumi. Great? Really good? Really Definitely good, not good. great. I downgrade from great. great to really good. I think I downgrade really good to good, but yeah, definitely good. Well, okay, now good. maybe we're back into really good territory. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's in good territory, not really good. Because he has one what red adept at home. What's the plan here? It's for a gate, dude. Well, being aggressive into this feels really strange. <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah, it like does. we know we have all the tech structures. <laughs> like I, I don't know. <coughs> maybe, <clears throat> maybe. Yeah, it doesn't Siege look super good. But way. you know what? Okay, so what is it? He's gonna have like one red adept, three or four stalkers plus three Some high energy oracles. Subscribe. That's reasonable. Ah, oh! look at that. These look oracles at that, dude. absolutely kill all these. Holy shit! Oh. Oh, that was a weird choice. He like, missed targeted there. <laughs> also, there's a siege tank here now and Dude. a lib. There's no breaking this. Yeah, no. He well, he missed targeted like crazy there. Look at the amount of damage on the fucking cycle. Yeah. If he had targeted the marines on, he would have killed the marines or, then the cycle. Or either one, right? He still would have lost them to the liberator and viking, but he would have killed all that. There wouldn't be any marines. There'd be one marine there and no cyclone. So he he fucked up that control. Yeah. Or he could. He didn't. F and it's, he didn't focus the cyclone either, right? Because he could have also just killed. Yeah, the no. Cyclone. It was like half and half. He just yeah. like it just kind of attacked. This move. is a lot of adepts, though. Yeah. Oh man, this is like, such a good army comp, though. 
defensively. Yeah, like, the, the two tanks are too Even good. the libs. The libs gonna live! The libs gonna live! Oh Holy my god. shit, that liberator's sick. He actually left his wall down. Did he, he didn't lose a single SCV? He might have lost one. I don't it think he lost show up for one. Okay, well, he didn't lose very many. If yeah, He might have lost one. Oh, it's not done yet. I'd be surprised if he didn't Raise the depot! Oh my god, why didn't he raise it quicker? It's gonna give me a heart attack. He wants him to, to overcommit. I don't know. Dude, that's crazy, the defense here of Goomy. Look at the resources <laughs> lost. 1,500 more lost here for Hero. Oof. Oof. This is a really good defense. <laughs> also, he's getting glaives. Like, he's still committed to depths. Templar Archives as well. Wait, wait. Is Templar Archives going to be for Archons? I don't think it's for Storm. Why would you do that? Did the cat just knock over water? Yeah, but I don't think there was anything. Yeah, there. you drank that whole glass of water. Dude, yeah, he knocked over a glass of water over here yesterday. But he did it on purpose. Yeah, dude, that's what cats do. They knock shit down. But he was sleeping earlier. He just woke up and said, fuck it, this, this glass is going on the floor. Yep. He was sleeping on your keyboard before. <laughs> He's cute. Silly cat. All right, Glaive's almost done. Oh, it is for Storm? Storm glaze. So adapts. he's got a look at this wall. Look at the wall. <laughs> That's really funny looking. Oh, it's time to cancel those depots. That's funny. All right. Uh, if I could, is there a third CC like somewhere? Is it? Yeah, oh, the there's the base. main. Okay. I really like this position for Gumiho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, he's never moving out. He can just take his third base. This army composition pretty much always loses in a straight-up fight, I think. Yeah. Adepts just, they don't scale here. But if you go, like, uh, like Adept into these... Storm, I want to see Tempest with that, man. Like, he's Old just school. taking infinite damage right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. I'm shaking my head here. Is this the, f the, the first forge is on the way, too, right? Mm -hmm. So there's no upgrades. He's starting blink. I don't Dude, he's gonna come up here and try to warp a cannon in, in siege tank fire. <laughs> you watch. That's like that. That's par for the course for heroes so far here tonight. Little Very cat, do not jump there. <clears throat> I'm curious to see how like how hero converts this into a game that's like huh. I don't know favorable for him because it feels like. His army composition sucks. He's going to storm. He's getting blink, but it, he's yeah. committed to so many adepts that just don't really well, benefit his army. He needs Gumi to, like, maybe be wasteful. Like, maybe Gumi doesn't know about storm, yeah, and he maybe. puts him in a prism, and he just kind of surprises him in a battle. Like, but he, Gumi just doesn't care. He's getting his ghost academy. He's getting his third yeah. CC. He's going to land it. I don't think... I'd be shocked if he moves out with an army that isn't, like, pick you know? Go this is one thing Gumi's always been good at, is scaling correctly against weird armies. Like, he was actually the first Terran to start playing correctly against Phoenix Adept. Like, every other Terran's like, what if I throw out a medevac to drop? <laughs> I'm <laughs> stupid. Just kill it, yeah. I'm a stupid pro gamer. And then Gumiho was like, well, what if I just scale my army up and deal with them? Yeah, he was the first Terran, Cutie Starcraft 2. He was the first Terran to play against that correctly. <laughs> Go check out the Super Tournament where Gumiho was the only Terran that advanced. You dumb bitch. I'm Artosis, oh you're God. not. Artosis, so, be nice to chat. No, no, not when these fucking clowns come in. They're like, I know Starcraft 2. But it's not I your know it better than the man on the TV. Isn't that your entire chat? Yeah, but some people come in and they're insufferable like this guy. Oh, okay. All right, so... Uh, dude, he's still got a lot of adepts. This is so funny because these are like so worthless. No here. way, right? No. no way. What? This guy is what? mad. <laughs> this guy is insane. Oh, dude. Oh, the storms. Oh my god. Dude, these storms have hit everything, and it's still yeah. not good enough. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's so many storms. I love the slow zealots too. Oh my goodness. Any warps in the stalkers, dude? If he wins this. We have to have a talk about Protoss being too strong. <laughs> I don't think he wins still. Like, this is some sick counter damage. Uh, oh, he's recalling. Mm. Recall's got a favorite uh, Gumiho here. It uh, really does. Well, Gumiho like, gets Oh, out. wait, he's losing a bunch of workers whoa, still. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are all the workers going? <coughs> like, when I... Excuse me. I still think it's good. I still think it's good for Gumiho. Yeah, yeah. Gumi's ahead. 
for sure. Like he's getting ghosts. He's well, it, depowered. Hero, a lot of things. Charge doesn't exist. Hero he had a lot of uh, high tempers sitting there for a long time for that many storms, and now they're all gone. What is going on with that charge upgrade? Unpowered. Still, he yeah. built a pylon. It's just out of range of the of the twilight. Well, wow. you saw his pylons ah! too. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, no! <laughs> nice. Full H or low HP medevac full. No, I mean Gumiho looks great. I really, I'm not sure if I like the recall. I almost rather the base trade, like go up in the main. Well, I think Gumiho's DPS was too high. You weren't going to be able to do anything against it, and then you lose your nexus. I think the re I think the recall was okay, but like he was behind either way. Like you needed to save some stalkers, anyways. Don't forget that like if you both wipe your armies for the most part, Terran rescales to power he, he way quicker. War prism? He must have. If the yeah. war prism still existed, then there might be a not conversation. Here. Yeah, no, no, no. I think the prism was dead. It might have been. Probably was. I think well, he, was he even, pro yeah, he probably yeah, yeah. also stays if the prism's there because mm. it's just. Well, actually, potential. that prism's damaged. Maybe he, maybe he still did have the prism. I wasn't, I wasn't paying super attention to that. I'm not sure where it was on the screen. Yeah, I just feel like if you have the prism, <laughs> there might be a play on getting on top of the production. Mm. Oh, he got decent EMPs there. One yeah, more storm. Still storms I mean, it, it's, there's no yeah. army here. That's it. That's game. Viking kills the warping in. I mean, he's just dead. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be GG. We'll get him run away with one stalker. I almost like I almost like the uh, base trade because I think this is a losing play. Recalling. Well, now he's he's super dead. No, but I just felt like even like you didn't you weren't going any upgrades. He wasn't after. he wasn't gonna break the bio on top of the ramp. Yeah, though. but he. He just loses if he recalls, in my opinion. What do you think? He just he blinks backwards and tries to well, kill the, the natural Well, if the prism is there, there might be some plays. That's all. Mm, I feel like already crit critical mass was on top of the ramp, so he couldn't infiltrate. I, I don't know. Maybe. That's what it felt like to me. I wasn't too upset with the recall. Like, obviously, it was good I for was. Gumi. I was upset with the recall, visibly. Mm. It, just, it just felt like that. You're like I'm not even saying that that was his best chance, but or actually I am saying that was his best chance, but yeah. not that it would work. You know, it, yeah, it, was, it may have worked, it may have not. Being on top of production felt like that might have been the right call. I think it was a, a sea of bad choices. <laughs> well, I'm glad Gumio punished it. You know what's m the most frustrating thing hmm. when it's a sea of bad choices and you still lose, where it's yeah. like <laughs> like maybe those adept shades get in and kill a bunch of workers or whatever. And you're like, wow, I guess I just lose, even though I knew it was this. Yeah, no, that's the worst. <clears throat> PVT is in a bad state, not going to lie. Why do you think that, Chatter? Let me hear what you A lot think. of people have been saying that. He's yeah, but just I echoing know, shitty Reddit. I want to know what this guy thinks. Why he thinks what PBT Reddit told him to think, probably. In a bad shape. Dude, that little cat, man. Oh, the door is closed. Maybe we should open it in case he wants to go out. No. no? You should just stay with yeah, us. Yeah, fuck you, cat. You're with us now. Don't pee on my carpet. Yeah, now that I said that, I'm going to open it. Okay, I'll open it. You stay. <laughs> you, can just, you can just crack it. No one can hear us over here. And he can decide. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Some of us Canadians are used to a cold weather. Dude, I, I like to be very warm. My house is set to 19. If I the visit whole house. you, it's gonna have to go up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's gonna you, you have can to get go up. 21. I, dude, 21 is ice cold for me. I, oh, I always have it at least 24. 24. Yeah, dude. That's insane. No, I need, I need warmth. Don't you produce your own warmth? No. No. I'm a lizard. I'm a reptilian. Cold blooded, eh? Three point B trigger. <laughs> That's surprising. Wow. According Three points. Chat. So cheesy, man. He is, but we know that. You know. <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah. If you know, if listen, as a cheeser. If you know your opponent is a cheeser, it's difficult for the cheeser. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You gotta be real creative. Dude, I used to practice uh, with this Peruvian guy. He was the best Peruvian player back in the day in Brood War. His ID was Darky. And he was a Protoss player, of course. Mm -hmm. And um, he was the cheesiest. He always did like DT rush, DT drop, that type of thing, right? Super, super cheesy. Oh, by the way, and, streamer. Sorry. Uh, so he was so, so, so cheesy. And then one day he just expanded against me, and I let him know, in no, no, uh, unsure terms, that the cheesiest thing a cheeser can do is play normally. Like if you just play a straight macro game, 
and no. I'm sitting there and I'm building the fucking... cheesiest thing a cheeser could do is go like three hatch before pool. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, you, you like play not even normal play game. normal, but play like greed. go greedy. Yeah, I hate that shit. There was a couple of tournaments where I went three hatch before pool, and the best part about going three hatch before pool, I think it was versus Terran was you could just do an even bigger bailing all in. Mm. <laughs> you know? It wasn't to go three hatch before pool into a macro game. It was to go three hatch before pool into an even bigger all in that you just would not be able to stop. Mm -hmm. I like it. Good times. I like it. No, it's a good it's good stuff to mix in. <coughs> I like I like the mind games for things like that as well. Like uh I I do appreciate that type of mind game where like you kind of both kind of know each other a little bit. Yeah, they're, I, kinda, I love playing these mind games. I, yeah. There were periods of time, I played against Sue in a GSL qualifier. Mm -hmm. I went hatch first, but I took it at a random base. It was just wasn't aware at all. So he sends his overlord and sees, oh, sees I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sees I, doesn't have a, I don't have a gnat, and he builds a spine crawler. Right? That's awesome, yeah. And then he checks again, and he says, I still don't have a gnat, and he builds two more spine crawlers. Dude, that's <laughs> great. That's great. Was that in Nation Wars? No, this was in GSL qualifier. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Anyways, I won that game and then I lost the other two. Aw, oh, damn. But this was against Sue. That's, that's like, really, that's good mind game, so I like that. But, yeah, it was just a standard Link Bane game, but it was with Hatch hatch first, but just at a random base. It was, like, my fourth or fifth base mm -hmm. outside of an Overlord Scout direction. <coughs> I like it. <clears throat> but because I had such a huge reputation for 1312, everyone just assumed it was, like, something crazy. For sure. For sure. They didn't even know what it was, too, because they didn't see Lings. They just knew I didn't have a gnat, and they're like, what the hell could this even be? Like a proxy hatch, maybe? Yeah. Those Which types of mind games are nice. What do we have here? Stargate. Oh, one base starport. Oh, wait, well, he does have the command center, but like still. Quick starport there. I'm surprised he built it on the high ground. It feels strange. The, uh, I think it's good to rotate in building on high ground. Like if you always build on low ground, Protoss can punish you for that shit. Yeah. There's like these builds now where you make a zealot to start and you just like rally in like quick adapt and well, stuff. Well, like the max pack stuff is really yeah. good too. Oh yeah, that stuff as well. But like if you sometimes put it in high ground, builds like that are fucking terrible. Yeah, it's just like auto loss. Yeah, so if you're like, okay, 30% of the time I build this on high ground when I'm Hello? or whatever, it's good. Yeah, that was weird. Oh, <laughs> uh, I was just hoping this one Hellion would kill all the workers somehow. Correct. All right, one cyclone, second cyclone. Has Marines, Medivac about to pop. It's such a weird... It's a weird build, right? Yeah. Especially into a Stargate, so Phoenix can definitely push this away. Hmm. It's just not like he's going to have Stim or anything. I mean, it's eight Marines, Dude. seven Marines, and one injured. Look <laughs> at that what? very fast Immortal. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, I don't know what the What do you is. think that's because of? Like, did he... I mean, he doesn't know did that... He... Uh, can we see his vision? Maybe he doesn't know that there's a gnat in the main or something. Unfortunately, we're on a two-minute delay because yeah. you have to be. So, like anything we say from Apu, he doesn't. It could he be. Can't do it. it could be. My guess would be that Hero probably didn't see the gnat 100, percent and it's probably. Oh, he didn't see the command center. That's what I'm up. saying. Oh, so maybe he yeah, thinks it's like yeah, yeah. it could be some kind of weird tank push or some kind you're of weird probably, base push. You're probably right, which makes that high ground CC even better. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, because. Like an immortal right now. Mappa said like immortal is a good unit, but like it is so worthless right now. That is such a waste of money. You know what I mean? Yeah, he didn't see the CC, so that is what happened. Yeah. He just isn't sure that it was a one base LM. Mm. It's like even with this immortal, you got to go back to your shield battery to take this fight. Also, somehow <laughs> this this marine cyclone thing is looking better than it should ever against a, an immortal. Yeah. Well, he yeah, just doesn't have that many units. Like he went. Phoenix plus a more. <laughs> no, but it's just such so a... It's, it's like it's unstimmed Marines and two Cyclones. Yeah, like, yeah. What is this good against? Somehow it's, good against what Euro has. It's wonky as fuck. For sure. And now he's already lost his, his Phoenixes as well. <laughs> like... <laughs> Damn, dude. Third CC on the way. I really like Gumio's spot. I mean... Yeah. He's, he's looking really good here. Oh, no. Not sure how he got that, but okay. <laughs> it's probably full of Marines, too. Yeah, it was. It had seven Marines in it. Gross. Yeah, Viking not going to do anything here. Scout, I think it's though. still fine for Gumi. the Robo Bay. It's nice. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you see Robo, you know they're going to do it. You're always going to get into Colossus there. Yeah, I'm just saying. 100%. No question. And he actually already was getting uh, Disable anyways. A little bit scary. Should be okay though, especially with the bunker. Mm -hmm. 
Another Phoenix. Oh! I thought that bugger did fish. Oh, dude. He didn't bring SCVs down. I think that's one of those situations where you're pretty sure they're just going to turn around. <laughs> and then you're like, well, shit. I guess I do have to bring the SCVs to make him turn uh, around. This might just be it. Oh, that would be crazy if he just picks it up right here. You're right, though. Dude, what? <laughs> that was know. so sudden I weird. can't believe the Colossus just walked across the map. Yeah. Even Gumiho was like, what? <laughs> like, Even Hero's like, what from that? That's crazy. Yeah, Mapu says he did not see the CC. Uh, yeah, so he saw the reactor and that was it. With some one base scariness. Dude, that's funny because everything was going kind of Gumiho's way. And then he kind of overcommitted a little bit with his units and then he didn't repair the bunker. Yeah. And the bunker broke and then it's like, well, shit, you don't have anything else, man. You needed that. Should have pulled the boys. Oof. I mean, yeah, losing that medevac full of marines kind of sucks for sure. Why are we talking about Fahrenheit versus Celsius? Uh, I think freedom units versus other units. Anyways, Fahrenheit sucks, no question. Why would you ever use Fahrenheit? <clears throat> uh, because Fahrenheit is what you have to use if you want to have landed on the moon. Mm -hmm. I heard NASA crashed a satellite because of the conversion from Fahrenheit, not Fahrenheit and Celsius, but kilometers and miles. Really? Yep, cl crashed right into the middle of a planet. Shit. So they probably meant to. Do that. <clears throat> they should probably use one system. Well, the rest of the world needs to fucking change then. Yeah. If we're the leaders in everything, maybe what you should country, fucking follow what us. What country do you live in again? Listen, I'm American through and through. I don't fit in here. You know yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> You're an outsider, dude. Walk around my town and see how people act, and then think about how I act. <laughs> I'm American as fuck. <laughs> Yep, you definitely are. <laughs> my bodily liquids are red, white, and blue, my friend. <laughs> That's great. I think most <laughs> bodily fluids are red, white, and blue. <laughs> red, white, and brew. <laughs> Funny. You read that in chat. Yeah, I did. <laughs> this guy's good. stealing chat jokes. <laughs> no, chat stole that from me. There's mm. a delay. <laughs> <coughs> all right all right what we gonna do this time gumi i do like gumio's play man he's a fun player he is he's such a different flavor from the other top terrans you know yeah i like that too and also somehow very competent with literally whatever he plays mm -hmm. like Definitely one of my favorite Terran players to watch. Yeah. I, I wish the game was in a more um, fragile or unfinished state so that he could reign more mm. successfully. You know what I mean? The more the game is figured out, the less deviations actually make sense. Yeah, that's very true. And Gumiho is like one of those guys that just absolutely is solid <laughs> when the game isn't like 100%. Yeah. I it's think like, there's certain players that really are good during those times. Hero, definitely one of them. For sure. Farting. Lots of there's lots of good people. Basically, the more unorthodox, the more aggressive you are in general. Those two things, I think, lean towards uh, just lean an towards unfinished, being good like less solved game. Yeah, yeah. Personally, I I enjoy. I think those periods of time are more enjoyable for an RTS viewer mm -hmm. and for me, a player. But I understand why people players don't like it. But viewers should really like it. That's when you yeah. really get matchups where you're not 100 percent sure who wins, or at least. Dude, anyone could win. Yeah, yeah. Know? Like, honestly, when the bigger patch came out, like, people were loving watching. I was loving it. Yeah. Right? In fact, you were here when that big patch came out. Yep. Remember? Because yep. we were casting, and actually, it was, like, kind of a weird week. Like, the Cyclones weren't used as much as we were hoping and stuff. But, like, still, it's like, it's just it's so exciting when that happens. For sure. That's why we need seasons in StarCraft 2. Remove a unit, add a unit. I know, I know. Change a race. Dude, I hope Microsoft I hope Microsoft gives a bit more support for StarCraft 2. I think they have to. Because it's I mean it's just utilizing an IP they purchase. I know. You know. It just makes sense. It just makes sense. If they just just a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. It would be nice, especially in the wake of like RTS is being developed, it would be nice for them to just wake <coughs> up and say, Hey, this is an asset that we own that's in a genre that's popping. You know, or at least trying to pop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It would make sense, but also... That would be the smartest thing Microsoft could do, is just start supporting StarCraft II really hard right now. 
I saw someone say that and I was like, oh wow, that's actually a really good take. Like that's that that would be the number one way to try to keep your market share because you know Blizzard owns RTS pretty hard. But honestly, Microsoft has age. So like they would like completely own RTS if they would just fucking really push into StarCraft 2, right? Like the only thing that think, could even threaten at all is Stormgate. Do you think a modern RTS <clears throat> has a uh, mainstream viability? What do you mean by mainstream? Like I'm talking like a League, a Fortnite, a, a you know, like that kind of mainstream well, I, viability okay, where okay, it's like so your friends at school are playing it, like people are talking about it people are literally becoming famous off of it that kind of stuff yeah it's possible it's possible really? i think yeah yeah it's um i don't know that it will ever be as popular as something like whatever the biggest team games are because if you look at counter-strike valorant uh league you know those types of things like team games team sports are more popular than single right they just yep. are it's just like tennis is not as popular excuse me popular as baseball basketball soccer right mm-hmm but it's still really popular and people play it and talk about it and love it, you know? So I think that's I mean, kind of RTS's <clears throat> area is like, okay, maybe this is- I don't know if I is... RTS to tennis. <laughs> well, but... it, I'm just using it as a one versus one, right? But actually it's pretty, I think there's a lot of similarities. So you tennis think- Tennis says doubles, so at least TL... watch his fucking doubles. Doubles is garbage. TLDAR, you think that an R a modern RTS can be mainstream? Yes. Interesting. But not as big as something like League. Like, I still think it it won't be the biggest game again. I feel like the RTS genre does not have mainstream viability, even if we could reimagine it as a team game. Oh, we don't want it as a team game. I'm just it saying, turns into a MOBA I'm just saying too quickly. you're talking about team games as like a, that is the <coughs> defining factor of a mainstream game. Yeah, no, I think it is because you play with friends instead of against friends. People have fragile egos. People are little bitches. People do. And people are. Yeah. Ooh, nice trap here. Anyways, if we could reimagine RTS as a, as a team game, I'm still not sure if it has mainstream viability. <laughs> My biggest concern of, the, of an RTS is I think it's too difficult for modern uh, attention spans and modern players. Yeah, but we have to have a return to quality. People can't just be hooked on TikTok forever. Uh, I think people can be hooked on TikTok Then forever. we're just going to go extinct. Like, there will be might. a certain amount of people who are hooked on it forever, but, like... But that's the majority of people is the problem. Well, right now it is, but honestly, I think there's going to be a pushback. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Oh! I can't believe that one didn't blink. I thought it blinked. Misblinked. Crazy. Mm. <clears throat> that's crazy, though. Dude, he is so fucking active with these. <laughs> it's It'll a weird setup away. of the double bunker, and he's running past and shit. I'm not I'm not sure if it will trend away. I wouldn't be I wouldn't say it confidently. Okay, so here's here's what I think, right? Uh like it, social media is wrecking people's brains right now. And it will continue to do that and everything, but like I really think there has to be a return to quality. Like it, people are not fucking happy. Yeah. There there's all everyone's at each other's fucking throats. Everyone's fucking brainwashed. Everything's it's insane. political. Yeah, everything's political. This is not a way to live ha happily or healthily or anything. So I think that I people agree. will get away from that. People will return to quality. People will return to trying to be good people and fucking friendly to their neighbors and challenging themselves and getting better. And that's that's where RTS comes in, man. It's like you're not going to play fucking shit mobile game forever, right? Eventually you're going to be like, well, you know what? Actually, uh, chess I, is cool. I, I, the you problem know? with this is I don't see I don't see incentive for developers to push the narrative or the needle in that direction. I f see a ton of incentive in actually continuing to like. Oh yeah, the incentive is there, but I mean, should that work forever? I certainly hope not. I Maybe hope I'm not, giving too I, much credit. To I humans. hope not, but I think it, I think it will probably see doubling down in this direction. We've already seen it, though. Yeah, I, I hope. Seen it. What I hope is, that, I hope this backfires and people do realize eventually that all games are lacking substance. But it seems like we haven't learned that yet, and that's slightly concerning to me. Hmm. Like, there's a lot of reward. Some sometimes even the crazier or the worse the game is, the better it does. Like, there's a like, Pal World is a very interesting take on a game and is very popular. You know. Yeah, but is there anything like uh, wrong with that? Uh. Is there anything wrong with it? I haven't played Pal World, so I don't want to speak on it like executively. But mm -hmm. to me, I wouldn't qualify Pal World as a as a 
like a game that returns to quality by any means. You know, continues the trend. Yeah, of I'm not saying that that one in Battle particular Royale, is, but I think I think people everybody... are getting people are getting sick of shit, right? Like they have to be. There's like been a lot of shit games that have come out. Like yeah, look but at it feels look like at Blizzard shit games, games continually man. are rewarded. Well, I mean, they keep shoving them full of microtransactions, but like you see indie companies and stuff doing better and better and better, right? That's definitely true. Yeah, and that's because they're actually making quality. They're actually caring. That, so. Yeah, that's actually probably a good point. And that's what I'm, I'm and thinking they're taking, is that they're, they're taking more risks with their like game design and getting rewarded yeah. for it. Seco yeah. donated $3.33. I'm not really sure this debate is appropriate for your stream. RT oh, yeah? Call? Not talking about Birdo, I guess. You're right. Why? Why? Because your chat is a bunch of autists who spam Mario <laughs> erotic and <laughs> pregnant Yoshi, Bowser's Big Black Castle, and www.www.www.www.www.com and seventy-seven thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven and come in my. Nice. Uh, so, actually, that's where you're you're wrong. Actually, this chat is full of people who want a return to quality. That's why we actually have a good time in the stream, Pick instead of pretending that the newest games Pick are fun up. to watch. Dude, that Immortals is so are doing so much one punch. volley. Pick it up. One volley, he could have killed that. He Shit. definitely could have, especially with the Immortals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, if you these, just one these right mines, click. These mines are so huge. No, it's crazy. Morzal's getting on top. Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, Dude, that red Immortal's killing me right now. <laughs> he juggles it back just in time. Oh, he's going to lose them all. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. He's going to get it, right? Don't Dude, be that punished. was crazy. But look at the worker count. 33 to 77 right now. But yeah. Hero's army is so small. He needs to get it. If those two immortals live, it's actually probably game what? over. What? That's crazy. The only thing that's really... I mean, there's nothing really <coughs> good here for Gumi, but also a gold base. I mean, come on. There's four bases with a gold. <laughs> the only way he could have won at this point, I think, is he, he kills that medevac and he pulls literally every single SCV and just says, this is it. Hmm. Once the army's dead, that's I think the only way he would have won from that pers from that position, especially with a zealot immortal uh, army comp. Mm. Like SCV is soaking up zealot shots would be really nice. Yeah, well, I mean he couldn't really pull because he doesn't have enough, right? Like thirty three. Yeah. I mean he can't keep his uh, production up and, and pull. I mean that's true, but he also can't win like from I, an economic disadvantage at this. Size. Well, he has he has three command, so he's like refilling. Yeah, but three command against four yeah, Nexus no. and a gold right. base. I think you're right. But I don't know what SCV what pull wouldn't have done it though. It's like it wouldn't have maybe. But the point is, that's your best shot. Mm. That, that, that CC wasn't even rallying. I mean, it's over. CG. Yeah, if he had if he had fifteen more marines, maybe. I think my thought process was if he kills those two immortals in the prism and cleared yeah. the army, that that would be the biggest army club like that would be the point of time in which his army would mm -hmm. be bigger than heroes by far and every single minute after that is he's going downhill so he might as well pull his boys and go i, call I see what out. you're saying i see what you're saying oh dude both the cats are in here now <laughs> all right we opened the door and we got another cat I'm expecting to lose one dude we have dark first max packs <clears throat> coming up next oh that's exciting that's a nice that's match really exciting nice nice match Let's take a look real quick at the bracket, guys. Auto step so Australia lost. Four dollars and twenty cents. Uh, yep. We've been getting early beaters as final products for so long. People can't tell the difference. True. We are facing baby dick. Yes. Yes. I really do think there's going to be a return to quality. Like people are not going to put up with this shit forever. Like, hey, the, I mean, the games that are being put out nowadays by these these fucking triple A companies are fucking garbage, man. It's crazy. It's actually crazy to see. L games being less and less finished and being released like did did you follow city skylines 2 at all no i didn't no, man I, didn't. I really like city skylines it's a really fun game to play uh it's very passive something you can do on meetings or whatever pause it unpause it it was a massive game city skylines the original one had it's just huge it's so massive mm -hmm. but the city skylines 2 flopped so hard the game is like max is at 30 frames per second there's tons of bugs like, oh, man. I can't believe a game by a AAA dev with so much hype, so much backing, mm -hmm. 
and it just completely flops. I, I do recall when uh, that Cyberpunk came, game, game came out, how much backlash it was because there were so many bugs and it just wasn't working well. I yeah. do remember that because Tasteless was kind of into that. It's crazy so. how much money goes into it and how willing they are to release a product they know isn't adequate. Yeah, yeah, and that's not going to last is my, is my argument, Ooh. which is why I think Max this can Max is going for some memes. Uh, I think it. he's just going to block the hatch. That's all. Uh, yeah. Or he's going for some memes. No, nope, yeah, that's a hatch block. It's just hatch blocking. Uh, but I could hope. Maybe it's a meme. <laughs> it's not a meme. It's just normal. But, but it could be. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> also, he's going to get it up. <laughs> yeah, he, he's doing 15-15 he yeah. or whatever. 15-14. Remember, we were talking about yeah. that the other day. Nice. Yeah, literally like two days ago, you and I were talking about that because we were watching Eric play. Uh, yeah, we were watching him play Storm Storm Game. Game. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, yeah, I was letting you know about that. <clears throat> Get yeah, punished. Yeah. What? Guy in the chat donated four dollars and twenty cents. My friends and I have been honestly bored with newer games. We go back to real quality NES, Super Nintendo, and sixty-four. Yes. Yeah, I've been bored with games too, but I chalked it up to my attention span, and just like, if you know. want, if you want your attention span back, you must get off social media. I don't use I don't use social media though. It's you watch you watch you watch uh, TikTok you shit. No no no, no I yeah, you don't. Do. I don't watch. I watch TikTok. you watch it's it. It's YouTube. Yeah, it's the same thing. They're kinda. YouTube Shorts is TikTok. Kinda. It's the same exact thing. Now. Listen. Also, these are relevant to me. YouTube shorts, like poker shorts. Yeah. No. That's I, Starcraft. I understand. Shorts. I understand. But I'm just saying, if you want your attention span back, you have to not watch that stuff. Like when I completely, I shut out social media for my life, like 99 percent, like five months ago, and like I just sit down and read books and shit again. It's fucking great. It's hard yeah. to do, man, but it's worth it. <laughs> well, maybe. I would say the content I consume is 90% long form, but yeah. That's good. That's good. That's what you need to do. Like, I, de I definitely do <clears throat> some YouTube short stuff, but it's a huge mm -hmm. minority. Definitely no TikTok, no Instagram. That's good. Nothing other than YouTube. The more you can cut out of your life, the better, in my opinion. Yeah. Anyways, uh, maybe, you might be right. Maybe I don't get enough like of a hook right off the bat to keep me in a game. Yeah. Well, I don't like any game that's uh, Netflix with buttons. I want to sit down. I want to start the game and fucking play immediately. And if I, I literally sometimes buy a game, and it doesn't do that, and I turn off, and I never well, play that's, again. That's me. Yeah. Well, it's it's not even attention span. It's more like I don't care about your shitty fucking storyline. What I want is gameplay because I bought a game. Interesting. I like the story gameplays, but it's like imagine you go to the store and you buy a basketball, and then you go to the court, and they're like, "All right, but now you're gonna watch 30 minutes played... of cutscenes, and then you can dribble once and press the A button to shoot, and it's gonna go in." I fuck that. No, really? I bought a basketball. I'm gonna go fucking shoot it in the hoop right now. Have you played uh, Last of Us? Uh, no, no. Have you seen Last of Us? Yeah, the show it? was great. The show was great. Yeah, the game. I mean, that was a really good story game. I wouldn't classify the gameplay as like dominant by mechanics, but more about the story. Yeah, I don't like those. But that's that game was huge. I mean, it was really Oscar well done. That's great. I that's mean, great. you watch the show, right? Like, yeah, the, yeah, I love the, the show. Game but I'll never play the game. The show is a really good representation of what the game is. So, no, no, that's cool. But if I want a story, I'll read a book. I I just feel like you're wrong on this one. Now that I think about it. Yeah, I'm definitely <clears> right. But this is dark for Max Packs. So. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, I guess we should. Fuck. We should we should talk about All dark right, Max Packs. This is like literally one of the best products or one of the best sergs. But still, nothing really has happened yet. Void Ray. Ooh, Avoid. Void first. That's kind of... Oh, Not no, first. Void second. Void, but this is pretty normal. That's so cool. Because Voids can... This could either be something crazy or it could just be like Overlord killing, slight defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably The just cool defense. thing would be if he makes a second Void. Yeah, if we That's see... That's where it gets cool. Exactly. If we see a second Void, then we have something to talk about. One Void's fine. It could literally be anything. Could just Honestly, be Overlord clear. Yeah, I think it's going to be Overlord clear into defense, and I think he's going to go uh, Oracle after it, too. That's oh. That's the most standard with that. Let's see. Yeah, Void's going Let's to see it. Overlord. Oracle. There you go. There it is. Oh, yeah. so good. No big surprise. Yeah, second Void Ray would be silly, what? and that's why I didn't do it. Menaseko donated $3.33. Is it weird that I use Twitter to follow only fans? 18 plus, not safe for work. Cuckhole trans queens that give their neighbors a rim job while getting plowed. Jeez. Okay, Jesus, okay, Menacheko. You're very normal. <coughs> All right, so and this is why void... social media is ruining us. It is. It is. I think honestly, 
I'd be down for a social media ban. It'd be interesting. Well, I'm not down for the government banning social media at all. The government should not tell people yeah, what they can and cannot the, do. The only way we can get away from social media is an actual like ban or enforcement. Or no, the, the true way to get away from it, in the, like this is my real opinion here, is you need strong parenting. Strong parenting. Strong parenting. That's the, <clears throat> that is the crux of every problem on earth, is parents are fucking terrible. They are fucking terrible. Pay attention to your fucking kids. Teach them correctly. Interesting. Teach them actual values. I just... Okay, well, Don't can them a fucking iPad because you're lazy and you want to look at your phone. That's true. I mean, that... But I, uh, I mean, it, that is definitely true, but yeah. I'm not sure. I feel like just nice cancel on the month. fourth, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be really hard to take the fourth when the Voidra is prowl prowling on the map, too. True, yeah. And he, he shut down so much of the creep there as well. So, uh, like, the queen's tiptoeing over there is going to take forever, right? Yeah, Dude, look at that. Catches another nice. drone. I love this. The Voidra is clearing creep on the left side and the Oracle Adept gang on the right side. This is really nice. Mm -hmm. Every second delayed is just, it's just nice. Dude, yeah, the multitask of uh, Max Packs is truly good. Really oh. good. Dude, look at that. Are you kidding me? That's sick. That's three denials in a row. And he's going to get this one too. I don't know what Dark's <laughs> playing. He just keeps sending a drone in. He's like, like eventually this will be there. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, <coughs> That's he's going to get it again. I promise you. Go. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Dude. I knew it. Five I knew it. Denials. Cancel recall. Five there it is. Denials. Cancel recall. That's, Those are out of there. That's crazy, man. That was nice. Yeah. Dude, he should just take a fourth now. It'll be same pace. He has pretty much nothing to worry about. Might not be pa max pack style, but I mean four four more gateways. We see some really sick three base timing. Probably take a fourth behind it. I don't see why not. Ooh, oh my god, dude! dude. He's everywhere. He's I'm, everywhere. It, it, but honestly, watching this, Dark feels slightly off, right? Like this, dude, like you, you can't fall <laughs> for it that many times. If Seriously. you took that name away, I would say we're watching like I don't know anybody. It could be. It would just be like a much lower level Zerg. Yeah, I wouldn't say dark for sure. Yeah, yeah. It like, like this even is a little sloppy. I'm not even able to really There's think of the right it. Zerg. I'd, I'd be watching this, but you know what? This might be like a sort of just came back. I think this is sort of. <laughs> like, <laughs> it could be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or like, I mean, even. I'm Sasha like he's pretty good, somebody. but like uh, not quite. You know, not quite there. I, I, dude, like Max Pax is gonna win this game. I think he has done so well so far. Well, you just cursed him, so now he's gonna lose. But yeah, curse is not real. Is it? Yeah, don't 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 listen to shit about the curse. It's not true. I've just I've just seen it play out so many times. That's all. Yeah, it's um. It's well, we'll see. Recency we'll see. bias or some right shit. Right like now, that. Max Plax is looking great. So if he loses, I will be calling it the curse. But mm -hmm. let's see how he goes. Let's see if it goes downhill from that point where you just said he was going to win. No, I don't think it can, honestly. Oh, like, his nice. macro is going to be clean. Like, I like what Dark is doing, though. I think Baneling speed here and just massing up some Banes gives him probably the best opportunity because he's definitely behind, right? Storm on the way, too, bro. <laughs> so he needs, he needs to, like, blow up some shit. Yeah, this is going to be a big Bird time. time yeah. just subscribe. Also, it's going to hit before Storm. I mean, that's a lot of Stalkers. It's not the greatest army against this army composition. Mm -hmm. Like, if he catches those Stalkers up against a wall or something, this game could just end immediately. Hmm. Like, yeah, let's see. We'll see how this goes. Enough force fields to make it really annoying, though. That's <laughs> not the force field I was looking for. This no, is actually. I thought that was a great force field. Okay, that's a good warp. Oh, the, the Bailey should be attacking the Stalkers. I, I, that was a weird choice. I almost think the game ends if those Banes hit the Stalkers. Like, it almost ends anyways, so I can only imagine if the Stalkers actually die there to, uh... to Banes. Yeah, if you put that many Banes in the Stalkers... He might still clear this You up. might be right, yeah. He might have just straight won there, which is crazy because... Because you just cursed him. <laughs> but, yeah. Ertos' curse isn't real, man. Six, I mean, he's down in workers now. This, is this over? I, I mean, this looks pretty scary now for Max Fax. He basically... He actually lost the base, too. Every single worker there. I think those Banelings hit the Stalkers. The game actually is over there, so... Mm -hmm. But I'm curious. Maybe the Blink Stalker split might have been really good. But he was also kind of up against the wall. But anyways, we'll see how this goes. Yeah. The... Well, I mean, Max Pax right now, he has that additional base up, right? So he's, he's going up to four again. 
Yeah, but it's still just three yeah. base. I mean... He's 66 probes, though, right? Like, he's got good economy. The thing is, plus two melee's almost done. Like, a lot of lings, a lot of banes coming in. Good ravager count. Storm. Storm's gonna be big. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget, I mean, banelings do have less health now, so the storm's ah! gonna be really good. Again, he's... Interesting call on the banelings there. Okay. Not it's bad. It's funny that void's still flying around, by the way. <laughs> Only two workers die, though. Mm. Really nice counter. This is really what makes a, a really good Protoss and like a mediocre one. Mm -hmm. Is like if they're defending and actually able to counter at the exact same time. Yeah. Like a lot of people get tunnel visioned on the defense and I don't blame them. But <coughs> if yeah. you have a couple of zealots kill a couple of drones, it, it can really change the tide of the game. Changes everything because the units that they're popping out now can't go directly to you. They have to go defend. Yeah. Right. And they can't keep their full attention because they have to deal with these. Because otherwise, three zealots will clear your mineral line. It'll happen. Yep. Yeah, I mean this game is definitely going to be a long one now. I think. I don't think I don't think we can get to a point where it doesn't become a longer game now, because Dark is going to have a really nice defender's mm. advantage. Yeah. And yeah. definitely can't be offensive anymore. And Max Pax probably doesn't want to be offensive. I would be a little bit surprised if he goes into it with this much creep. Well, why do you think he's making the immortal? <laughs> I don't know. Just. It doesn't that feel weird. That's, That's like feel, a weird time for weird. an immortal right now. Does he have more? Maybe he no, has more. No, he doesn't have it. I don't. It, well, no, actually, he had one in the last battle. Maybe he's just like, this is what I want to make out of my robo. But like, if you're making immortals, you're going to attack, right? Yeah, maybe. I just don't think there's a place to attack. It, it doesn't feels, seem like it's strange. Maybe me. if he goes up the right side and like swoops in for the fourth. But you're just giving your opponent the best chance to kill your army. Like. It's but he might he, feel like he needs to do something now after but the damage he took. He's being attacked into and had like dark, pretty yeah, successful yeah. attacks into you, so it mm -hmm. feels weird to then like give him another chance, but in a mm -hmm. defender's advantage. Like fourth base is up. He really should just be <coughs> playing a super long game. Second, is this a third forge or a second forge? Oh, second but do you forge. think do you think against dark you could go into late game sky toss from here and, and make it work? I don't no, think so. Not I don't with, think it's possible. Not with the uh, army composition being built too. But he might just go to a max, I guess, and then go. Looks like to me, yeah. he's going for a max. Yeah. Well, he's, he's got to make the choice soon because I just, I don't see a world in which you can go into carrier from I think we way. max and add stargates, but like it just. Yeah, yeah. You can add stargates behind the attack because if you do the right amount of damage, that follow up can be good. Yeah. But like, yeah, you can't just, you can't defensively go into that right now. Agreed. I almost don't like the attack still. I feel like this gives our Dark a, a fantastic uh, opportunity to actually surround and kill you. He's Especially being careful about it, though. Like, look at that. He gets off creep immediately. Oh. Clears some creep, gets off creep. Does he see it? I don't think he sees it. Yeah. That was that was pretty good. Oh! Dude, Stasis Ward's still the most underappreciated spell in the game, and it's used all the time. I swear to God. that's It's so good. It's so good. I don't disagree. Uh, actually, I like the Immortals now. I do. Like, yeah, behind those Archons are alright. Nice. Yeah, I mean, uh, Immortals are always good. It's nice. just they're cool. pretty expensive and everything, right? So, it just felt kind of weird to see him making them. Well, it the felt there. weird not knowing the Immortal count. Mm -hmm. Like one Immortals trash, but five mm -hmm. Immortals here. <laughs> it's not the same. Yeah, uh -huh. you're gonna chunk down something like a hatch super well, especially fast. Especially most a lot of Roach army composition here. Even against the Lurkers, I kind of like it. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's just spread those just, things. You you'll break it. Yeah, it's just more HP. <coughs> yeah, I like the three cannons too. That's gonna buy him the time to save the space. Yeah. If those three cannons aren't there, he loses the Nexus. Uh, or he has to recall. Yeah, 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 probably. Or, or a big warp in, which would still be quite annoying. Well, it, I think the warp in wouldn't even been fast enough. Dude, the, yeah. The lurkers didn't die, right? They got out, I think. Oh, I'm they might have sure. died. I'm not sure. If the lurkers died, I think we're in trouble here if we're dark. This is a wild game. It felt like Max Pax was super far ahead, and it, like Dark almost killed him. And now Max Pax is roaming killing bases. <laughs> No, and he is taking a fifth right now, so he's he, like his third is under attack once again. But he has a fifth nexus on the way, so and he has his fleet beacon just finished. No plus one air yet. W. Damn, only one W. Salty. <laughs> Salty as fuck. Man. You believe that? Mm. I don't. Were you a good enough Zerg for them to tell you about the uh, one whoa, swarm whoa, host whoa. dog off. whistle? What? The the swarm host dog whistle that Zerg players send each other. Dog whistle. Yeah, you know how many Zergs make one swarm host when they have the game one. Uh, maybe. 
Yeah, dude. Okay, I mean, so they didn't. You weren't I've made good enough for them to tell you about I've that. I've made okay. accidental swarm host because it's a very easy unit to accidentally make. Oh, he's so not allowed I'm to tell a, us. I guess okay. I'm a dog whistler too. He's not allowed to tell. Also, us. Also, I immediately kill my swarm host. So, if I ever build one back, style points he immediately dies. Style points. <clears throat> yeah. Well, that's good to know that you're part of that cabal. Cool. So, what is the conspiracy theory here? I don't understand. Dude, it's a fucking dog whistle. The Zerg players just signal make one to each accident. other. Yeah, <laughs> it just by accident. Happens. Everyone does it by accident. Everyone who changes their hotkeys and plays professionally makes one when they're at, about to win by accident. Absolutely. I believe sometimes, you. Sometimes no, I believe you, you make one when you're about to lose. They're not going to say that you betrayed them, okay? You've you've done your part. What's the goal with this, though? With what? The dog whistle. Like, what are we... That's what I'm trying to get to the bottom of. Oh, you don't know? Oh, you don't know? Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. I just wanted to check if you knew or not. Then I could tell you. All right, here we go. So curse doesn't exist, actually. Pretty good. What doesn't exist? Your curse. You said. Yeah. Max Pax was no, good. I'm actually like basically always right. <laughs> True. Ooh, that was a good first game, though. It was really nice. It was. I really think if Dark Dark changes his priorities with the Banelings and that main attack, I think he wins. I actually think you're right. I do. I do think you're right because you only have the one blink. Like, it's kind of counterintuitive that uh, Banelings are good against Stalkers, but they are in those types of situations. Because, yeah, the like, they can really blink nice. back once, and you can't go behind the wall. If you go behind the wall, everything dies. Also, it was looking it was looking scary despite the Banelings not hitting the Stalkers, so I can only imagine if they actually connected. Mm. But yeah. we'll never know. It's kind of a hard call to make because sometimes you think, okay, I'll just do a Baneling, kill all the workers, and back <coughs> up. But yeah. Like, I don't fault Dark for making that call. It, well, it, I feel like that's the automatic call. That's is, a safer one. It's for always sure. good to do that. But, like, in this situation, yeah, I think you're right. I think very likely he wins the game if he goes after the Stalkers there. These cats are going to unplug something. I'm calling it. <laughs> yeah, they might. Dude, <laughs> they might. Fun. Yeah, they're playing in the cords in the back right now. <laughs> Dude, I like having some cats around. It's cool. Lots of people disliking StarCraft 2. Huh? Lots of people disliking StarCraft 2. Uh oh, this is a meme in the chat. My hatred for StarCraft 2 is becoming borderline uncontrollable. They say that about anything. Do they? Other than Brood War. You'll see. They'll say it about Bread and Fred when we're playing it too. No way. That they would never. Quote. That's yeah, never no. happened. They've never said that before. Yeah, this is a new meme. They seem to be really excited about Bread and Thread. Bread and Fred. So should we get some vodka out? You know? Vodka this time? Was it, it was oh, was rum, it rum last, last time? time? I think I don't have much rum. I'm down for whatever. We can yeah, let chat pick. Maybe it'll be vodka this time. Moonshine. I have lots of that. Really? That's that's a <laughs> yeah, bad I do, one. But I don't want to go blind, so we're not going to do that <laughs> one. We're definitely not doing that one. It's fucking... The stream will end real early if we do that. <laughs> All right, Stargate. And, well, I mean, you still got to wait a little bit to see what this is really going to do. Honestly, like, these first few minutes, you and I were talking yeah, we a lot about this. It's like... What's the point? Yeah. Nothing truly interesting happens until you get your first really mobile units out. Like the Oracles or whatever. Yeah, I think there's a fallacy from the idea of, like, skipping sections of the game. Like, the six workers skip into 12, and then you're like, <coughs> well, we could just skip more and more and more. Like the big, it feels like a bigger jump to skip from six to twelve than to skip from twelve to like two base, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because you cut out a lot of the really early game all in. It's like six pool, proxy two gate, proxy two racks. Yeah, yeah. Like imagine six STV options with two racks, you know? Hmm. Like we were making fun of how strong the, uh, <laughs> the proxy two racks was when you could build it at, or couldn't build it earlier than like fourteen. So imagine, imagine if we had like ten, ten racks or something. Hmm. Yeah, it, like um, that. That it, it really is one of the biggest things that kind of screwed up stuff in StarCraft Two. I think because, like, I think StarCraft Two could be a much better game if we had six worker starts still. Like, I like. This, I mean, and I if we still had four player maps as well, like you just and people's arguments against that are, oh, dude, <laughs> <laughs> what? Whoops. Never seen that one. What a move! The genius of Max Specs. Um, but yeah, like it really, if we just had a more interesting early game, I feel like StarCraft two would be just way better. 
It, like, I still love it. I still watch it all the time and stuff, but like, it would be so much better if we had, if the first three minutes had different shit in them. Yeah. Now, remember we were talking and I said like, at one point, 14-14 was the standard in ZVZ because you couldn't defend 14-14 mm -hmm. without 14-14. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that was because of six drone starts. I mean, yeah. Also, the maps like Taldry Malter was undefendable. There was no ramp. So, mm, yeah. But the point was, that you have to respect things a lot more. You can't just go hatch first. Like even now in ZVZ, you can just go hatch first. Even if they go 12 full, you're in a good spot. Mm -hmm. you, well, you're not in a good spot, but if you're good at microing, you can absolutely defend it. That's the reason why everybody goes hatch first. Well, it's an important thing too, and it would actually help to balance out the strength of Zerg a bit. Because Zerg is weaker earlier in the game and always gets stronger later into the game. It just scales better than the other races. So like, you need to add a little bit of volatility in the early game so that they can't be pure greed the entire time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's how you actually deal with Zerg is things like pressure and making them make fewer drones earlier on. And it ripples throughout the game. And we yeah. just, we get almost none of that. I it's just like, like the, also, you just have to respect it. You know, yeah. There's like an automatic respect for potential. Like, I, could you even imagine, like, some Reaper Reaper harasses off of six worker start? Yeah. Like, imagine going proxy two racks Reaper with, like, eight Raxes or something. It's serious. You know? Yeah. And it, by eight racks, serious. I mean eight supply racks. Yeah, like, yeah. Y your Reaper could show up before a queen even starts. Mm. Like, that would be very possible. Mm -hmm. But that is just not, not possible with a 12 worker start. Yeah. It's, oh, well. it's too bad. I'd, I'd love to see something like that. Dude, look at this. Overlord speed. He's got the drops. He's loaded up queens. This is fucking crazy. This is What's this, crazy. Ragnarok I'm from 2015? Let's go. <laughs> curious how this plays out. It's, he's going to have to drop creeps so that he can transfuse, but that's totally fine. I assume he has a layer. Does he? Actually? I, I don't think he does. He might not. Dude, this is crazy. Yeah, oh, no, does. he does. Never mind. <laughs> The queens are so late to the party. Oh god, the banelings. Dude, look at that fucking rhinoceros hippopotamus thing. Get it out of here. Male Ursadak. Should just say no regret on it. <laughs> that would be very cool. This looks really hard to defend. Yeah, yeah. By the way, banelings hitting stalkers. Nice. <coughs> Actually doing quite a bit of damage here. Hmm. Yeah, this is incredible amounts of damage. And, like, he's going to spread so much creep here. There's so few units left over. By the way, we totally blanked. You need Lair to pick up Overlord or to do Overlord drops. Oh, God. yeah. No, I remember when they changed that. That was so stupid. Especially for me because it was yeah. huge. Right after, at, right after fucking Pyeongchang. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They nerfed me. I, yeah, that, I don't know. I, I, I honestly didn't even think of it because it's, like, it's pretty rare you see such early drops anyways. Yeah, because you have to get layer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I just, I think I just didn't even Worker think count's that, actually yeah. even, but. Yeah, this is better, though, for Dark, I think, I right know. now. I mean, well, definitely not if he before, loses all these drones. <laughs> definitely before the drone count. But he, even still, I mean, he saves all those queens. He's got lots yeah. of creeps. He's got creep spread all over the place, and he can be even more aggressive with his creep spread. Mm, yeah, his creep spread will if be If he insane. can cancel this, which he can't, but if he could, that would be nice. I think this is actually pretty, <laughs> pretty good for Max Pax. Besides well, the Max creep. Pax is going to have a very serious amount of stalkers. Yeah, Luckily, he has enough creep spread he's to like more economy slow it, too. But, yeah. <laughs> so he's going to have both better, uh, better army and more economy. That's kind of wild. That attack looked so good too. Yeah. This is the fallacy of aggressive Zerg players. Hey, remember when the Oracle used to just turn on detection, and it would like turn itself in the air a little bit? Uh. You remember that? No, no. But it was. It, well, it, it, I think that probably it was a thing. I mean, that sounds <laughs> fine. Yeah. Once upon a time, the tagging is better. I mean, I definitely played during that period of time. I played from yeah, every no, era. I <laughs> just yeah. I try to block out eras that really bother me. <laughs> Do you remember when Nidus's were invincible? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> that was a good idea. <laughs> that was great. Rogue man, the goat. They did make the games fun, though. To be fair, it was not. Oh, the Nidus is being invincible made the game's fun? I, <laughs> it did for me. If I didn't know what race you played, <laughs> I would know now. Listen, I like to see some shake-ups of the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a dominant game from Max Pax. Yeah, I mean, even, even when it looked bad, it was totally fine. Yeah. 
Well, it looked like it was fucking terrible for him. Yeah, you just all have... that creep lose the nexus. All the probes were dead. The fucking stalkers all died. You have difficulty converting that into like uh, a mm -hmm. death blow. Yeah. But you really have to have like this kind of like overwhelming army that keeps this type of stalker attack back. Yeah, it's hard to get to it too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just you didn't quite. Add I almost that. rather the attack go to the gnat because I think. I think it's it needs to be a death blow or at least close to a death blow. And I don't think yeah. you, well maybe you can. Get you think it maybe third. he could have reloaded an overlord and like gone into the main with like something to drop, like drop eight links in the main and see if he gets something in there too cuz like maybe. he did not need he did not need the 16 banelings to clear that. He, the queens and the links he had were fine. <clears throat> so he could have actually sent more shit elsewhere. Yeah. He definitely could have would have done better. I mean, Dude, this is we're really close to game, I think. Max Pax is grinding him down. Uh. <laughs> That's cute. That should block you from taking the gas. Oh, he got the observer. Good thing we've got a lot of burrowed units coming. That should block you from taking the gas? <laughs> yeah. I'm on board with that. Why not? What? <laughs> It's not a big. It's, uh, imagine Listen, that ever matters. If you're actually going to get creep on, a, on an assimilator, you shouldn't be able to take it. Yeah, I agree. I'm glad we agree. Mm -hmm. Usually you're just so. You just want to fight me on literally everything that I'm surprised you no, don't disagree. No, I don't. Disagree. It's just you're wrong about so much. I just. Yeah. I'm trying to help you. Dude, the single G again. Damn. He's just mad, I the guess. The saltiness of right? this guy is unbelievable. Pig is playing against Kira right now, Mapu tells me. Dude, what? I'll be back. I'll go to the bathroom. Okay. <clears throat> Do you need anything? Uh, anything? No, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. I got water. I'll get some mac and cheese from Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some Capri Suns. <laughs> all right, all right. So... Guys, look at this bracket, right? We got Pig uh, going against Cure right now, which is pretty funny. That is true. Turns out. Uh, so that's slowing the bracket down. Um, Cure versus Creator could be very good. Uh, Max Pax is in the finals waiting already. So we got Hero basically waiting, Creator waiting. <laughs> That's so funny. Why did this bracket take so long? Did Pig just have the most epic games ever? Pig versus Matt 2 1. That has to be it. Pig is slowing the bracket down. The only thing we can take away from this is that Pig hates Brood War. Jark 970 <coughs> just resubscribed for 32 months. Artosis, what see, what's is up, this man? cartoony game? Hmm. Are we playing Stormgate on Monday 2 now? Stormgate 2, man. Stormgate 2 remastered. Drew Crazy just subscribed. Green Asperboon just subscribed. An image of Artosis as Giga Chad talking about parenting. He has a chiseled square jawline and is speaking straight fire. He is so based and correct. A group of lazy, incompotent parents are seething at his base takes. Fucking hundred percent, Tongar. Thank you. Hundred percent. Ah, you did get a Capri Sun. I love it. I love it. That's amazing. We can't see it because of this thing. This will go away in a second. Look at that, guys. Did you tell Tommy thank you? <coughs> but what's in pigs? X five pig. Okay. Whoops, wrong mic.
Profane donated $3. <coughs> Jacob I want you to know I tried to ship a nice bottle of rum to Dan so that you didn't have to drink whatever uncapped bottle of hairspray he has laying around <laughs> but I didn't do it so just imagine he has something nice while you drink camel spit or whatever. Okay. Appreciate, appreciate the thought, Profane. This is this is pig versus cure. Like obviously pig is not gonna beat him. I liked when Pig was a pro gamer. I always liked hanging out with him in Korea and everything. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good guy. He is. Well, he's a commentator now, so whenever I commentate a gig, I <laughs> yeah, still get to hang out so. with him. Yeah, actually, probably more than before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, he's, he's cool. He's very approachable. Yeah, good guy. This is good. Yeah, yeah. Those are. It's not actually Capri Sun guys. It looks like it, but it's like those new um, High C or whatever. Kool-Aid? Kool-Aid. It's Kool-Aid. Yeah. It is sugar. Yeah, oh. yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a fucking sugar water drink. Anyways, Tommy's. Here's let me let me give you guys some more parenting advice. Clever Starcraft oh, right. guy donated three dollars and thirty three cents. Hi, Artosis. I just wanted to tell you that I don't <clears> know <throat> anything, Adam. That I have a very 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 tiny manhood. I'm also jealous of you and your train conductor hat. Not surprised. I'm glad that you finally could admit all this. Okay, so guys, here's here's a here's a thing for your uh for raising children. It's important to feed children healthy food. Uh but it's also important to let them have unhealthy foods as well because if you deny them things, then they will grow up and as they gain more uh independence, they will go to those things super super heavily, right? Yep. That's so, why we give kids our drugs. <laughs> not what i was gonna say but it, like for instance a shitty drink like this like this isn't good for them don't let them have it every day but let them have it some that's my take i agree you need to you need to let them have things that things like that some, yeah yep. just don't let them have shit all the time like drugs <laughs> well yeah well, well <laughs> with your logic i mean come on we'll like, see, well i mean yeah if they're they're gonna do <laughs> do drugs it's like yeah that would be later on in life that's i'm not thinking about that right now because i have like a four-year-old and six-year-olds and shit see all these people saying that they w only want to do drugs is because you never had them when you were a kid that tank position is fucked, by maybe who's <laughs> <there. laughs> big complain about the tank positioning maybe dude cure's probably on five base right now <laughs> It's funny because the, <laughs> these attacks keep going really well for Pig, and then a mine kills all of his lings. It's like, uh, mm. it would almost be better if he was just fumbling from a distance. Holy mm. moly donated $3.33. Damn boy. Damn boy. He thick. Boy. That's a thick ass boy. And wearing a grandpa sweater. Grandpa <laughs> sweater. Do they make fun of all my sweaters? I look so handsome in them, my wife even tells me. Ooh, nice mind drag. Still nothing dies. Yeah. GG, well played. Okay. Rip. So we're going to go into Cure versus Creator, and then we'll go into the winner of that versus Hero, and then the winner of that against Max Pax. That's wild. Like, the bracket was so slowed down here. Yeah. That's insane because we just casted the semifinal and now we have like three matches before we're done. So, <laughs> is this the first match too? Or look, can you show me the bracket further down? Yeah, yeah. So, that was this match, yeah. round of sixteen. So now we're doing Cure Creator. So that was the first one. Like it's. Oh no no it's done Cure one. I know, but how long was were the games? Like they must have been really long yeah no? oh no no no. so the bracket oh, goes back go. right that's so that's, that's yeah yeah like who knows pig played this guy and then this guy and then cure so that was third round so <laughs> nice anyways but it's crazy because we just casted this so max packs is here so we got to do cure creator winner versus hero winner versus max packs cool Sounds all right good to me we might get a string of pvps we we'll see ho we gotta hope cure wins <clears throat> But Protoss is looking really imba right now. Dude. They're on fire lately. Whoa!
Is it all going to turn around? Tango 111 cheered. X300, Artosis' son was 16 so he knew he would be trying things. But he didn't want him to make the same mistakes he did. Artie was shocked as he looked under his son's bed and found a Terran guidebook. Son, have you been playing as Terran? Haven't I warned you about this? Dad, just because you couldn't handle it doesn't mean I will have the same problems he responded. But he said if you are going to bring this into my house then you can live somewhere else. Dude, Terranism runs in the family. I'm loving it. Fucking Light Fury. Very nice. Yeah, why not? Let's keep it going. Yeah, dude. I could literally listen to this all night. Uh, this is like I would have a five hour stream of just my this. Ears compared to the other three Hold on, Jike. Thank you very much. Just came in. All right. Now we'll play your message, JYC. What? Jike 970 <coughs> donated $3. Artosis, based on the statistics for the last few weeks, it is clear that a simple uninspired Stormgate beta ladder brings in more viewers than a SC2 tournament. I petitioned to change SC2 Monday to Stormgate and Zero Space Monday. That is so funny. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I still want to cast StarCraft 2. I still love StarCraft 2. Uh, but I do want to do, like, occasionally some, some casting for those other games as well. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see as things move forward. But, I mean, it's in, like, a beta phase right now. There's not, like, a lot of terms. I have been casting some. Uh, you guys should use the command StarCraft 2 to follow that channel. Uh, definitely has a decent amount of Stormgate casts and some Zero Space casts on hey, it as no well. Hey, no regret. I will show you some real <coughs> music instead of Light Fury. Yeah, Are you ready? Okay, let's hear it. This is a song I wanted to sing for you for a long time. DSFD, SFD, 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 D D D F D D F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S F D S
Do you like how much my children try to torture the cats while they're sitting no. on you? <laughs> you don't like that? I do not. Messed up, man. All right, guys. No, no, Creative no, 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 help. Ah, ah, oh, God, Dragon Wolf Dr. Chen is no. here. <laughs> help, help, help me. No, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 stop. Why, why is this? Holy shit. Nice. <laughs> it's good stuff. Help. I think he's done. All right. Thank you, Dragon Wolf Dr. Chen. <clears throat> All right. Uh, creator versus Cure. Do you have, like, a, a favorite here? Depends, because... Like creator had such a huge difference in like skill where he's like, he has like huge swings and high ups yeah. and downs. So yeah, yeah. depends what type of creator we have here. I would say cure is probably more consistent, but it, cure has some reasonably big swings too. Honestly, he does. Like he has disagree. he has some of the best games that you see, and then like some just horse. shitter games. So like I feel both of them are that well, way. Exactly. I was gonna say that's exactly the same with creator. Yeah, creator definitely, man. Like it's been a long time like that. Dude, this is I, pretty sick, actually. The fact that he has to pull so many, so yeah. many probes, is he, he's not going to build a cyber core? Yeah, that's a crazy choice. Okay, now he builds it, but it's been a while. Yeah, I don't think he made the decisions correctly here. Well, yeah, okay. I think he immediately built a cyber core. Same thing, everything, but just immediate cyber core. Maybe yeah. he thought he was going to get out a little bit quicker. Hmm. But I like I, it. yeah, six probes is a heavy pull. Like you don't it even is. pull that many for a hatch, man. Like he was, he was serious about getting that. Guess that's why he probably wanted to skip the cyber. Thought he could kill it quicker. Mm. Oh well, it's not a huge deal. It's just annoying. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think that's always good. Like well, especially anytime... with an engineering bay block, I, th I like the cyber being a little bit quicker. You know, uh, never... absolutely. There's no reason not to because you'd, st you'd the adept would be almost done. You know, yeah. and it's just better. Better scouting. Yeah. A little bit de more defensive. Who knows? Yeah. I think uh, in general, though, <clears throat> blocking Protoss Nexus is, is always nice. For sure. Like, Especially if they actually wanted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I mean, you almost always do, so. You do. I think it's, I actually feel like it's slightly underutilized. Like, probably not quite as good as blocking a Zerg Hatch because you follow that up with the uh, Adept Oracle, but still, like, we don't see it super often, right? No. I feel like in, if I watch, like, 10... TVPs in a night, I'll see it one to two times. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty one. rare. One to two times, maybe, out of time. I think in general, like, forcing your opponent to be a little uncomfortable is super underrated, you know? Like, even Absolutely. If, even if it, uh, if the equation means you're slightly behind, I still can see a world where it makes sense, Well, if depending you, on who yeah. you're playing against. If you fuck up your opponent's plans, I think that that's always a pretty good play, no matter what. Because otherwise, like, if someone's just on autopilot doing something they always do, like, it's going to be done super well. So if you can fuck that up at all, it's great. Even just a little, yeah. It's something that we see all the time in Brood War, where, like, dictating the early game is super strong. Even if you lose a little bit of money on that, like, the win rate for Protoss on two-player maps there is huge because you can just go steal the gas and dictate the entire flow of the early game, right? Like, you just... It's, like, up to you. And, like, because you can do that, your opponent can only have loose plans as to what to do. And they have to play it all by ear and make, like, a ton of decisions. So I think stuff like that is just always good. Now, here, obviously, that's not as big, but yeah, the idea behind it is similar. I like it. I mean, even for some players, like, if you can knock them off a of timing, they're, they can get supply blocked more than they should, that kind of stuff. Because you have a... There's, like, a feeling for when you want to build your pylons, especially when you're... You have a very uh, specific play style that you like to play. Mm hmm Absolutely. Was that worth oh, it? The medevac not, for two soccers? Not for losing the medevac, I think. Yeah. Seems if just you didn't slightly lose off. the medevac, I think that would be really good. Yeah. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh, yeah. That mine was fantastic. He's got the over battery. That is so funny, man. Overcharge. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't... Yeah, that didn't seem... I don't think that went how he wanted it. Like a, I think losing the medevac, it like, really stops you from having any real options. Yeah. The medevac is worth more than the two stalkers, honestly. For sure. I mean, it wasn't a huge committed push, but there's also no re no retreat, no but you lost it all, and you got two probes? Yeah. And, like, that's... And even the mine was good. Like, it yeah. hit, hit a bunch of stuff. It's like, yeah, you get the stalkers, but, I mean, the 
that's it. That's it. That doesn't really set creator behind. I and look, the creator throws the third nexus down. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Be, After you get the medevac, your opponent doesn't have anything they can do to you. You should be pretty confident in taking that. That's a very Estrella move. He is always making high quality moves like that, where like his opponent like loses units and he's like Nexus. I love that shit. Love it. I think the theory behind it is just so solid. Our distractions are back. Yeah. <laughs> They're chasing each other <clears throat> in my office. I love it. <laughs> I feel like Cure... Well, I guess we'll see. Feel like feels like he's forced to play from behind. Yeah, yeah. I don't see a third I CC. Don't, it, but it doesn't look like, if you look at the numbers, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, no, I don't see a third CC. And the way I see his army or his defense is positioned, it's very uh, defensively. Yeah, yeah, he is playing defensively. So I don't know if he just decides this is going to be a timing he, attack. He's, but. A, he's finding that there's a third on the way, so I think he'll just throw down his, his command. Well, he was going to throw down his command now anyway, so I guess he didn't really find it quickly enough. Yeah. I'm not sure. How, I mean, I like this position for creator at the end of the day. Yeah, it looks, it does look better for creator. I agree. That's just going to be there forever. Cool. Well, I guess you can, maybe you can get it with a cheeky turret. Yeah, that's what he's going to try. I like it. And it's dead. <gasps> what? What? <coughs> that's crazy. It's that's like some one crazy HP. shit. Yeah. Is there. Where's the third? Oh, there it is. Dude, those yeah, dead air first. spots I find so annoying, by the way. Just like sitting shit there. It's just yeah. annoying. You know, it's funny when people used to do this and you would hallucinate in Phoenix and get yeah. one shot yeah, to yeah, push yeah. it out. Yeah. Good you have times. to hold position at. <laughs> yep. They almost never do, too. Yeah. You got to just hope your opponent's a fucking dumb ape, uh, F2A move type guy, right? Yeah, the... Re the Raven just flies into your stalkers. Yeah. Fun times. <clears throat> so this push out from Cure is pretty serious. Yeah. He's going to get a good position with it. The units just are all getting pulled, so he actually he might have an opportunity to utilize that Raven right now as well. I mean, he sees everything. This is... Dude. This oh. position from Creator, though. Oh, oh I mean, my one God. One goes down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't see... That mine a... burrow is really good. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually I feel like no, that's not drop, what drop. I thought that was gonna quite look like. Like the position for Crater there looked so good, and then when Cure kind of stemmed and went forward, I was like, oh damn, that's actually like a lot of Terran shit there. But wow, that was uh, I feel like that I was just know. slightly unexpected <laughs> the way that that traded. I mean, yeah. I think I think if you're Cure, you don't really have a choice, right? Mm. Like you're not expecting the army to be there, but if if that's your the end of your push, then it feels kind of bad. And the yeah. Colossus are, are out in front. I mean, maybe you go for it and possibly win the game. But mm -hmm. also, if, if you lose there, you just lose the game. Yeah. I, don't, I don't see how Kier can really come back. His third hasn't even landed yet. He Certainly lost a ton not a of good army. position. Like, you basically have to play really passive the rest of this game. Or attack with a smaller army. Yeah. Well, Kier is... Uh, like, I feel like he's very good at taking engagements. So if he does play a little bit passively, sits in his little arc and stuff, I could see Creator being a little bit sloppy, right? One other thing, it feels like Creator's worker count is way lower than it should be. Like he's had this third forever. It's sixty-seven workers to sixty-two. Yeah, he like, didn't. He didn't lose uh, that many probes to, either to the um, to the Raven. Like he did lose a few, but it wasn't it wasn't substantial. He just stopped working, making probes. Ultimately. Yeah, I think so. Even with a fourth base on the way, he's not building probes even now. What probe count do you like in this matchup? Uh, it depends if you're going to be aggressive or defensive, but mm. either way, I like I like a lot of probes. Like yeah, yeah, we're I like mid seventies. Yeah, mid seventies like with a more defensive splash oriented approach. I like that personally. Yeah, especially if you're going to be really active because you can you can just do infinite warpins. Yes, so yeah. You build a ton of probes. You have a very sacrificial army, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, like a lot of those big blink DT builds and all that stuff, or not builds, but blink DT style late game PVT mm -hmm. requires a ton of uh, yeah. mining. So yeah. yeah. If you're going to play a heavy gateway style, I really like heavy heavy probe counts. Yeah. With the idea of trading. I mean, a lot of people will go into this like really high quality composition then just switch over. Like, yeah, charge a lot, DTs everywhere, some disruptors, blink stalkers, <laughs> you know? Just kind of that mobile, like easy to remax with force. 
He is adding a disruptor now. Yeah, especially if you have one max where maybe it's like a trade, and then you have a really sick follow-up warpin. I mean, yeah. it can be a big one-two punch. This is going to be pretty scary going up. This yeah, ramp. that's uh, he's got the double archon. That's a lot of charge lots. He needs to get those stalkers out of the way. Look at the stalkers block everything. Well, I guess it gives him time to get rid of that that wood of mine, which is good. Yeah, these colossus are really annoying. Mm. He's having a hard time though. He doesn't want to trigger the charge on that, that command center, you know. He's like trying to get that to cancel. I feel like that command center is actually saving Kira a hundred percent. You see him how he was micro yeah. that? Like he was just holding the zealots back the whole time. He's like, come on, cancel this, cancel this, cancel this. Because <laughs> if he attack moves there, too many of them are going to lock yeah. onto the command center and his engage well, is going to go to hell. Immediately. Yeah, yeah. I he, mean, there's just so many zealots and he has it ghosts. Is. I mean, I don't know how you break this. I don't know that you do, but you need your nice charge MP. to land correctly. Nice EMPs. Yeah. What? I mean, these felt kind of exposed. Yeah, these Vikings are going to pick off at least one, right? Like he's bringing his SCVs forward. Oh. SCV pull here is rough. I don't like the SCV pull. Yeah. Between Archon, Zot, and Colossus, like, you're losing a lot. 33 SCVs die. Yeah. He, I think, Cure has to counterattack here no matter I what. I think this is, that's the plan. Like, yeah. this is, uh... So he, he got rid of, like, basically all the splash. There is the Dark Shrine coming up, so it is kind of that idea that you had before. But, like, I think Cure just has to keep moving forward now. Yep. I think that's the plan too. That's the only reason why I could be pulling the SCVs. Yeah, yeah. If you're pulling the boys, it's like you're trying to, you're trying to. It feels get so the weird to pull the boys because it almost looked like his army was just better. Like he had the EMPs, he has the Vikings. I, it was really heavy zealots. It didn't seem like he was gonna die. But that's all that really matters. You don't pull the boys unless you're going to die. Well, I, in that I, situation where the Colossus and Archons, I mean, could he have pulled the boys so that he could attack? Because if you pull the boys, you're not going to lose, like, I mean, basically any bio. He was so you have pulling a big them army. into Archon Colossus. No, I know. Like, I know. It looked bad. It's not like you're pulling them into Charge Lot Stalker <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. pulling them into, like, two swipes, and that's it. All the workers mm -hmm. are gone. Yeah, it's it's a bit rough. He's down half of workers compared oh, to... Oh, I mean, uh, this is completely all in. And look, he's got one medevac. Or that's killing me. completely all in. Look at how wrecked his army is right now. It's so low health. Shit, dude, you yeah. could blink on top of that and kill <laughs> half of it in one volley, man. Shit's ever everything's red. <laughs> Metavacs are coming. Oh, he just doesn't have the worker count. 44 workers to 74. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Fifth and Nexus is going to be coming up, too. Yeah. I mean, every, every minute this game doesn't end, it's just Creator getting further ahead. So. Honestly, Creator just needs to make a prism. Honestly, Creator just needs a move. I don't, you doesn't even need to shoot the disruptor. Yeah, balls. maybe you're right. <laughs> but I'm just looking at this. I'm like, dude, if you send a prism anywhere, he can't do anything. Like, he just doesn't have enough. You warp in, like, fucking 10 zealots in the main base, he's just going to crumble. He's got a fourth CC. He just doesn't have. He, like, he wasn't building SCVs. I mean, he's at 47 SCVs. Yeah. Well, the main is dry. The natural's almost dry. 47 is okay for two mining bases, honestly. Right? Like, two, if you're just yeah. going to stay super aggro here and mine from two, two bases, mining bases, you're okay. Two isn't uh, adequate. It's not acceptable. No, I, I mean, it's not unless you're, like, literally out there killing shit right now. My God. Oh. Really good micro. That, Dude, yeah, that, that was, was insane. Sick. That was sick. Like, the army was so much smaller. Yeah. But <laughs> that was a really nice Dude, control. Disruptors, man. <laughs> disruptors are silly. Where the, Did the Vikings just die? Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't even see what happened to him, but I think they just got whittled down over here. Maybe he landed them during the battle. I think our eyes are trained not to look at shit that doesn't matter. I like, mean, the Vikings are... The only reason why I even mention it is because of War Prism. Mm. But... Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. I assume they just died. Pretty useless anyways, unless you can do something with the Prism. Yeah, it's really targeted. good upgrades, by the way. <laughs> look at that. Plus three almost done for Creator. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, gets a couple disruptor hits. Dude, disruptors are so fun. Kira's having a fun time. GG. Right now. Look at that, two Gs. <clears throat> Not as salty as dark. All the Gs. By the way, your mic is completely blocking my view. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, that's all you had to say, man. It's on a fucking mic arm. I can change it completely. Look at that. Now I can see the whole screen. Crazy. I'm sorry. It's okay. You see how I can do that? Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. This is the best mic arm. It's so good. I've had mic arms that just break after a couple months. This one's been alive for over a year. 
It's good. Good shit. good shit. I tried to buy it. It doesn't exist on Amazon. Yeah, this one's a little bit hard to get, actually. It's a little bit tricky. <clears throat> I still really don't get the SCV pool. I really don't get it. Like, I don't know. Because even defensively, defensively it sucks. You lose all your SCVs, you're still in a really bad spot if you hold that. Unless you completely crush it. Mm. In which case, it's like go time. You pull Maybe the boys if he had and you go. stayed and fought, right? Maybe that was the idea that he thought Creator thought he could stay and fight or something. But when yeah. Creator pulls out and saves every Zealot and fucking and all the all the SVs just die immediately to an Archon and some yeah. Colossi. I don't know. Oh well. All right, here we go. Creator bottom right. Here, Cure top, top left. left. What? The Viper underscore cheered. What's up, Big Viper? When I first heard the Light Fury theme, I couldn't shake the feeling that it sounds like Thai wedding music since it's where I grew up. So I was confused when I found out it's a Pokemon theme. Oh, wow. But I dug further. It turns out the composer was sitting in a Thai restaurant when she wrote this theme. So like whenever someone sends a Light Fury dance, I think of drunk Thai uncles <laughs> singing karaoke and it's honestly magic. That is amazing. I love that. Thank you for sharing, Vic Viper. I actually didn't know any of this about that music, but I do like that music. Makes sense, I guess, eh? Hmm. Like, a music feels like it takes inspiration. I, I feel like it's very difficult to compose something out of thin air, you know? it's, all, it's Something inspires you to compose. Right? Yeah, music. yeah. You're always influenced in some way or yeah. another. <laughs> Just so we know. Oh, shit. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Light Fury's shaking her butt at this probe scout. <coughs> it's funny, you got the Cybernetic score faster when he, there wasn't an eBay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he could have just built it, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it's funny because he built it anyways. He just built it later. Yeah. He built it before the Nexus last game. Well, he had so many minerals. <laughs> like, yeah, it was getting weird. silly. Maybe decisive on that stuff. Mm. It's very true. Damn, nice. Thank you, SK Min. Actually, I found that uh, was an important moment in my growth as a as a StarCraft player is having decisivity, like rules in certain situations. Rules. Yeah. Like. Um, Damn, Light Fury really going for it. Really going for it. All right. We'll, we'll pause some Tangia and play uh, play more afterwards. Thank you very much, SK Man. But yeah, yeah decisivity rules. Like, um, So for instance, uh, now this is a StarCraft 1 thing because obviously that's what I play a lot. Uh, but like if a Zella enters my base, I start a third depot. Because, you know, you start microing really heavily. And if you don't have that third depot, you get supply blocked. And suddenly it's like, well, fuck, I can't punish, you know, it's I'm just behind at that point. So Interesting. I've never thought of it like that. Yeah. Just having certain rules like that. <clears throat> you know, if, if certain things starts going wrong, do this. Right. Like you probably have something like that. Like there's probably certain situations you see yeah, something are, like in just, a ZBZ um, and you throw a spine down. They're right? just um, instinctual. I don't have like a rigid thing. It's more of a, I feel something's off or I feel... Like this, like for example, de decisiveness to me is like, uh, for example, when I'm looking at taking a fight, I'm mm -hmm. very decisive. Even if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. I'm making the strategic uh, call that I'm probably right here. It feels like I'm right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that makes sense. Like you need to be. It's you can't take things half-assed. But like for instance, today I saw you. Uh, some yeah. lings were made, and you made a, a spine very quickly. Right. That's the same type of thing I'm talking about. Where, like, probably every time you open with that build and you see Lings at that time, you probably make a spine. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's the... I mean, it sounds very simple, but until you play a lot of StarCraft, I think, uh, you can then look at it and be like, oh, see, like, this is, like, a rule that I have that I react in this way. Yeah, I just don't uh, verbalize or, like... Yeah. 
actualize the rule. Well, see, I'm a I'm a macro Terran player, so I'm just a bit more cognitive than you. Yeah, you just write it down on a piece of paper, and you're like, huh, yep. I'll remember that later. Exactly. Or a whiteboard. Yep, those two. Put it in a note in my phone. Mm -hmm. When I'm on the toilet, instead of watching TikTok, I read my notes. Somehow you're not just the best Terran player in the world. It's crazy. Not yet. Oh, yet. You ever think it's time to hang up the, the mouse and keyboard? Like you've you've achieved enough and you've no never no how would I achieve enough I haven't won any ASLs so you have to win an ASL to achieve enough well once you win one you got to win more than one gotcha that makes sense yeah. so just no is the answer then no is the solid answer to that all right <laughs> look at this attack here from Cure Man this is hard to deal with this reminds me of some of Ty's old attacks that he did against Stargate openers. Yeah. Like, that's that's tough to break when you have flying units. But then an immortal comes out, and you're like, ah. <laughs> yeah, and also, this is one of those armies that if you engage, you lose everything, because the yeah. Phoenixes are going are gonna to clear the uh, medevac, mm -hmm. Viking. I mean, you're going to get picked up. The second one's going to get picked up. You're just going to have nothing if yeah. you actually fight that. Very good pullback. Like, forcing an immortal there and then pulling back, I think that's really solid. Yeah. But, you know, the third nexus is there, so... Creator shouldn't feel bad about this position, I think. Like, maybe he was forced into more of these shitty ground units than he wanted that don't scale as well, but... Well, the another attack is coming across. Three Cyclones, right? Yep. Yeah, I mean, he's got a Raven. He's got a really decent Marine count. I mean... Yeah. I mean, that's... <clears throat> it can be scary. Yeah, it's reasonable. That's kind of a scary army a little bit. I saw Super all in either. He's taking his third behind it. Yeah. If this, the only thing again I'm, I'm afraid of is, if this fails, he loses <coughs> everything. So, I think I think he has an opportunity to poke, and because of the auto turrets, uh, he has one opportunity to turn around as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, see the auto turret goes. Oh wow, he popped that auto turret immediately. That was the quickest auto turret kill I think I've ever seen. And another auto turret goes down. No, with the overcharge, yeah. Yeah. Shit. I mean, this is where yeah, where yeah, I. Was, yeah feeling this is going to be scary I, I now. thought the auto turrets might do slightly better there but no the like the immortal just punked everything like i said if you just if you lose this fight you just lose period mm -hmm. well you don't lose the game but you'll lose your like a majority of your army yeah it's really hard to retreat against these phoenixes dude that's rough that's rough that medevac death is especially painful these leggings too i mean he might just lose here because the these these um what are they called marauders can be picked up these two mines might be saving grace but Oh, the mines get picked up. This might be it. Might not. Even if he gets the cancel on this, this would be massive. He doesn't. <laughs> well, you, you, yeah. The boys. The boys, the boys <laughs> need to come. This is good. Actually, like boys are good here. <laughs> yeah. The, like, Very unlike this the previous This is where game. I like the boys being Notice pulled. how there's no Archons and no <laughs> Colossi. No Colossi, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The boys do much better right there. Oh, well, that was good. <laughs> there's a Colossus on the map. I like it. Oh, this would be huge. Okay. Yeah, nice catch. Nice catch. Like how he's slowing yeah, down he the front stalkers. Too. Yeah, this I is I actually good. didn't notice he had concussive till just then. Well, I think we're in a pretty even spot now. Let's take a look. 68, 59 workers right now. More army supply by 50% Why is 50 there so many here? SCVs at the third? Does, does that even make any sense? Yeah, it does look heavy. SCVs? It's, it's because they got pulled from the natural. Yeah. So. And then he just sent him back to the third. It was probably just a quick thing. He'll probably, he'll fix it. Yeah, see, he just sent yeah. him back to the Nat. I'm Here sure he was just like jumping around quickly. So annoying. Yeah, I Too think you're, you're right. It looks like kind of, kind of close. I actually like Kira's position a bit more, I think. Really? What about you? Yeah, I, I feel like Kira's position, position is a bit better. Uh, oh. His worker count is perfect. He's super mobile. The army is not a full composition for creator. Right? Yeah. Like, oh, that mine's actually getting through is huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's alts with no charge or anything yet. Like, that's so painful. So yeah, this is, there's nothing here. This is, like, I've seen this type of position more often in uh, Zerg versus uh, Protoss versus Zerg than this Protoss versus Terran. But, though, right here. Oh, yeah. the, well, maybe with the Colossus. But, like, his defense, even though it was a very good defense, he, you basically, he made, like, the A team, you know? He made the all stars. He's like, yeah, we have four phoenixes, and we have three stalkers and an immortal, and like 
uh, you know, for fucking, you know, whatever. <laughs> so he just had like this smattering of defensive units that held it, but like nothing holds them together. So his comp is way off. He doesn't have the right upgrades, right? His build's not optimized. It was like a very defensive Dude, look at this play. Colossus. Yeah. Just invincible. Dude, he's I, like, pretty chadly. The swing back now, especially if he kills all the medevacs, that would be massive. Yeah, medevac kills here are big. You want to get rid of those long-term units, I think. I... I mean, there's so much, too. It's another swing. Two Colossi, though. You got to save those two Colossi. If these Colossi They died, need game. to live. Okay. Well, he finally has charge. I think... I mean, I think Kira's in a good, really good spot here. <coughs> the only thing I like for Creator is he's got a, an upgrade advantage, and he's got a decent tech. I mean... All the phoenixes are still alive, which is really nice to stop counter uh, drops and possibly get some out of X. But I mean, there's un it's undoubtedly a bad spot for Cure mm -hmm. or Creator. Sorry, <clears throat> no fourth base, fourth CC on the way. I mean, he's already got ghosts. That's going to be really nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Cure's just going to finish this out, and we're going to go to game three. Like it'll take a few minutes, but just uh, we're in this position where the spies are getting a lot higher, and you look at this army, and it's just not. It's not this is an army from three minutes ago. You know, yeah. three minutes ago, the army of creator makes sense. And right now it doesn't. He's wild. He's out here. It's crazy. Yeah. Three Colossi, I think he's though, trying to no make AA. something happen. Three Colossi, no AA, maybe? He does better than I thought he would there. <laughs> but yeah, long term, like you can't keep doing that either. He's on three base. He can't keep spending his whole gateway army doing that, you know? Um, he has to like rock it one time and then we might have a game on our hands. Yeah. The only player that can continually lose all their gateway units non-stop throughout the game and win is Patience, and he's retired, so. Yeah. I miss Patience. He was a really fun guy, too. He, he had a funny style, man. He just, just retained his Rebel units. That was literally the entirety of his play. My favorite Patience moment is when he had uh, the same amount of Stalkers as his opponent, and he had Blink, and he lost. That's a fun moment. Yeah, that was a great moment. His opponent didn't have blink, and he did have blink, and he could not do it. I don't even it. know how that's possible. I know. It happened in SSL. It was amazing. Theoretically, he should just be able to A-move and at least be 50-50, so... Yeah. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Dude, it's a real moment. It's a real moment. If you go back and look at uh, the um, SSL VODs, 2015. I mean, it doesn't surprise me. Yeah. No, patience really was patience. something else. <laughs> You know what's the best part? Like he would just win crazy games where he should never win. Too. Absolutely, absolutely. No, he he. I studied him a lot, man. He was, it was fascinating. I was like, how does he ever win? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, no. oh man. Oh, and that one also connects. <coughs> I mean, at this point, if you're a creator, why even take a fourth? Like, just go for the no. death ball. Yeah, yeah, and he that fucking mine hit there on the army. My yeah, God, that's man, brutal. dude. His army is just garbagey. It is garbagey. It's also down an upgrade. Dude, he. That must have been a double cloaked observer. He both EMP'd it and scanned it. Double cloaked. Double invisibility. How many Vikings? I mean, he's pumping them out four at a time. I don't see this army. Dude, he has a lot. He has a lot of phoenixes. <clears throat> Not enough. No, he doesn't have enough of anything. He could literally... That well, is a lot of Phoenixes, though. There's a lot yeah. more than I was expecting. He's still building them, too. No, he has a lot. Dude, look at this army. The Phoenixes are only here to tank uh, care of the Colossi. He has so many Zealots. If he had the right surface area, if that turret wasn't there, like, he needs to He needs. <laughs> I to like these turrets, these. by the way. Dude, they're really good. They are really good. They're they feel, really good. They he, feel so annoying. He needs the charge not to be utilized on something like that. That is, This is the big thing. Is like, he needs all of his Zealots to charge in and get connections. Yeah. Like, this, he, oh. here he goes. Here he goes. I mean, this, this Terran army, <coughs> it doesn't have that many places to go, but the EMPs hit everything. Yeah, the EMPs were absurd. Ah. Uh, okay, now he turns. He has another charge. There he goes. Goes up again. Dude, the Viking count's insane. The Viking count <laughs> is insane. <laughs> you know, if he, uh, I guess if he had Storm, he'd get EMP'd still, but... 24 workers go down. Is there a world where this wins? No. No. <laughs> probably, no. Probably not. 24 workers. He's actually still ahead, even after <coughs> losing 24. Yeah. Yeah. Brutal. It's a nice game by Kier. 
It, it was all. It all came down to that fourth base. There was that one fight on the fourth base where the snowball started going in favor of Kier, and he lost his fourth. Mm. And then it was never. He never really recovered from that position. Yeah, yeah. You can't make the A team and and sack it across the map. The, when you make these like super defensive comps, like I, this is actually I've seen it so many times in specifically Protoss for Zerg. Like you know these <laughs> games where. Protoss is defending and Zerg is playing like out of their mind and like it'll be like phoenixes and disruptors and like an archon and like it'll be this army that just defends everything Zerg throws but then you don't have an army that can do anything mm -hmm. that's what we saw there because he he defended that really kind of weird push from Kira with the three cyclones and you know the raven and the marines but then his army is just like this army is not valuable right like this is just a smattering of weird units there used to be this guy called Boki. You know Boki? No. He was an NA player, and he had something called the Boki build. The Boki build? Yeah. He made one of every unit and attacked you. Imagine countering everything. You can't do it. He was great. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it was Buki. I think it was Boki, though. Oops. It was a long time ago, dude. This was, this was back, like, when the game very first came out. Good times. <clears throat> Did No Regret really travel all the way to New Brunswick? Uh, well, beyond there, man, I live in PEI, so. And I drove. I yeah. drove all the way from Ontario. Yeah. Well, your car really drives you, though, right? It does. Like, it's like an auto driving car. But still, on the highway. <clears throat> it it's a long drive. Yeah, it's 18 Respect. hours. <clears throat> Dude, I didn't think you were going to get in when you did. You drove fucking far that last day. Holy shit. Yep. My wife was actually telling me, she's like, text Jake. Tell him if he needs a hotel, we can help him find one. <laughs> I don't want him crashing because he gets tired. I refuse. Yeah, you got here at like 2 a.m. So she was like, she was worried, man, that you were going to be super tired. I did drive across the bridge. Can't wait to pay 50 bucks to get Dude, out of this place. Dude, the bridge, man. The fucking bridge. Hell yeah. We love the bridge. See that? Look at that beautiful bridge. Look at that fucking bridge. You drove over that. I was did. it was it heavenly? Yep. Was it like the best experience of the whole trip? Uh yes. Did it feel like the longest partially ice covered bridge in the whole world? It did. Oh yeah, it did. I fucking knew it. Love the bridge. Love the bridge. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Let me uh let me play these real quick yeah, before good. we go and for the the games just got our life for a reason. <laughs> Panda Rate Games just resubscribed for four months. Thank you. Big penis. Nice. Thank you, Panda Rate. <laughs> Very good. Very so good, my man. Just subscribed. Thank you guys. Thank you for the subs. Appreciate it. Make sure you follow the channel. I cast this every week. Imagine begging for followers. Artosis, the Neanderthal <laughs> tries to reinvent the wheel. <coughs> his Neanderthal friends enjoy using conventional wheels to navigate the jungle. Damn. Damn. Strikes home, legendary Frank. All right. So what do we have going on here? Some nothing. Factory opener. Yeah, oh, nothing. actually, we have nothing something. too crazy yet. Can see it? Nope. Dude, I love those Excel zones, by the way. Yeah, he sees it. Oh, wrecked. That's brutal. Yeah, that sucks. <coughs> What's the plan here? The fact that he didn't immediately cancel it is shocking. Fuck yeah. That's what the Reaper's doing after finding that proxy gate. Do you think it's always better to cancel, or should you keep it sometimes? Uh, you can keep it sometimes for sure, but... Well, I, let's say it's I game like three here. Do you keep it, or do you, do I you think, back out? I almost think you keep it, but you don't use it that much. Like, you try to be uncommitted. The fact, actually, the fact that he's canceled at the natural is really nice. Oh, you mean, like, slow it down a yeah. little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's not canceled, but... But the it. double cyclone, I feel like, is just going to wreck everything. Yep. Like it, He's going to go mean, over there and kill the gate. Now you might cancel it. <laughs> I think yeah. I would cancel it. Oh, it's already up. Never mind. Yeah, what, what is it going to do now? 
Nothing. I think it's probably a mistake, but I could see it where it's like you want a double mind game. Like you let it finish or whatever, and maybe you don't utilize it that mm, much. Okay. But it's probably a mistake to let it finish, especially considering what we have here. Yeah, that's rough. Nice. Damn, how does that work? It's unpowered. What do you mean? Well, the, the fact that it froze in there and there, the light is frozen as well. That's what oh, I mean. True. How does light freeze, man? When coldness isn't even real. That's true. Chat, he believes cold exists, but really, cold is just a lack of heat. Therefore, cold doesn't exist. Chat knows I'm right. Chat does not. They know I'm right. I don't think chat knows that at all. Yes, and that's it. That, it was that's cold it. outside. He doesn't today believe it. He doesn't think it was. It's crazy. He does not believe what I'm saying. Also, he doesn't believe heat pumps take heat out of the air. Yeah, it's cold outside, outside, and they get heat from the cold. That's really sick, Jake. That's really how it smart. works. That's how Fucking heat pump works. High IQ. We watched the video. You agreed everybody. with it. Remember. Look, that guy was charming. He he had me. He had me fooled. Dude, the light is still stuck. <laughs> Guess it must be a big lack of heat there for the light to be frozen. Listen, I'm not even trying to understand Protoss uh, technology. <laughs> All right, mine drop coming in. Of course, the heat pump things are correct. I will literally do HVAC on the side. It's got to believe me. Oof. Dude, it is agreed by theoretical physicists that because existence is based on human interpretation, the absence of a thing is as worthy as the presence of that thing to claim existence. Correct. I don't even know what he's saying. That doesn't sound right to me. Again. <laughs> is that your defense? <clears throat> a lack of Your world is crumbling, Where did Jake. you even read that? It's fucking Tungar typed it, man. Who? Tungar. You don't know Tungar? No. Does he, is he Dude. a PhD or something? Yeah, man. Yeah. He's a fucking... He's, teaches at harvard damn and he believes in the lack of something existing and being a thing. well he knows it he knows it wet doesn't exist because water isn't wet <laughs> what yeah that's true by your, by your uh ideas water isn't wet that's not true all right Dude, it's time to repower this good boy. catches good catches Dude, if he just puts a pile on there that's time. <laughs> he uses yeah. it. That would be pretty sick, actually. You use the warp prism. Well, that's silly. <laughs> Extra gateway. That's no. That's silly. You can't do that. Well, you could do it. Would it be worth? Probably Don't not. Think so. Night doesn't exist because it's always day on the sun. True. <laughs> the night is just a lack of sun. <coughs> so. You are right. All right. Uh, I mean, he's got his third Nexus up. The third command center is almost done. I don't feel like the tech hey, of creator is super good. He did power it up. Yeah, he did power it up again. He unfroze the light. No. Uh, the point of the heat thing is the fact that you can't create cold. That's the point. Yeah, of course you can, man. You turn you, a fan you, on. You cannot create cold. You're just removing heat. Okay, I'm going to put some ice into your hand, and we'll see how long you hold it for. That's not creating cold. That's not creating cold. Okay. The ice didn't... Well, the ice creates cold on your hand, but the fridge or the freezer creates the ice. And the freezer creates the ice by taking the heat out of the freezer and putting it elsewhere. This guy and his fucking magic ideas. Listen, Harry Potter. That's just how it works, man. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> I'm surprised chat doesn't know this. You guys are dumb. Dude, Dumber if chat knew it would even be less true. <laughs> the fact that they don't know it, yeah. Yeah, that actually helps your claim. Mine drop's not really doing that much. Creator okay on the probe count. I do HVAC as well. It's actually true. Thank you, my fellow HVACer. Let's educate these Do you fools. also make a swarm host when you're winning? Hmm. No, I don't. But if I did, I'd kill it. Oh, my goodness. Dude, that's that a big catch right catch. there. That's a big catch. He literally didn't lose a single thing. 
Is oh. Kira going to save us from mass PVPs? He might. He might, but then we saw Zealots warping in the main. <laughs> We've got a game on our hands. Yeah, still. we do. Oh, did you catch his army? That's okay. We just made another one in your base. Yeah. Are we going to clear it? Oh. Yeah, it'll get cleared. Like, he still has the prism, though. No? He didn't move the prism ah. at all? Dude. Not the Colossus. He can't lose it. Oof. Okay. Nice that he didn't lose it. That a lot of mine hits this game. How is that prism still just fucking sitting there like that? What are we doing, creator? Nothing shoots up. Oh, he saved it. Was it worth the prism? No. God. Dude, when I see something like that, it's <laughs> like... Seriously, that should happen to you one time ever. <laughs> that raven got f 2 And then it figured, well, I guess I'll drop a turret. Yeah. Oh, this is a great opportunity. Scrappy game. I, I, is Crater thinking about moving out right now? Because that's wild if he is. He can't attack right now. He's going to like intercept this counter. Yeah, I think that's all right. Yeah, but he doesn't know. Like, just get into a good position. But anyway. just gifted Ooh. Ooh. Gonna, you are the man. Recall. I like the recall. W -W Thank you. Get out. Run. Kick the. Yeah, I take that. That's good. Take it. All right. Do we get out now? Well, he's going to lose his fourth, right? Probes just got sent there, and he's got an army hitting there while there's this like army no, got recalled. There's no anti-air here. GG. Cure <laughs> moves on. All right. All right. So that means we have Cure versus Hero next, right? I do believe. Yes. Yep. That should be... <coughs> Cure versus Hero. Worldwide so we're here. Just subscribe. And winner against Max Pax in the finals there. <coughs> Excuse me. It should be interesting. I feel like Hero is much better, a much better matchup. But we'll see. For like, I, I think Hero is a very Tongue strong Protoss PVT. So we'll sure. Yeah. X three hundred hot and cold do not refer to absolute temperatures of any kind, but to relative human experiences and the temperature differential. Cold is essentially just a lower temperature than our body, even though it's technically the absence of heat. The relative temperature difference creates the sensation of coldness. While cold is indeed the absence of heat <laughs> in a thermodynamic sense, this doesn't negate its existence as a concept. Sure. So what I just heard there is I'm right. Silent mm. underscore mercy just. I actually subscribe. heard that I was right. Thank you, Silent Mercy. Unless you're a simple human. <laughs> a simple human. I am but a simple human. Norigret, the Neanderthal, tries to explain to his friend, Neanderthal Artosis, <laughs> that hot and cold is a concept, and not what he thinks it is inside their cave residence. <coughs> I would like to see that picture, but looks great. You can't see it? Yep. I can send it to you. We save all these in the Discord. Do we? Yeah. It's beautiful artwork. You can't let it go away. Listen, if you're not thinking in terms of thermodynamics, then what's the point? What's the point? Yeah. Are you literally all day thinking in terms of <clears throat> thermodynamics? Yeah, I don't like to confine myself by the ideals of humans. That's why time also doesn't exist. Mm. It's just entropy. Entropy. Yeah. No, dude, it's time. Time doesn't exist. Time does exist. It does not. It only exists because we think it exists. I'm not going to let Tara say happy birthday to you on Facebook if you don't think time exists. <laughs> <laughs> I think time exists for us. Time definitely exists, my man. Also, yeah, it is relative. What? Guy in the chat donated $3.33. Hot and cold refer to the difference of temperature between my left nut and my right nut. Got him. Got him. Ooh, it seems like chat is conflicted on this one. What? Chat really did believe cold exists, but chat seems to be conflicted on time. Time exists, my man. <laughs> I don't, I don't it's know. It's one of the dimensions. <laughs> Prove that time exists, man. Look at your fucking watch, bro. Watch yourself get older. Entropy. So explain entropy to me. You know what entropy is? No, explain it to me. 
Entropy is, uh, what, the constant uh, progress to a stable equilibrium for your whatever. Like your matter, right? Matter wants to get to a state of, like, constant... I don't know how to explain it. How do, yeah, I, how okay. do I explain it? It's it's just time doesn't exist. It's only entropy. What's entropy? Jake? Google entropy. He's like, I don't know. Google <laughs> it. Fuck. Google it. Ah. I'm I'm not here to. I saw it in teach a TikTok. <laughs> Actually, it's not. Uh, tell Jake to watch some Kirk Kazat. I love Kirk Kazat. That's where where I think I think he goes over it actually really well. Time is definitely um, relative, right? One hundred percent. Everything's relative. relative, my man. Anyways, time time doesn't exist. It's fine. But you can't explain it to me at all. I Actually, <laughs> that video is really good. We should watch that. We yeah. should watch that on stream. It's a really good video. Uh, uh, yeah, well, yeah, maybe uh, tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yoko Shinobu ni. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one that Mark was talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yoko Shinobu ni. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hiromoji hi ui wa. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Nice. Excellent. Thank you. All right. We got Hero vs. Cure semifinals. Winner goes against Max Pax in that finals. Long tournament today. Yeah. It's a very long tournament today. Ooh. What is this? This is Cure Cheesin', I guess, right? I guess. Like, I mean, if you're going to do that, you're proxying something. <laughs> no, you're definitely proxying. By the way, how do you say <clears throat> this map name? What is it called? I'll... Alkion? 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 Yeah. yeah Alkion. Everyone says it so different. What kind of proxy do we have? Is this proxy reaper? Uh, Well, it's two racks proxy reaper. But it could be, like, maybe he wants to do, like, you could do, like, uh, the Marauder one. Marauder one's good, but this position doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't. One. It doesn't, but it's, like, kind of well hidden, I guess. Like, yeah, I mean that's it's definitely well. The hidden. thing is, that if you just make a wall there against a reaper, the reaper build isn't very good. I would like to see Marauder. I would like to see. <laughs> it. I think it's going to be Marauder because the second SCV can get through the mineral patches. Yeah, I mean well, that's true. We'll see. I mean, it, it is kind of nice if it is Marauder because it's basically never scouted. Like, yeah, you, you almost never go down here, and even yeah. if you wanted to, I think it will be. I think it will be. Yeah. Oh, there it is. That's nice. I like the Marauder. I, I just don't I just don't like the positioning, but we'll see. Well, I think the positioning is like just so it does not get like, scouted. Like why not build the deeper down here? What mm -hmm. is this, what else is this? Yeah, you have that do? SCV, you may yeah. as well. Like And he builds it with the one with the mineral patch. What a smart guy. Yeah, dude. He's so fucking smart. high IQ. Imagine if he's just building it with the one without <coughs> it, and he's like, well, I guess I can't attack until it's done building the spider bill. It would have been done anyway, so it doesn't matter, but... Is it time for a double bunk? No. But no reason. I like double bunks. Like, honestly, the Marauders alone just kill this base. Like, you don't even have to have a bunker. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. <coughs> Dude, okay, so I've talked about this a thousand times. You have to pull more probes than you think against this. Of course, yeah. And it's like you ha literally. I think he needs to pull eight probes. Nice he needs to pull he's eight gonna probes. A, he's gonna have an overcharge. Yeah, he's gonna have an overcharge, but that's that isn't enough loan. You need eight probes here. Let's see. You watch. He's gonna pull less than eight and Whoa, lose the game. Oh, crazy! This guy's crazy. Look at this. Bro, this is when we pull the boys. We get all the boys out here. You no. <laughs> we don't <laughs> I mean, pull the boys. Listen, that's crazy. if you don't kill them here, you lose. So you might as well. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Five Marauders. Where's your eight probes? Eight probes, bro. One stalker goes down immediately. He doesn't have a... One, does he two. not have it? Dude, he has six fucking workers Why? Fighting. Why wouldn't he have a battery? Oh, there it is. Oh, gross. Literally invincible. Oh, that is a little bit gross. My goodness. This hey, is instead of losing, I think I'll win. And Kira's like, oh, sorry, man. Yeah, you're right. 
Of course. You know what would be sick right now? That was like actually really poorly done. 12 in the SCVs. You really want those boys pulled, huh? The game would be over if the boys Dude, this is crazy, man. The shield battery is a good defensive structure. Holy shit. You don't say. Dude, but, like, sometimes you feel it and sometimes you don't. I really felt it that time. I feel it every time, so <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you always attack with tiny amounts of units, but, like, the fact that four marauders with concussive shells couldn't kill a single stalker is insane. Is this still somehow scary? I feel like Hero is not respecting as much as he should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he keeps pulling these little amounts of probes. I'm, like, so serious. It, like, when I say it's more probes than you think, I'm talking about every pro gamer, because every pro gamer doesn't pull enough probes against this shit. Like, oh. if you just crush it, you win. Yeah. You know? So just fucking crush it. It's like, no, I need two more probes mining on my minerals because that's going to afford me my third nexus. No, don't even think about that. Just fucking crush the rush, and your opponent has nothing at home. You win the game. It's like, but I would rather uh, go out here. I don't know about this. Hello? Two. Every stalker's dead now, for Seriously. sure. Well, at least two. I mean, if one of those concussive shells hit one of those stalkers, it would have been another one. Well, it... Now, now, this is this is superhero favorite. I think See, he's getting stim. Fuck yeah, <laughs> let's go. He's building marines out of those, dude. Yeah, they have higher DPS. Let's go. Okay, I think the boys should still come, still, because the game is over if this game continues. So why not yeah. pull them? They should have been pulled like ten minutes ago. So he's making a command center. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure about that one. By the way, if Stim and Combat go down, this game is over too, so. Dude, it, it, everything here is so bad. <laughs> I like how Kier just barely every time is having enough. Yeah, I don't think he has enough anymore, though. I think Kier leaves, so I think. Yeah, there's no reason to stay in this game. Especially if he, if he goes to clear the uh, Stim and Combat. Yeah. Stim, Stim should finish. Yeah, it should. Yeah. I'm surprised either. he's just being careful. If you walk down there and there's two marauders already out, maybe you fuck up and maybe get in trouble. Or you get combat shields. Do you need to get it though? Like, I mean, obviously it's nice too. But... <laughs> what, what do you mean? Do you need to get it? I guess he doesn't need to get it. Yeah. But why not? Yeah. It's not like, oh, if I don't get combat shields, I lose. You know. He just wanted those extra three stalkers. Yeah, but imagine if he got stim and combat shields there. It would have just been GG. I don't think he yeah. gets stim ever, but yeah. still. <clears throat> I see those. I'm going for it. I don't care. Because mm -hmm. I think that's just game over. <laughs> and it's not game over if you lose your stalkers there. Mm -hmm. So. Well, I mean, crazy shit can happen, though. If your stalker count gets yeah, too low. you've got a battery. Super battery. You'll be fine. Hmm. So, if Kier somehow wins this game, I'll be impressed. I yeah. mean, he, he's somehow made a game of it, but I, I, <coughs> I mean, I just don't see it. He's down in workers, down in army, and also, I mean, down in pretty much every other way you possibly could be. It's funny how even the trades are, actually. The trade number? Yeah, but that's horrible for uh, Kier. But yeah. yeah it, it, well, it is because he doesn't have a base. But. It is funny that Kier... It, actually, the whole, the whole uh, dynamic between them in the beginning of the game was funny. I cannot believe how little Hero respected it. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> did we even see any probes pulled at a, at a single yeah, point? Yeah, he pulled he pulled six probes one time, and they did so little. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. And then and then we never saw probes pulled again. Yeah, yeah. And he lost a ton of stalkers. He did lose a ton of stalkers. It was unnecessary. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe a cool drop gets him. That might be it. Mm, hard to imagine. It's hard to imagine, but it might. You never know. Like, I mean, you unload and then they just kind of pull the probes and send their army, right? Like, Colossi, charge. From the depot. Oh, dude, now he's fucked. That's fucked up. That's almost BM. Nice scan. This is pretty nice, actually. Yeah, no, that's good. Oh, okay. that's a... This Quite isn't... A what? He's like, uh, this charge lot will get them. <laughs> Doesn't have blink, right? Dear hero, I am your biggest uh -oh. fan. I would like to know, when someone drops two medivacs of stim bio into my natural, I'm not sure 
how to clear it. Any help would be appreciated. Dear fan, send over three guardian shields with a cell on and they will pick up and run because you are a GSL champion. Are you doing your own like TTS thing here or what? That was the TTS, that wasn't me. Oh, okay. That was a good TTS. Yeah. Finally, we have a good one. I cannot believe he has 100 supply from the beginning of this game. I know, right? <laughs> at nine minutes. It's pretty 47 impressive. 47 against 57 workers? It's not bad. It's not bad. That's not bad. Like, you're supposed to right now be up in army supply against Protoss. So, like, obviously he's still behind, but it's not it's know, not wretched like I thought it would be. You know? Nine minutes having 100 supply after the beginning of the game is pretty crazy. Yeah. That's no, he's done well to recover, really. And look, I mean, that's a, that's a good high quality move right there. That's a scary army. It definitely is. You have to respect it. <coughs> He's coming out on the map, too. This is basically best case scenario for Kira V. Oh, the only, I guess, kind of unfortunate thing is... He doesn't even have sentries. Oh, he does. Never mind. Yeah, sentries are going to be kind of annoying. Mm. Only one Viking, too. I don't know about that. <laughs> the Viking was an anti-prison Viking. It's fine. <laughs> and it's dead, so... Yeah, it doesn't matter. That's a lot of bio. It just has nothing to do with dealing mm. with Colossus. So yeah, well, what are we doing here? Yeah, there's too many charge lots in there. Like also sentries. They just yeah. Ooh. Cut an army half. Ooh. I He's like that. opening up a possibility for himself here. This is a good move, dude. He has some. He has some units here. Okay, now hero should be like, wait, where are you? And so he should get into a better position now. Okay, he chases him away from there. Hold on. Hold. Hold on. Go go dude, this him. is a little bit scary. Uh, oh, just barely. Just barely late, dude. Uh, oh, that was so close to an amazing These are move. literally stuck here, no? Are the stalkers coming through the other side? You just recall them. <laughs> this is the juiciest uh, Medivacs being here is awesome. You should have stalkers on both sides. Dude. I don't know why he doesn't. I would put a Stargate down right now. I, I would, too. <laughs> I really actually would. If you kill those, it's done. <laughs> the game is done. You can't lose 40 supply right now <laughs> to one Phoenix. Jesus. I mean, they could just leave. They're just not right now. Yeah, it's weird. He assumes there's units on the right. There's not. He could kind literally of, kill the Nexus. It's kind of a shit escape route now that I think about it. Because you basically have to boost across that Nexus. So yeah. Even even though he can escape, it's okay. still not great. This is how he's going to get him out. This is going to be the diversion that allows it. Look, and then he drops here. Wait. I Did Hero think that he left? No, he saw them. So he just left nothing here? Oh, there it is. Ah, that defends for sure. Especially with the super battery. Dude, overcharge is crazy. Look at this. He comes up with mines and a flank of marauders. <laughs> He's got liberators here? Actually, Dude, yeah. what am I even looking at? <laughs> I don't know. How is Cure doing this? That was a lot better than I thought it would be. I thought Cure was going to get swept i mean yeah still kind of gets swept but he's like back to my safe space <laughs> all right hero <laughs> does end up winning like honestly cure pulled together so much more of a game than i thought he would once the two proxy yeah. marauder didn't work i wouldn't have faulted him for leaving at that point yeah 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 so. it, it's totally fine to leave the game there i think nice play by him damn <clears throat> impressive impressive you looking up entropy right now my man no <laughs> Sensei underscore. No, I swear. Just I just remembered what it was after looking at my Wait, phone. You don't know what you don't know what entropy is. Explain it, dude. I'm not the one arguing that time doesn't exist and it's just entropy. You gotta watch that video. I don't. I actually don't remember the conclusion of that video that Mappa was talking about. Well, it's probably that time exists. I think it was that time exists. Yeah. So my opinion is against that Kirk Kirk Skazat video, but. <coughs> entropy now and what happens to your brain cells when you watch starcraft 2 dude someone in the chat's named bona lisa jesus so bad <laughs> god oh. <coughs> We 
go. We got Hero in the bottom right of Ocean Barn. In the top left, we're going to have Cure. Is it time to cheese again? No. That SUV's leaving awfully early. You think it's an eBay block? No, I think it's a cheese, but I don't think it's time to cheese. <laughs> yeah, it is. This time we pull the boys. He doesn't respect us. We do it again, and we pull the boys this Dude, time. It's lunchtime. Kira wants to either win this fucking money or go eat lunch. Yeah. Honestly, I would love to see him pull the boys because he really did not respect it, and it would have been the, the difference. Mm. Boys in that situation are actually really, really good. Dude, I don't know. Like They're good. Trust mm, me. How many boys? Uh... Well, you start with two. Yeah. I don't know. I, I pull like five. Seven, really? Seven SUVs plus two Marauders is really Jesus. nice. Also, you can keep producing on your Marauders. Yeah, well, I mean, you have to leave enough to produce some Marauders, but like, I don't know. It's, like it's it. kind of crazy. I mean, and, you're so all in. It feels like if you're, as long as you're continuing to produce Marauders, what's the point in not pulling them? Are you going, for, like, I mean, you kind of have a follow-up, but I yeah. mean, what's the point? Yeah, there is some middle area where the game goes on. Yeah, like the last game, but you're playing from behind, it feels like. That time you were, but if he had done a little bit more but damage, even that maybe, game, right? If he kills, like, three well, more probes, maybe he's That couldn't have been even. any better for him. Like, Hero basically didn't respect it at all. Build a single well, shield battery the after overcharge Sky. really Actually, fucked did him. The underscore jam if he had Hero, walked did away Hero with overcharge, this game? I didn't scout this game. Listen to Jop. What? He knows a lot about Hero didn't boys. scout this game. Last game he scouted it. Oh. Like he scouted the fact that there was no racks in the wall. Oh, you're right. You're right. <sighs> He's going to see it. He's got to go down that ramp. Nope. I believe him. No way. Nope, dude. Nope. He's going down that ramp. No way. Really? He doesn't give a shit. No respect, man. <clears throat> That's kind of surprising because if you proxy two racks, you're not proxying it at the third base there. Like, <laughs> what are you looking for exactly? Mm. To me, you go down that ramp for sure, no? Well, where else are they proxy? That is, that is the meta of where to proxy shit, right? Is like, wherever is the normal place to scout, you want to put it just outside there. So currently, the normal place to scout is in that third, and so he pulled it back further. I think the only time you don't it's pull just a meta it's just completely a meta thing because if everyone scouted down to there you'd put it, pull it back to the fourth well, what are you looking for, who proxies two racks is at the third is that normal well yeah at some point it was but yeah it's just that's just how the meta works of that I was gonna say the only time you don't pull the boys is if uh if they give up their nat I think well he's going uh bunker this time so like very it. very different now there's the boys. Oh, look at that. He's pulling nine boys. That's yes. what I want to see. That's how you hold this shit. I still think, uh, I, I'm actually, I'm not sure how I like the adepts because the adepts don't get wrecked by the marauders, but. Dude, they don't wreck the marauders either. They take exactly. so many shots, man. Oh, the surround. Yeah. This is exactly what he needed to do. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that's brutal. This is why that's what you need to do. Exactly. GG. <laughs> Dude, that's what I've been saying. You just have to fucking crush it. So what you do, <clears throat> oh my god, oh my god, is you pull enough workers that you just crush it. Yeah. Holy shit. And that's why he needed his boys. <laughs> to block the other boys? Yeah. Make a fucking wall of boys everywhere. But then the shield battery helps the Protoss boys. And you try to auto repair, but then you're not attacking. But he killed the battery. But you add another battery if they bring their boys. You wouldn't know, though. Would you? Maybe you would. Mm. Probe was there. I don't know where what happened. With yeah, it, I don't know where it was. I don't know. I like the boy pull. I <sighs> I don't see it, but I, you're just so all in. It just feels like if you can continue to produce your marauders, every other boy should be. I feel on like the, the boys attacking. don't help the marauder push that much, honestly. Why? Because so the marauder good. push is about kiting, and you don't take much damage anyways, right? Yeah, but you also can be way more aggressive with the boys. Like you could stop them from pulling their workers, basically. But use them I would wall. just pull more pull more workers if you pull your boys. Like, if you pull five boys, instead of pulling eight boys, I'll pull 13 boys. <laughs> right? Okay. <clears throat> Maybe. I don't know. I just... If you can produce off your Marauders, every other boy should be attacking, in my opinion, because the game's over if you lose. If you don't kill them. Mm. I just pull boys to equal the boys. That's no, actually no, something that happens boys. now in, uh, in StarCraft 1. If you go proxy gates, like, very close to the Terran base... Mm -hmm. And Terran scouts it very early, like before the gates are half done, they can send their boys to the natural and kill the gates. But now uh, they might make the gates just like a little bit further back. And then 
if they see you pull your boys, what they do is they send their boys all the way from their main to that, and it actually wins the game. So you have to be really careful if you pull your boys. You have to look in and say, can he pull his boys to counter my boys? Because they can just keep making the gate over and over. So like you're about to kill a gate and then they make another one. It's crazy. That sounds fun. <coughs> it's not at all. It's not at all. It's fucking torture. How do I get paid to talk like this? I don't know. Light Fury is fucking entertaining. Because you have to go, the only thing that counters everything is like Void Ray, right? So, anyways, uh, this became completely normal on ramped naturals. It became extremely strong because it's super hard to break. Now, Max Packs got so good at holding everything from this position that he does it on like every map now. He doesn't do it 100% of games, but like 90% of PvPs, I want to say. So, he does it a ton. It doesn't matter if it's ramped or not. He's extremely good at holding it. I casted this one game in the cup where he played uh, Nina. She's got great micro, right? Mm -hmm. Like very good micro. Literally, she was attacking that wall and he was up by three or four probes holding. 
just barely with shield batteries being made over and over and void rays and trying to save them and stuff. And it literally, he just defended until she ran out of minerals in her main <laughs> and like won the game. Like he just can't, you can't fucking break him. It's what, super, what I think I've seen him here? broken once. <clears throat> Yeah, so you can you don't have to make the Nexus right away, and if they're blocking with their probe, then you just go Stargate right away. Oh, it's a Stargate. Yeah. I like it. And this is funny because Hero actually being over there with his probe so active, he actually gets his Nexus up first. Isn't that funny? Yeah. <laughs> so it feels like he's ahead, even after all that, that fucking talk. I, saw, and I think I saw Hero get a Zealot. <coughs> oh, no, it's Max Pax that got a Zealot. Uh, maybe Hero got a Zealot, too. Mm. I guess it's just also be able to block a, or to kill a pylon. Mm. That'd be my bet. Yeah, that's <clears> actually, that was pretty normal when this build first came out. Getting this a lot. Yeah, imagine walling on the low ground would be really annoying if they took a, a pylon block your Nexus. Yeah. Nice. Good blocking from Hero. Phoenix is on both sides. So are we gonna get into a Phoenix battle? Max Pack sure thinks so. He throws I down a Sanka so. Stargate. He's not even, is he not getting warp gate? Yeah. If you're gonna go Phoenix versus Phoenix, you skip warp gate. What? Yeah. Also. Scary. <clears throat> I you skip warp gate in PvP? Yes. If it's going to be Phoenix versus Phoenix, you skip warp gate. Because it's only about the Phoenix count. I mean, I guess. So what Hero's probably going to do here... It, oh, he does go for a single one, but he goes with Warp Gate. Okay, so there's a couple things. I mean, there's no question this is better for uh, Max Packs going yes. Phoenix versus Phoenix. It just feels like you give up a lot of potential. No, there, because you just go Phoenixes. Because, like, let's say that you have 10 Phoenixes, your opponent has 8. Mm -hmm. If you attack at that time, you win. Yeah, of course. So if you just get ahead in Phoenixes, you win the game. And there's not like real counterplay to it. Like you can, we've seen people in the past try to trick because this was actually the meta for PVP like three times, like for months at a time. So we learned a lot about this, but like, so the things are like, obviously range is huge. If you, if your opponent gets range and you yeah. don't, yeah, you'll yeah, yeah. lose unless you can get them trapped against a wall. The only pro I've seen successfully do that is SOS. Um, if I you mean, get a mothership, that's huge. Uh, and a lot of times what you see here is they'll start making pylons on the map because nothing can hit them and there's no units. Eventually you do want one uh, sentry for guardian shield because that'll win the, the yeah. Phoenix or Phoenix battle. But eventually it just turns into mass nexus and then you'll get like a couple cannons just because eventually there's so much money coming in that there could be a DT that slips in because you can't really tell. But, okay, so you lose your Phoenix advantage by being the attacker, right? Yes. So, so that's why you see him poke and then fly away. And that's why it kind of turns into just both sides making phoenixes and you can't tell who's ahead. But then you might as well go warp gate, no? Because huh? you, if, you, if you go warp gate, and if they attack you and you go warp gate, you're, you're still fine, right? Yeah, it, like if you just sit back. Yeah, it's only yeah. 50 gas. Like you're not going to lose I just the game because like, you got warp gate. But <laughs> I it's feel like not, not having to. warp gate is so scary. Like there's so much potential to do so many different things. But the thing is, like, if you both have been uh, making phoenixes, there's not really so many things. It's like, uh, like because if he, does, if he so buys good, anything no? else, if he, no, because your phoenixes will kill adepts in a half second. I guess. That's like, true. It they'll evaporate, and that's 50 gas on them. <laughs> so that's why you see these pylons. Like, you see how there's just pylons everywhere popping up on the map? Yeah. This is just, this is exactly how this gets played. And notice they're both going Fleet Beacon. They both just want to get <laughs> into range. They're watching. They're just stacking yeah. their Phoenixes because literally, if you get ahead by one, you win. Yeah. That's it. It's right now. See, it's he just checked and he's like, I can't tell. It's close enough. <laughs> and this is literally like every single game looks exactly like this where one Zealot walks out and you stand just behind it. So if they try to pick it up, you run in and you get an extra volley and you win. Dude, so, what am I watching? Th no, this, dude, this was literally exactly Look at all the, the meta so many <laughs> times. You know how many games I've played that looked exactly like this? It's crazy. What if you snipe the Zealot? <laughs> I guess these pylons never die. <laughs> yeah, but if you snipe the Zealot and their Phoenixes are just behind the Zealot, it's a trap. It's a trap. No, it is. Yeah. Dude, this seems like a very frustrating way to play PvP. It is terrible. Because if you. 
as soon as you have one bad fight, literally the game is over. Yes. So that is correct. It all comes down to a single Phoenix versus Phoenix fight. Yes. If someone's out of position, if like you catch one rallying Phoenix, <laughs> the game could be over. Mm, like at this point, like one one Phoenix, like oh, range is about to finish. You look at like the distance across, if range is done or not, that type of thing, right? So. Admiral Akbar just resubscribed. But yeah, you try to hit right when range finishes. Oh, he's got the high yield gas. To SC2 yeah. PvP. Why are we watching a Brood Wars EVZ? <laughs> Does he, is he not building a, thir a third Stargate, or did he already have it? Uh, I believe we just saw a third Stargate uh, Ooh, a start mothership. here. Yeah. So, like I said, right, the, the range is a big deal, and then you get into mothership, and that's the other big deal, so, because you have to kill the mothership to see the phoenixes. Third Stargate from Hero, mothership from Max Pax. Which one's better? No, 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 they're both going third Stargate. So when you this, start getting these extra bases, just started for Max Pax. Third Stargate's already done for Euro. Yeah, well, the the mothership is quicker, right? That's for, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah which yeah. one's better, mothership or well, third Stargate? Uh, the mothership will be slightly stronger Cause because now Hero's got the more. The Stargate being quicker is like one extra Phoenix, but the mothership uh, takes a long time to kill. Yeah, it might well, be two it extra can, Phoenix. The mothership has less health than well, it used to have. Now he also but... can't defend his gold base. Now, see, that was dangerous. If he was a little bit closer, he would have gotten free volleys. I mean, without the mothership, there's... Like, before the mothership attack or comes out, Hero has a huge advantage. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, this is getting crazy now. So, fourth Nexus going up for both sides. Obviously, the high-yield <laughs> gas from Axe Packs is pretty sick. <coughs> mothership on the way. Dude, is this like a meta? I, I honestly haven't watched PvP in a very long time. No, this isn't a current meta. This is an old, 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 old meta. It just happened to turn out like this. You almost never see this nowadays. No one wants to play like this. But like if this you both like open the, Phoenix, this is the correct thing to do. This feels like the most miserable way to play PvP. It is For miserable. both players. Yes. Like. It is fucking awful, man. Seriously. <laughs> I was so happy when they changed Oracle to, uh, oh. to Armored. That's what got rid of this meta. <gasps> oh, my God. Yeah, see that? See that? See that? Crazy that could have been. I mean, that was such a cool idea, but mm -hmm. I mean, now he's ahead in uh, Phoenix count too. This is funny because I forgot as well. You have to activate the cloak, so the cloak is only going to be temporary. Mm -hmm. It's got and a revelation. It, yeah, yeah, that's. Funny. When did he sneak an oracle out? <coughs> he just wiggled it out, man. And look, plus one started. You really should have started plus one already. Plus one, obviously worth more than one Phoenix at this point. How does Two neither player targets. just go forge and have like some cannons defensively? They will. Oh, there's a forge. They will. They will. There's like as your money starts to really explode, well, like you should you have do more start minerals than gas, right? Now carrier is wrong. Carrier, I do not like carrier here. I think Tempest is actually better here. I know I say that about every matchup, but <laughs> like uh, Tempest, I I believe is a much better choice. Oh, hello. Max, what? Max is fucked. He's fucked. He's fucked. How do you just? Forget about your mothership, dude. Oh. Yeah, that oh, was weird. my goodness. That was not. So that was not good. Now I feel like Hero could just attack. Like that. That difference should just be. Well, enough. Max Pax is like trying to get into carriers, which is so weird, man. Because like the interceptors are gonna blow up in a quarter of a millisecond. Look, the Hero has that sentry. Does Max Pax have the sentry? I'm not sure. Dude, Hero's building five phoenixes at a time too. Yeah. Would not want to go to carriers into five. The thing phoenixes is, Max Pax wasn't a top end player. And I don't even know if he was playing the During last this time meta? this was meta. And Hero was. So that might be what it is. Max Pax probably doesn't have as much uh, experience with this, is my guess. Dude, it's over, batter over battery. Do something here. Oh, hello. Over battery? Yeah. Nice. What's Phoenix count? 18 to 29. Dude, yeah, no, he's, he's dead. You can just kill him now. This is why we need cannons. Especially if you're going carriers. Yeah, it, 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 the ca carriers were not the correct move. Like, they have a high base armor, so maybe that was part of the idea, but look at this. Yeah, I like how he's not even attacking them. He's just focusing and on the Phoenixes. The thing is, even if you have carriers here, once you win this win this battle, you just pick up literally every probe. Yeah, GG. GG. <laughs> so that is the beauty of PvP many years ago. Uh, just as a little side note, right? So basically, every time both players open Stargate, this was the correct way to play. Uh, because oracles were light. That was one of the best patches ever made. When they changed uh, oracles to armored, that made stalkers counter them. So basically, because stalkers could kill oracles, it made it so that you weren't locked into Phoenix against an oracle.
Because as soon as you get locked into a phoenix as the counter to kill it, then it just turns into mass phoenix right away. Literally, that's what changed us out of that meta. That was a fucking thank God for that patch. You think swarm hosts are bad? Imagine all your PVPs in a day of ladder like that. Yeah, this reminds me. Swear of, to God, it this was reminds a time. me of swarm hosts versus swarm hosts. Yeah, because back then there was like a bro code not to go swarm hosts because your only real response was swarm hosts yourself and yeah, you'd just play forever if you did that. Dude, it, Stargate was the best opener when this was the thing, and there were almost no Phoenix versus Phoenix games in the Korean scene because everyone stopped going Stargate. Because they were like, fuck that. I do not want to play like that. So the Korean scene, they, the uh, amount of Phoenix or Phoenix games went way down. Because everyone's just like, fuck it. I'll go one base I mean, point. it just doesn't seem fun for anybody here. Yeah. No, it's crazy. The funny thing is, I like, to I like to watch oh, No, it. it's got to be fun to watch. I mean, it is fun to watch. Yeah. I can just feel the pain of like a misrallied Phoenix being the deciding factor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you, you can just be punished by literally any mistake. I'm glad that you got to see that, man. Yeah. It makes fun. me really happy. All right, we're going to the next game. Hero leads. I bet we don't see Phoenix for Phoenix again. That'd be no, crazy. we won't see that again. <laughs> the thing is, Hero did it so well. He could just try to force it because Max Pax goes for that fast expand like every time. And if, I mean, if you're going Phoenix and he's not going Phoenix, because Phoenix wins the Stargate game, right? I think Max Pax had a solid game except for the carrier decision. It felt strange to me. The, yeah, carriers were just not a good choice. Also, he didn't have like a way to to survive if an attack happened while he was transitioning. Like it'd be different if there was like cannons at each base or something, and uh, maybe you sit over top of cannons and shield batteries. Then you might be able to live, maybe. Mm. Also, his mothership just dying in the middle of the map was yeah, that was that was that blow. was a blunder. Thing is, if you if you let's say you had six carriers with full interceptors, okay. Yeah, you, but, but like you, have you like just a, you're not really. Are you going to get there? It doesn't seem like if he had it. his mothership with that army. You think he holds? <coughs> oh, the mothership with the army? I think he might. Maybe. Maybe. And if he if he holds The mothership makes a huge difference. Yeah, if he holds, he might he might be in a better spot if he holds. Guy in chat mm. 206 maybe. just recently. But maybe also here it doesn't attack that. Auto gun. <clears throat> Thanks. Thank you. Alright. Well, Max Pax does have that low gate, low ground gate again, so. See what Hero does. I kind of hope we see Phoenix versus Phoenix again now. now I, I do too. It. I want to see it again. Double gate. Can you go gate Stargate against double gate? Yeah. yeah you really? Can. Yeah. Well, you can also just, I mean, if the probe's not there, you can make your Nexus after your Cyber Core. It's double gate? Yeah. We're not afraid. Max well, Pax knows how to do it. I was going to say, are we not afraid of like a proxy, so third what, gate? What or he does Robo? is, yeah, he makes, he just starts making units out of the gate. So it goes like Zella and then only Stalkers. And he has exactly enough batteries at all times while he gets a Void Ray. Really? Yes. Like, he, I don't he doubt might it. I mean, exactly it has to be, here. he has to have it figured out because this is like a very standard like thing that you could do, mm -hmm. right? No, he like does it, it, he does it. I would say 80 to 90% of his PVPs, he does this. That he's got to have a response. I mean, yeah, <laughs> like he, if you couldn't respond to two gate in the main with it, I don't know what you wouldn't be like. That's like, yeah, it's you can. very standard. Yeah. If it's just like two gate stalker pump, you can just go voids. Cool. Well, I think we're probably <coughs> going to see that. So hmm. double stalker on the way for a hero. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't see it, man. Like he's not even building a stalker. He will. He's got he's got it really grinded out, man. Like he okay. And Max Pax. I'm doubting like, so. I'm ready. Truly, truly, Max Pax knows this he whole has to. thing better than everyone in the world. He has to. I believe it too. He is the king of this. I just know it can't be possible. He just dies like mm -hmm. three stalkers or something. He he's absolutely not going to. He'll be fine. So the Stargate coming up. This is the this is the important thing that we're looking at from Hero. Max we're gonna Pax see what he does with scout. that. Two stalkers actually gonna pop. Dude, he's making an oracle. Look at that, bro. Does he hold? Yes, he's fine. Watch. Okay. He's got the Zealot there. Zealot will tank and push him back. Shield battery finishes. Look at his timings on all this. It's exact. So he's going to be able to avoid it after the Oracle? Yeah. I guess the Oracle kinda... will put pressure on across the map. Yeah, you have to respect it. Yeah. You have to build a shield battery minimum. Maybe leave a Stalker at home. Maybe warp in Stalkers at home. He actually takes damage. He actually rallied it straight out. I don't think he expected the Stalkers to come right back up. Dude, that's a lot of damage on that thing. 
and a phoenix on the way as well as the the nexus hero's gonna be happy right now yeah why not like i feel like hero's actually he's opened really well here is it enough no. it's close that's yeah, it oh man it's armored now I mean, it's a pretty even game. I guess this is this is more than enough for max packs. Isn't we, I mean, if, as long as you don't die, you're gonna be in a happy spot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, notice it looks like it might be Phoenix versus Phoenix again. Although it's just a Twilight Council. So yeah. It, well, Max Pax looked at that last game and said, "Oh, I'm not <laughs> as good at this as Hero." That's 100% what happened. So the two things you can do here is either you can super risk DT or you go right into blink. And yeah. I think you normally what we used to see when people did this as their attempted at transition. Oh, he is going Dark Shrine as well. Oh, he cancels Blink into Dark Shrine. Strange. Yeah, it's it's a big risk. That is that is quite the risk. Did he scout the Stargate? Uh, yeah, the the Phoenix came out and oh, yeah, was attacking right. his so Oracle. I'm just surprised because you can build an Oracle at any point, but I guess. Yeah, but you wouldn't build an Oracle against this, you know. Yeah, but he also sees the Stargate as idle. Yes, I think that's the big that's the oh. big thing. Rip. That is the big thing. But look, Twilight, no Robo. I don't like the DTs, man, but maybe. It's such a risk. It's it like is. if they get detection, you lose. <clears throat> There's no way you would beat Hero he here if he gets here detection. Too. He's got three stalkers. Yeah, it's got it. Oh. Yeah, not. Robo goes down. Insta Robo. Yeah, I guess you see the Twilight, you, you respect either way. Yep. And Forge as well. So he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> We're playing this kind of game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, you're not going Phoenixes? Okay. But oh, now yeah. you look at this position, and there's like so many Phoenixes out for Hero that he has great harassment. He also is getting charged. I mean, I like it. Hmm. Dude, yeah. Immortal Charge Phoenix used to be the big counter that you'd use against shit like this. It's going to be scary. Yeah. I don't like Blink against Immortal Charge Phoenix. Remember that? Like when uh, when people were going for uh, Disruptor, uh, when Disruptors first came out, people were going Disruptor Blink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all yeah, the, yeah. All the uh, Chinese Protosses Phoenixes started fly going in, Phoenix Immortal pick Charge. Pick them up. Yeah. Zealots come in, kill everything. It was cool. Good times. It was it, That was a much more fun comp. That I was a fun comp. Yeah. Again, it seems very frustrating, but fun comp. Dude, we're doing some old meta shit here. It's crazy, isn't it? It is crazy. Oops. Oops. Oh, man. Max Pax is not going to win the cup tonight, man. <laughs> Hero is playing like a god. I'm amazed you didn't cancel it. <clears throat> I don't know, man. Immortals, yeah, like Immortals Charge and uh, Phoenixes. So we'll see. Yeah, no, it's 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 a great set of units. By the way, you never use that pylon. Yeah. Oh. Dude, that harassment. That's brutal. And a recall, too. Four There's probes, just fly out. No problem. There goes your timing attack. Yeah. Just go kill the gateway now. Yeah. Killer. Brutal, man. Yeah, this is why it's right always to go Phoenix. <laughs> like, look at the position he's in. There's no way that Hero isn't winning massively here. For sure. And, like, every time he moves out, those Phoenixes have opportunities again. And they you also defend. They're so good defensively, too. Yeah. Any prism play or any uh, absolutely any punishment like if immortals are left behind or something. Yeah, like you pick up anything. Potential. Truly, truly. You can even just pick up the immortals with your charge lots. I mean, like whatever yeah, you yeah. want to do. I mean, they'll tank damage as well. Like it, it, they do everything here. That army is so I don't much think better you, than what I don't think, Yeah, I don't think you hold that army. No. Even with a prism too. No way. Like overcharge battery even I don't think is going to do it. The two immortals in there, it's too strong. Yeah. No, you don't. I don't think you do. We'll see. Yeah, maybe. I mean, if he gives up this base, but. Pick him up. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so he blinks back. Yeah, he's mm, happy with getting look at that. Hits. That next is just completely, completely gone. I think he goes for the throat, but even that's probably enough to make the game way in his favor. Just killing the third base. Take your own third. Mm -hmm. But I guess you can't really attack into that.
He even has Archons. I mean, <laughs> that's a pretty good army <laughs> composition. Yeah. No, he's he, like, look at this supply differential. 40 supply. That's crazy. Dude, he's up 30, 40 army supply. <laughs> and an upgrade. And it's and better units. It's yeah. better units is what's killing me about <clears throat> it. Dude, just fucking attack Wait, move. <laughs> I didn't see the resource lost shit snapshot there, but it looked insane. Oh yeah. my god. Five resources or five units killed to forty units Dude, killed. Dude, it's like almost nine times as efficient. That's crazy. Almost nine times. That's insane. And it's gonna get worse. <laughs> like even that he lost a stalker for HP. That's wild. Damn, man. And this is the new Immortal. Like, that shield comes back pretty quick. Bro, I just A-move this now. I'm fine yeah. hero. Fuck it. Let's go. Get in there, boys. Pick them up. Dude, Pick them this... up. Free stalkers. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh, my God. Like, that's that's 2-0 for hero right there. Yeah. That, I mean, that's nice. Pick up the boys. Call it a day. What a clean game. GG. Dude. Beautifully clean game. So <clears throat> I saw someone in chat uh, ask during that, then what's the counter to Heroes build? The the problem is when you both start going Phoenixes, the only way to make sure you're not behind is to go Phoenixes. Is to continue to make Phoenixes, right? Because Phoenixes counter each other super hard. So like if you have five Phoenixes and your opponent has three Phoenixes, you have a big advantage, right? So, like, once you start making phoenixes, you have to keep making phoenixes because otherwise you've just lost all the resources you put into phoenixes. Like, if you make a Stargate and a phoenix and you stop there, that's probably, that's much better than making five than stopping because you're going to lose less, but you're still losing a Stargate and a phoenix that you produced. So, like, the fact that Max Pax Clever's wanted to play something else, one second, it, it, because Max Pax wanted to play a different way, that's there isn't really a counter what hero did the right thing he continued to make phoenixes as soon as i he identified that it was a different tech he just went and countered that tech because he had the phoenixes already he won that air battle and he's just ahead so it's not about countering his build it's about you have to do the right thing to not get behind i actually thought max pack's first game had the better phoenix versus phoenix opening you know like you were right he skipped the warp <coughs> gate had more phoenixes in the beginning yeah the, i thought it was slightly gas. better yeah just kind of got caught. Well, he caught the mothership caught, really. Yeah, and the the carrier transition was very strange, right? Especially then. with the mothership. But mm -hmm. I think if you have the mothership and you hold the counter, then carriers could be kind of cool. I'm not <coughs> sure how I feel about it. All right, let me play this dono real quick what? that I skipped. Clevis Tarcraft Garchiot X three hundred L O L. What's up? Long time no see after a game mods censored me. I come Why here and what do I see? Another fucking SC2 cast as always. Still casting this stupid nerd game while Bitcoin hit 50k. Next is Ethereum <coughs> ETF. Your name is no regret but you didn't invest in Bitcoin or Ethereum bitch. Mm. I would have fucking regrets not to be a multi-millionaire <laughs> right now and enjoy hookers on my boat like I do. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you Damn. Pre you pre-read. Do you regret that? Dude, uh, it's Clever Starcraft guy. I had to glance over. <laughs> I had to glance he over. He pre-read. Uh, no, I don't regret that. I don't regret anything. That's why your name No Regret? Yeah. Why would you regret? I mean, you you learn from your mistakes and you are yeah, because of them. Regret you is are a, what you are. Yeah, regret is a stupid emotion. Greed. Truly. Besides, you don't have free will, so how can you regret? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's true. I mean, you are. But don't are don't here. fall into the trap, guys, of thinking about the fact that you don't have free will. It's truly not useful. It isn't. It really isn't. The only way it's useful is to forgive yourself and then try to forget about it and live as if you have free will. I don't know why people are so defensive, honestly. I don't mind. It makes sense. What? Like, the, the concept. Oh, of no free will? Yeah, like, people... If you read Sam Harris's book about free will, it just explains it perfectly, very quickly, and you're like, oh, that is true. But then you should try to forget about it and just not think about it. Yeah, you don't think it, about it. I don't it live my life being like... It really quickly. Yeah, of course. Overthink. Of course it does. Yeah. No, yeah. it's true. 
Sorry. It's just <laughs> it's uh an- another thing that people are very defensive about is uh the idea that you're self-made. Like no one, and clearly no one is actually self-made. Like really nobody is. It's just like there's so many there's so many factors. Yeah. Well, there's certainly there's certainly But everyone likes factors. to take full accomplishments, you know, full full um you know, whatever credit for their accomplishments without really giving in to oh, any yeah. ideas yeah. of uh, people are very, very selective about things. Yeah. Uh, by the way, this is a proxy robo from Hero. He's just gonna try to end it. Yeah, people it's not, are, I mean it's a good idea if you're up to like to start start pulling out the crazy cards. Yeah, cares. yeah, why not? Especially in PvP. That's good, Zealot right there, man. Max Pax is like the only guy that just makes the Zealot at the beginning and always goes one gate. Yuri went one gate on the high ground though. Someone asked when the last time you spoke <coughs> with Idra is, and I'm curious as well. Oh, me? Yeah. Back when Remastered came out, uh, he was at a tournament with us. That's, I think oh, that's I the last that. time I talked to him, actually. It's, it's been a long time. We didn't really keep in touch. But I had a really good time seeing him. It was uh, great to catch up back then, but yeah. He just kind of grew apart. Huck was at that one too, right? Uh, yeah, I think Huck went to that one as well. If I'm if I'm uh, remembering correctly. I think I rem yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah, there was like three or four very similar tournaments. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I think Huck was at that one. Dude, that was uh, that was Oracle really was good sick. micro. That was yeah. really superb micro from Max Pex. This should just be like, well, he's making two immortals. I thought it would be like maybe immortal then prism for micro, but I guess he just wants the immortals. The void ray coming out though, I think is going to ruin this. Especially with the super battery, right? Yeah. Yeah, the void ray is going to pop, and that's going to be it, I think. Well, he's got the warp gate, so he will get two more stalkers. But it's four stalkers against a void, and two stalkers, right? But it is two immortals. I guess you lead with the immortals. They both yeah. have their shields, and then five stalkers behind zone the void right back because the overcharge isn't there. He he has to make damage right now. He, yeah, it is possible he can win this. Yeah, he has to do it right now though. Okay, pops one. I like the pop on the. Oh. Uh... Okay, he's going after shield batteries. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea, man. Damn. Dude. Yeah. He's got it. Oh, that's crazy. Well, at least he's got the gnat. There's, but it, a, there's a tiny chance he can oh, still do this. Oh, I don't know about these immortals getting stuck up there. Kind that's of a, it's oh. a good idea. Good move. He needs to kill these before those stalkers get up. Yeah, no, I think that's it, though. Oh. Did it actually kill the battery? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I like the boys pulling. I mean, you got to. Yeah, you have to. You have to. Yeah. He needs his shit powered up. Like, he needs another sentry to have any chance, honestly. I cannot believe he warped in a pro or a stalker there. There's no in energy. He should not have done that. Should have I been think all you're or right. nothing. I think you're right. I think you pull like two probes off gas, <laughs> put them on minerals, and keep going. Yeah, this is this is all or nothing. Hold on, we'll play that after. Uh, okay, get that power to back up. He's gonna lose his gate. It's three voids though. Like that's three Maybe. voids with a couple batteries is pretty nasty. Yeah, we might be macroing out of this. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go Void Immortal. Which would make more sense why we warp a Stalker in. Maybe he's just smarter. <coughs> void Immortal here. Like, that's... Void Immortal can win this. Like, if he goes up to, like, four Void, two Immortal or something, make two gates on your way over or something like that, I don't know. With the prism too, it's gonna be really hard to move out ever with Max Pax. He's gonna get he's gonna get shot down. I might even be hard to get out of his main. Wait, Max Pax? Yeah. If he ever moves out. No, no, no. Because if I mean, he hero. if he gets uh, uh, immortals with this, look at this. Oh look at this. Goodness. Uh, ooh, that might yeah, that might be just too much damage. I did not expect that. <laughs> Is he? Uh, look I don't at even the know. micro. Look I don't at even the micro. If, I don't even know if that's the right call. I don't think it was. Like the voids, Pick dude, are insane. Nice. I can't believe... Does he think he cares about that Cybernetic Core dude? He doesn't even have a gateway. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> he doesn't give a he fuck. Doesn't. I told you. Immortal Void Ray, man. You want to counter Stalkers? You want to see what counters Stalkers? Dude, void Ray Immortal. He needs to get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> he better run, bro. Those Void that Rays was are nice. fucking sharp. That was actually pretty nice, though. I mean, really, he didn't lose that many Stalkers. I think he got a Void Ray and a couple pylons. I mean, not bad. <coughs> Yeah, when he popped that first void, like that was kind of fortunate, right? That was like the really damaged one. And if he had not killed that, 
Ooh, ooh, that would have gone real bad. He's getting blank. Bitch. Nice. How did that get through? Uh, that's a different, that's a different program mm -hmm. that does the bitch. <laughs> I don't know, I don't like this for Max Pax. No, I feel like he's, dude, he's, he's I think Max Pax is fine. He just has to wait. <laughs> he just has to wait. He's just never going to be able to get out. No, he will be able to get out. He will not. Yes, he will. He so will here's, here's not how, Artosis. I promise you he will. Listen, listen. You just have to get, because you're going to hit a critical mass that beats us. You absolutely are. If you're just making Void Ray immortal, is it is it going to be four Void, one immortal? No. Five Void, two immortal? Bitch. Mm, maybe, maybe not. Six Void, three immortal? Okay, absolutely. What happens when he force 100 you keeps you in your main? The force field is a good stalling move, but the force field doesn't work if you go prism. You go prism one less immortal? Yeah, but you Bitch. wait till you have your critical mass, right? So he's going to 6-3 right now, if I'm not mistaken. And if he goes prism after that, I think he's fine. I, get, I, think I don't he gets think he out. gets out. I think he gets out. You have to probably push a shield battery a little bit closer to the edge. That's my guess. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna be all right. Like I think <laughs> Hero Bitch. might just win this. Oh, dude, he puts a nexus not at his natural. He's so fucking smart. He's so fucking smart. It's stupid how smart he is. I mean, you're right. This is a good army comp. I just feel like Stalker DPS. Like even though all these units <coughs> absolutely demolish stalkers. I also one shot all these units. But you see where you put this uh, battery? So you yeah. drop off your mortals behind that geyser and you have all the voids floating over them. You literally you're can't just gonna engage get force it. Filled it forever. Dude, you're not. You're, you're not. You're, you're not. Get, you're going to get force filled forever. Just watch. You bring a prism, it, blink forward, kill it. I mean, it's going to be really annoying. Watch this. I'm watching. He's never getting out. He has to make a prism. He knows he needs to make a prism. Watch. He'll make it after next? this immortal. Bitch. Nope, Another right. immortal? You know what Christ. he needs to do? He needs to build a nexus on the map and recall his army. I out. was literally just gonna say that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would actually would be such a sick. That play. would be the like if you Bitch. snuck a nexus somewhere and just recall. Could you imagine it? what would you even do? If you're here. You're like sitting here waiting to force field, waiting to force field. His army appears in your base. You're like, <laughs> you're like what? what? <laughs> Dude, that would be so sick. That's crazy. That's such a good recall <laughs> army too. That's funny, man. Nice. Offset. Oh, that was a good snipe. That was a real good snipe. There's the prism. Okay, so he that waited such for a five. I army. thought, it, Bitch. yeah, dude. Like, what beats that? You think that <laughs> shit down? You think twenty stalkers beats that? I don't. Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> no, I don't think twenty stalkers beats dude, that. Dude, nothing. Beats but I do that. think you're still gonna have trouble getting out. Can you imagine so how many ultras that army could kill? Infinite. Dude, like <laughs> you could have four hundred small you have a ultras choke? run at that. You have a choke, infinite. Yeah, that's a Seriously. that is an ultra. Trying to go up this army. ramp, yep. dude. Nothing on the ground can beat that army. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Kills the oracle, bitch. Dude, can you imagine? Uh, Here they come. Hellbats trying to walk up the ramp against this army. Fuck, crazy. Oh my god, he doesn't care. There's no way those stalkers win. There's 0%. no way. There's no way. Dude, Bro. look at this. Look how, at this how do you butchering. Look, how do you look at that army and say, blink forward? How? How? Bitch. Because you're a hero, man. Patience would have done that. Patience would have done that. <laughs> and we would have called him an idiot for doing that. <laughs> uh, I still I still not enough. It's not enough. Me. Yeah, I think you're right. I think... Blink stalkers are good. Hero's going to end it. Bitch. Fucking sick game, though. That was fun. Good try from Max Pax. For sure. GG. Max Good Pax, try. yeah, you didn't really have any options, so. Dude, that was The only wild. thing that would have been really sick is if there was somehow a probe on the map, Nexus, <coughs> skips the warp prison, builds another immortal, <laughs> recalls bitch. it all into your opponent. So, dude, that's it. That's 3-0. Nice. 3-0 for hero. Amazing. 3-0 against Max Pax. Let's see the fucking fanboys explain that one away. Protoss Imba. Mm. Protoss winning a tournament? All over the top. Bitch. All over the top. Yes, thank you for all the bitches, guys. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Fucking cough won't go away. All right, so big thank you to Mapu for the observing. Use the command Mapu to uh, give him a follow. Use the command StarCraft2 for the uh, StarCraft2 and other RTS casting channel. Sartosis Cast 2 is the name of it. Uh, use the command No Regret to check out No Regret shit. Thank you for casting with me. It's been fun. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, there was a question here, I think, for you. 
Is it a real question? Oh, I don't know. I didn't read it. I just saw the first line. X three hundred. That's clever, Stark. I bet. I had a question. I love to restrain myself from pooping just to maximize the feeling of my big hard turds flowing down my butt. Do you think it is gay to enjoy those kind of pleasures? Uh, Ever StarCraft guy. Dude. <sighs> Jesus Christ, this fucking guy. Anyways, <laughs> uh, guys, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, this was a super long, I think this is the longest the tournament has ever gone. Uh, but super fun. Um, yeah, we're going to just raid someone. It's, it's fucking bedtime. This was a long, long night. So let's see who's on. Yeah, let's see who's on. <coughs> let's see here. Nobody. Hmm. All right, let's, Slim Pickens. Let's, yeah, not too many people Slim on, honestly. Pickens. Well, I mean, it's late. Everyone was watching the tournament, probably. All right, we're going to raid. Did I address the G5 slash BSL situation? What's that? What is that? Hold on a second before we raid. <laughs> New drama? Uh, maybe. What is it? Guys, just tell me. I don't. I have no idea what you're talking about. Someone said said it. G five is cut from BSL because he deleted his BSL ladder account. Oh, okay. Let's take a. We'll take a quick look at this, guys. <clears throat> All right. All let's right. take. A I'm look. gonna head out though because I have no opinions here. Okay. Thank you for uh, thank you for casting. Thanks with me. for having me chat. Stay safe out there. All right, let's take a quick look at this, guys. Real quick, real quick. All right. Dude, what is with this fucking window? Okay, when you post by zero on our brood war. Uh, when you reset your account three times, but the rules are stupid and next step is to offend the stupid organizer reminder. There are no smurfs and resetting account in BSL 18 BSL admin comment on G5 behavior advertisement on how to get banned from the whole season by being banned from BNet ladder only. Hi man, to keep you informed, you deleted your BNet BSL account. So you can't qualify through that anymore. GL in SB and open tours. Wait, what? Why is that a rule? To keep people from abusing the ladder system, I know there are a lot of people who didn't read the rules. Do you think I abused the ladder system? I didn't even know that is a rule. So that why I'm letting you know. So you're telling me I can't qualify from ladder anymore. Uh, I don't know. He says the abuse. Yes, only SB ladder left in qualifier tournaments. Dude, are you fucking insane? Okay, so... Uh, all right. Um, without reading comments first. So... I would say, first off, that is in the rules. Now, here's here's the thing. Just so you guys are completely aware, I'm friends with Zero. I'm friends with G5. I've been friends with G5 since like 2006. So it's, dude, it's been like 18 years. He's been a very close friend of mine. I played literally like probably thousands of games with him, right? Talked with him a million times, been with him at events, slept in the same room as him and shit. So he's a very good close friend of mine, okay? And he would not like try to abuse or anything, Uh that's how everyone gamed the system is you reset accounts and kind of uh, get on win streaks to get high MMR. That's how BSL was always done before. That's why you see way more losses on people's accounts right now uh, than you normally do. Um, and that was in the rules. He clearly did not read the rules when it started. He clearly just saw that BSL was back, started to fuck around in BSL, probably had a bad streak, deleted account, remade, zero messages him up because he knows who he is. And lets him know. Um, so, yeah. It's like, that is against the rules. I think it's fine because Zero wrote out the rules. Uh, that it is fine. I mean, it sucks for G5. I would be frustrated in his case if I did not read the rules. Now, me personally, I I tend to read the rules always. Uh, I've always been kind of very anal about that. So, 
Considering it's brand new rules, there's some players that are going to miss the fine print, not bother reading the rules. The player's assuming they stay the same. It's still on him for not reading the rules, but can't help that it feels should have been a warning first. So perhaps allowing G5 to continue? Dude, I can't fucking read his comments. I fucking Dude, he's everywhere. Jesus Christ. Man put private DMs in the public, blowing whatever trust he had left with anyone who wanted to talk to him and thinks he's a good guy. Hmm. Every tournament needs rules. If you don't like them, don't enter the tournament. This rule is pretty understandable and is very clear. Very bad take. Mm. Okay, so, well, I mean, I guess posting this is probably not... Oh, there's more. No, I didn't know it changed. Oh, shit, what's this? Also didn't know there was some stupid fucking rule like that makes zero sense also like 90 percent of the fucking things you've changed in bsl doesn't make any fucking sense i don't even know how to qualify anymore when you read it, it will make sense no it makes no sense i get not having smurf smurfs although not really so you've read that part okay <laughs> yeah he shows okay so yeah, um, I mean, I guess realistically, you probably should not post the screenshots realistically, like, right? I guess that's the, the last thing to really say about it. I mean, I'm not surprised that G5 is like yelling, he's frustrated and shit, and it's an important tournament, and you want to play and you want to participate. <coughs> Excuse me, so that sucks. Uh, but yeah. Um, probably like uh, maybe zero just wants to show that this is like an important thing he was probably pissed that g5 yelled at him that much i don't know i don't know you'd have to ask them but uh it's yeah i mean i've been through plenty of drama on the subreddit so i'm pretty immune to it but uh you know they're both good guys so Pretty childish in behavior. Yeah, maybe a little bit. I don't know. It's like I understand the frustration, but you do need to read the rules. Uh, you know, it's too bad because he's a he's a very strong player and everything. So kind of sucks to not have him be able to play. Anyways, I guess that's gonna be it, guys. Um G5 is in the right, but came across absolutely. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Are he quick to dismiss Mega Spurg behavior because he's a Mega Spurg? Yeah, that's fair. Honestly, guy in the chat, I think you might have got me there. That might be the case. Uh, I get pretty angry pretty quickly at stupid shit that I think is stupid. So I understand that. <laughs> I do. I do understand that frustration because, like, if I got banned from a tournament and, and I truly didn't know, I'd be pretty pissed. I would be pretty pissed. So <laughs> it's the definition of childish behavior. What can you do, man? No, I can't do a cartwheel. My daughter does perfect cartwheels. She's fantastic at them. Um, I no, I wouldn't say cheated. I wouldn't say cheated. I think that that's that's going a bit far. Um, like G five is not a cheater. Like he's not someone that uh, has ever like done things for the purpose of cheating and getting ahead. Obviously, if he had checked the rules at all, he would have seen that that is considered cheating. But that doesn't mean he's a cheater, I would say. Right? Like, it's a great rule, I think, that you're not allowed to reset. So it's it's a great rule overall. Uh, clearly, he didn't know. That's up to zero to decide if he's going to ban that or whatever. So, yeah. <laughs> not Imba. <coughs> okay, guys. Uh, I think that's going to do it for me. He's not a cheater, but this ruins BSL for G5 now. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know. Um, 
I'm trying to think if I was running that because that's a rule that like, for instance, me and zero are going to run a tournament and we already discussed that that rule is going to be in the tournament we're going to run. So I'm trying to think if someone did that, I would probably ban them from the tournament if someone reset. Right? Like that's like realistically as like head admin when I run the tournament, I'll probably just ban people from that. Well, it doesn't matter if you're not winning GSL. Like he would get into probably Gosu League. He probably wouldn't qualify for for Pro League, but he'd probably get into Gosu League and he could top four there. That's a real possibility, right? He's in very good shape right now. So you know, it's frustrating. Yeah, but the thing is, every other season, that was how it was done. If you went on a losing streak, you would just reset. Because it's quicker to gain MMR just by getting a lucky five set of matches or something right if you go on any losing streak it's literally quicker to remake the account i've explained this to everyone a lot of times that's just how the the ladder functions and that's why it's a good thing that zero got rid of that because it just it makes these weird inflated numbers and stuff anyways uh yeah i guess that's my take it's not much of a take <laughs> i'm friends with both of them i see both sides of it uh yeah lot ladder qualifications do suck they do suck but uh, and yeah, uh, like I think shield battery, I think shield battery should be the qualification for everything in the foreign scene, in my opinion. All right, guys, uh, that is going to be it for me. Thank you for, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for checking out tonight. Appreciate it. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Do some brood war, maybe some other fun stuff with Jake as well. He's at my house for like a week or so. So, uh, we'll have him on several times this week, I think. Uh, we're going to raid Barry Crunch. He's a good streamer in StarCraft 2. Check him out. Give him some love. I'll see you guys tomorrow.